messing up, and some guy at the shop was like, man, use some graphite powder. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, go go to Lowe's and buy this little tube of graphite powder, squirt it up in there. That shit was like brand, I mean, it's like brand new. I mean, the key slid right in. It was amazing. All right, I just want to say we are live. Uh, thank you all for joining us, all 26 viewers out there. <laughs> but hey, it's nine o'clock, and we got eight in there, and we got uh, I've got many other links out here. So, well, I noticed it's I, like I think we all said before, it's it's not showing up in the direct feed, you know, like your subscription feed right off the bat. So I don't know what's going on with that. Yep, exactly. I'm it's looking just at weird. the subscription right now to see if it's up. Hopefully it is, but no. It's in Mr. Corbett. Uh, Luke, was it's able to thing. join us it's, tonight. It's not, sh it's not showing like up it. on mine yet. Yeah, it's not up on my uh, uploads. But we'll yeah, like, I clicked on later. Mr. Cork. His page automatically. And yeah. There. Well, see, yeah. If you go straight to their page, it, yeah. it shows up. If you go to under feed, but like gun just websites, go to their page and hit like. Well, f for instance, gun website posted a video. You know, what? Yeah, Forty-eight minutes ago, and it's showing up on my feed already. You see, the I, chat doesn't show up on my feed. I, I, I believe you're all wrong because uh, YouTube and Google don't make these sort of mistakes. I think it's operator <laughs> error. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did you turn your and your Google homepage and up all day? Port? Uh, no, I did not. It showed up purple when I cruised through there, like purple borders. Oh, uh, actually, it is showing that we are alive here, and this is actually showing up on my page. Oh, that you mean that mon thingy, okay. mon range picture? Yeah, That's maybe. just standard. All right, I have the external chat up now, and I like the out feed. That'll make it show up on my feed a little bit. So I have a beef and a subject to go over from a comment I read on one of my videos. If anyone <laughs> hey, would like hey, to hear hey. It. this is a title. This is overreaction of media. Well, this is an overreaction <laughs> of somebody questioning my media. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Okay, so this guy commented, I did I, I did a video about 44 Magnums and bear spray. What's better, right? So I had made some comment in the video that you shouldn't even like carry a 9mm with uh, personal defense ammo out there because you're just going to make the bear mad. And he's like, 15 rounds of 9mm will kill anything. And I'm just like, um, I, I started doing some math, and I was like, I was like a bear runs at... 44 feet per second or 30 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour. I can actively shoot about... Well, no, well maybe sprinting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, the, you know, can keep up a speed of 30 miles an hour. And I said, I can effectively hit a pipe plate at about 75 feet. So you have less than two seconds before that bear hits you. <laughs> I was like, that's why I want a bigger caliber. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anybody who can fire 15 rounds of 9mm in yeah. two seconds. And, and the other thing is is the self-defense ammunition isn't going to be as effective. You need a hardball if you're really anticipating a bear encounter. Right. Well, a lot of people don't understand that a bear's muscles are three times denser than human muscle. So, mm -hmm. you know, what what penetrates 13-inch in our ballistic jelly goes one-third the distance in a bear or, or a hog or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If I if I'm in bear country, I'm carrying hardball. Yeah, you know, full metal. I'm just staying away from bears. I carry pepper. I'm not pepper spray. I carry the bear spray because in a 44 is a backup. But the bear spray because I'd rather uh, not have to kill a beautiful animal like that. And plus, if, if he's close enough for me to apply that spray, he's too freaking close. If you ask me. Man, absolutely. Think of it like being a human skunk. Well, some of those sprays shoot far. So. Uh, yeah, those sprays shoot far enough that, and 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 they shoot such a huge red cloud. Sometimes the noise in the cloud just scares them off, much less the pepper spray. But if they do nibble on you, their mouth gets too hot, and they decide you're not tasty. You also got to remember too: Are you willing to risk getting uh, hit with the spray yourself? Yeah, with it sucks, mirror. but I'm willing to take no, that much rather than get the pepper spray. Just I mean. Uh, most, most bears I've been around, if you make enough noise or make them think that you're bigger than they are, they'll leave you alone. The only time you're going to get in trouble is if you have food they want 
or you're between them and their cubs. Either of those situations, I don't care what though you got going. You better shoot them because you got. Well, I mean, that's, easier to for, that's easy for you to so say. You look like a Sasquatch. I was about to say, all I can <laughs> see is one bad throw his, his arms up. I'm Bigfoot, motherfucker. They're like. <laughs> Well, I can tell you from experience would be, uh, you know, just a couple weeks ago I'm back out in Idaho where we're originally from. We have a cabin for those that know where Warm Lake is. We have a cabin here there in Idaho. Uh, we're in bear country, and there's been multiple times where you get up in the morning and there'll be a cub or a bear going through the trash, trying to get in the trash. Uh, we carry nothing uh, but 45s up there. Uh, most of us all have uh, XDs or... You know, most of us, I think all, all of us have XDs, but one. Uh, but we all carry 45. There, and ball ammo, as as uh, one bad put it there, is if you get to the situation, more than likely if you just leave them alone, nothing will happen. But in the case where you do have to use something, all of us carry 45 ball ammo, absolute minimum. Even when we're going out for walks or anything, you don't carry anything less. Yeah, dealing, with, dealing with bear is about the only time I'd actually maybe even suggest doing a warning shot because sometimes just the report of the gun is enough to get them to change their mind and you're generally in an area where you're not around people where you're going to shoot somebody on accident. Yeah. But like you said though, the, the whole cub aspect absolutely changes everything. You know, very often you know, near a cabin we have a crick, yes I pronounce it crick, um, that you know has huckleberries down there. We'll be down fishing and it hasn't happened to me but several of my relatives have come around a corner or moving through brush to fish. Pow, there's a bear. Nothing has ever happened because of that. But when you have a cub involved, it's a completely different story because that animal is very protective of the cubs. And even if you just run into the mom, it's even if there's a cub nearby that you don't know of, it's an absolute different story. So, Nathan, you're you absolutely right. Mag. 44, mag, 45, I would say the, 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 nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. And if you're caught, up, if you're caught on, unaware with the 9mm with hardball... Yes, use it, but I wouldn't choose it. Well, that, I would say it goes more into preparation than anything. If, if you're in an area where it's it's a known bear or bear issues have happened, it's just preparation. <laughs> but if you don't have a forty five, then obviously you take what you can. But uh, you're yeah, at you around forty fours or forty five. I mean, and and we get I get it occasionally around here. It's like, oh, we only have black bears. They only get to be a couple hundred pounds. That's a couple hundred pounds of raw muscle, <laughs> and they can screw your shit up yeah. if you're on the wrong side of their attitude for the day. Yeah, it. I would say all bears are not like Yogi Bear. Uh, you know, they're not going to come along and and want to come by and steal a picnic basket if something were to happen. And they're not jolly and they're not slow. By yeah, any means, they are not slow. They are just a point or a factor. Fun fact, bears actually don't kill their prey. They eat it while it's still alive. Yeah. That's they awesome. They don't practice That's killing. But they are yeah, fast. The, 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 bear, the bear I had coming after food was, uh, where are all the bears at the mall? Nice, you have. Yeah, there's <laughs> bears at the mall. But, uh, no, the bear I almost had to shoot was, he knew we had fish in a little weir because we were stockpiling the fish to take them back to the lodge, and he wanted them. He knew where they were at. And he was all but willing to charge our group to fucking get him. That was where it all went sideways. Okay, let's. I'm sorry, I didn't realize there was a specific topic. Let's let's leave the bears alone for now. And Mr. Cork, what is what is your topic? Well, I'm just gonna say this: the the media so freaking overreacted last night to the the New Jersey lack of anybody getting killed except for the shooter committed suicide while shooting. It's crazy. They almost seemed really sad by the outcome. Yeah, that's yeah, I think that's were. what I was I was watching the evening news <laughs> night, you know, the national news. And it's like they were disappointed he killed himself with a twenty two. They had to say he made it look like an AK style assault weapon. He killed himself with a with a 22 caliber rifle that he made to look like a AK style assault rifle. What was it? A 10.22 and a and a yep. conversion stock. Pretty much, exactly. 
Well, you know that that, that twenty two became deadly enough to commit suicide with because it looks like an AK all style. Yeah. All black weapons are more deadly. Just ask yeah. the media; they'll tell you. Yeah, it was like the announcer when they said twenty two was sad, but then perked up when they said AK. It was really, really horrible. Now, if the media would stop covering this crap like they are, it'll stop this crap from happening. So you won't get any of these copycats. Well, did the, where did, did they disclose where they ended up finding the guy? I mean, was he like tucked away in I a think bathroom? He was like in a or? store. He, I think they said he was in a store, but I'm not sure. Yeah, he was in a store. I I believe they found him on the ground and most of his brains on the ceiling and wall. Okay, and there again. It's a 22. Half, you know that only. Yeah, yeah, I don't didn't. think. Yeah, I don't well, think the. Brain either, would have gotten to the roof. <laughs> yeah, and either way, there again, if he's inside a store, I mean, not only do you have employees in the store, you have customers in the store. I, I still don't understand how he wasn't seen immediately. I mean, just well, don't understand. It was close to closing time. There wasn't a lot of people in there. Like, everybody was already leaving. Yeah, I, I, did, I did catch that much. They said it was like right as everything was closing up. Well, it was like uh, 9.15 okay. or 9.20. Okay. And do you, I read that they found him at 3.20 a.m. So it took them what six hours to find his location. Oh, nine thirty. Yeah, well, two, two, two million square feet. Two million square feet to cover. They, well, they, okay. they started at one end of the mall or the other, clearing rooms, and they might have started on the wrong end. <laughs> well, I, what I was thinking if today. They don't have any eyewitnesses is, saying he went into Kmart. Well, hold on. They what, don't know where to look for him. And hold on. What I was thinking <laughs> is. If I had eight SWAT teams searching an entire freaking two million square foot mall, what I would do is send one or two cops to the control security room and start looking at the damn camera feeds to no, see. No, they're not that smart. No, well, well, like, obviously not. Are there you're, 500, you're 500, 500 police yeah. officers on scene? Are we sure they didn't do that? Yeah, no, they well, it didn't. still took them six hours to find him, so I don't think they did a very good job of looking at the camera feeds. I would bet all stores run independent security cameras. And I'm willing yeah, to bet that's that's a possibility. Yeah, but they could still it use quiet. the main security cameras to figure out what the story went into. Yeah, they could see where he was you last off, in the hallway. But not you got to take, take an hour or two off of that until they decided to what they were going to say to the media. With what they found, and and all they fairness, found them two hours the before FBI they made their team didn't get there till like eleven o'clock last night anyway. So it was an hour and a half after this whole thing started or ended, depending when he shot himself. Look, all my training in finding uh, people missing in buildings comes from watching TV and movies where they go to the control room and hit rewind immediately and immediately find the perp. So I would assume in real life it must work the same way. <laughs> oh, it does. My it just thing. takes some seconds too. I'm just assuming that he got stuck in a Hollister and couldn't take the smell anymore. That's my guess. Yeah, from what the news did say, though, he, he when he started when he pulled out the, the the gun and started shooting, he was shooting up into the the ceiling. Do we? Do like we he know wanted it, people stampeding out of there. I thought it was one bullet only. No, he was. They said he was no, shooting he fired up into the times. ceiling. Oh. Well, however many times you can with a Ruger 1022. Well, six six rounds was, was what I heard. He wasn't shooting at people from what we can up tell. Up to 100 no. at a time. No, he shot up into the ceiling, and that was to get the people out of there so he could kill himself in a My public thing location is, in private is basically how But I why did he want to kill himself in a public location like that? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, for, for the news coverage. Yeah, but I don't get that. He's if he would have just done it in coverage. his room and, and uh, you know at his house, guess what? There'd be no he news coverage. Attention. I guess he wanted attention, but but he didn't want to hurt anybody. No, he was actually a drug dealer on drugs. Um, so it was crazy. He was under the influence. He was man. crazy and paranoid. He thought the police were, were coming to arrest him that day, so he was basically just taking his own life, but he wanted to do it in a public location. Why would the police be after him? The drug dealer. <laughs> oh, okay, I missed that part. Again, if we didn't have the war on crime, this, that wouldn't happen either. Or the war on crime, the war on, the war on, on crime. Drugs. Yeah. We should always <laughs> stop the war on crime. No more arrests. Do what you want. <laughs> the we war on stop drugs. the war on crime. 
Well, that's somewhat eerie to, I mean, three three weeks ago we had someone commit suicide in the gun shop that I frequent. It's like, why? And that didn't make no Was it a rented news. gun? Was it a rented gun? No. Really? They literally did it inside the gun shop? At the range, yep. I do and have... Here's the weird thing. It's the second time in like two years someone's did it there. Uh, well, it was like that one a while back. A uh, guy and his mom went somewhere. They rented firearms. Oh, yeah, the mom killed that killed mom. him. That was messed up. They, I just watched the video on that the other day. The mother shot her son in the back of the head and then shot herself. Oh, you want to see something to crazy? Oh. I'm going to see if I can find it for you guys, but just see this plane crash up in Superior, and I'm sure a uh, newbie saw it on the news. Yep. There was hey. two planes uh, collided, and nobody died, and one was a fireball in the sky. Not Are you one talking single about the skydiving died. planes? How did they survive? Uh, they were well, they were all the skydivers. The pilots uh, took out the parachute they carried with them and jumped out of the plane. Yeah, that was yeah the, one, the plane that went down did that. The other deal. plane went in and landed. Sounds to me like they set the whole thing up and decided to crash the planes and jump out and parachute. That's what I'd have done. Collect the insurance money on the plane. Right. But if you haven't seen that like, video, will make a hell really, of a YouTube really video. cool. You can, really, you can say it's really cool because nobody died. It's just one plane. So you're saying Absolutely. it's better than John Denver's plane crash. That's what you're saying. Oh, much better. Well, John Denver was flying an ultralight. Oh, so what type of plane you crash is what's important, too? Of course. You don't need a pilot's license for an ultralight. Well, have you guys been Ooh, that's uh, keeping up with the election results? I mean, seeing, seeing what kind of... Uh, uh, President Barack Obama won it again. <laughs> What are you talking, are you about, talking Chris? about? Yeah, Chris Christie. I put, I put the guy with the, two first names. Yeah, yeah. Well, Christie, New Jersey. There's a bunch of them. The Boston mayor, Virginia. Well, Christie supposed I mean, to walk just... away. He had like a forty point spread or something like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and who was it? The Clintons are backing are somebody, and those were what made the national news. Was Chris Christie and this the the what the uh, Clintons the, the Democrat, the Clintons are backing. The New York mayor. I got a New York City you, you mayor. Uh, Virginia was voting on a governor. Colorado. Yeah. The Virginia race is like within two points. I think it's over already, though, isn't it? Or it's still yeah. Over? Yeah, Virginia, they just announced uh, Governor Terry McAuliffe. One Virginia governor. So it looks like we got some a lot of Republicans winning, and in... you couldn't call Chris Christie a Republican. He's just no. not so bad of a Democrat. Mm -hmm. So I forgot my coffee. Is that the guy who? That's the pro, right? Not the not, not the anti. I to be honest with you, I don't know. I'm just watching okay, the results. Chris, um, yeah. He just signed no. a bunch of gun control except No, 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 no. Uh, 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 McAuliffe, the, the, uh, the... In Virginia. Uh, Virginia. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm just waiting to see if those 11 counties in Colorado uh, voted to succeed or not. <laughs> or succeed. Succeed? Succeed. Yeah, yeah. 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 So wasn't succeed. Colorado also voting on whether to tax marijuana or not? Yes. I say tax it. Why not? You know, it's, it's, it's well, it would it would get it would get that state out of debt sooner than later. That's for sure. And it's funny, so you, you know, don't have all, to tax the marijuana; the... just tax the snack foods and soda. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a luxury tax on the Twinkies <laughs> and the big sodas. The big sodas. Mm. Sorry, I'm going to find the imprint had some questions on what we're up to. All right. Going on, Edge. I'm going to say the chat, guys. You know how it is. Did you guys read that or see the video I put up? Oh, my coffee is the anti-gunner. Never mind. Damn. 
All right. Well, looks like Virginia is going to be uh, talking about another the link, assault. The link in the extern internal uh, marine. Looks like Virginia is going to go anti gun. Not the link on the internal. Uh, not okay. The, not that guy that got molested by the police. <laughs> Just looking it up, it's um, um, McCoffey, uh, uh, whatever his, how do you pronounce his name, is the, he's the anti-gunner, uh, and McAuliffe, sorry, McAuliffe is the anti-gunner, and uh, that's the one that Bloomberg was backing. Well, I'd also say there was a, and not that's necessarily bad, but I believe there was a, a third, the third candidate, there was a libertarian guy that was doing very well. Uh, now, when I quote, when I say very well, I mean versus previous results of libertarians. Right. Now, did you hear? Did you hear the backstory on that? No. The Democrat. No. The Democrat had one of his funders pump him up. Oh yeah, the Obama funder. Yeah, to, to remove votes from the Republican candidate. Yeah. So to to quote somebody else, I believe the Republican candidate got Ross Perot. Oh wow. Pretty soon, uh, you know, they'll be saying, "All right, ban, ban all guns in Virginia!" Yay! <laughs> well, but here's the thing, though, is they went very pro 2A, and their crime has dropped dramatically. Oh yeah, but you know, then the the anti gunners say, "Well, we'll drop really more if we ban all guns." <laughs> yeah. Right. Well. Watch that. Watch, watch, watch uh, DC's crime spell over. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, it's just uh, it's up to their legislators now, basically. Well, I guess well, well, governors are one thing, but it's the legislators' rights and laws. Yeah, that's the nice thing is they don't create the laws. They can only veto. Yeah, they can only veto and, and sign. Oh well. What else is what else is new? <laughs> oh, did you guys buy ammo today? No, uh, I. I would love to buy ammo a nine millimeter that I need. I picked up my receiver. I got into town too late. So it's not over. Okay. You can go online and buy it. Shit! Yeah, I didn't know that. What? What? Why, why didn't anybody tell me about this? Uh, I will. I will definitely buy some this week. They, they won't notice the you one day. You can PayPal me a bunch of money, and I will buy it, and it'll be the same thing as you buying it. You know, it's messed uh, up. I buy okay. ammo on Tuesdays anyway. <laughs> this is the day I buy my ammo usually. So I went to Cabela's and got me some 7.6 2 54 R for next week. So. And I bought 150 rounds of 9 millimeter, much as I could. And I I already bought nine millimeter over the weekend, and I know a place that can't get rid of them enough because nobody expects this place to have them, and they lowered their price too. So, how much are you guys paying for a box of fifty nine millimeter? About fourteen dollars, uh, thirteen, thirteen to, to fourteen dollars. Yeah. 13, yeah. yeah. Last week I called Shoot Straight down here, and where I'm at in Florida, they were selling it for sixteen ninety seven for fifty of them. Yeah, the one place that does have high, it in stock in Green Bay yeah. wants twenty dollars a box, and I'm not buying well, it. Well, the thing is, I can go to Walmart and get a box of Winchester White Box 100 for like twenty bucks. Wow, exactly. Why did you do that? Yeah. Um, exactly. What? Twenty bucks for for hundred rounds or fifty? Yeah, hundred. No, hundred rounds of nine millimeter Winchester White Box. It's like yeah. twenty bucks. So it's fifty at the one store that has Walmart it. Walmart sells it for twenty twenty five. So, it depends which one you go to, because I have there, Walmart here that sells it for twenty three, and I have one here that sells it for like twenty. The and they say it's because they're different is, owners or I, something, or different financials, whatever. They I refuse to support Walmart, so I will never buy that ammo. Well, my my well, my Walmart here is like the sole source of ammo in this in my town, so... Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get it my pocket like so, I so, I can, so I don't rely on at Walmart anymore. I have to travel an hour away to get ammo. So I'm with Marine. I'd rather pay a dollar or two more a box and support my local gun stores than to support Walmart. Well, see, Shoot Straight is like, it has, they have a bunch of different shops. I think they have like three or four, so they're not like... Does Ace Hardware count? Time, <laughs> well, what's interesting is me and Quark live in the same state, Wisconsin. Quark's two and a half hours north of me, and he just posted a Walmart video of his ammo, bare. I just posted a video of my Walmart ammo, full. 
and it's, it's kind of interesting. I have access to almost everything down here, absolutely full stock. Yeah, my Walmart me. does not carry uh, 762 by 39. Oh, it carries five five six now, which it didn't do until about uh, oh, yeah. a year ago. Yeah, my woman has a lot of five five six. Uh, that uh, um, independence is good stuff, man. If you want to cream your pants of Walmart ammo, check out my Walmart video from yesterday. I have everything there, fully what, stocked. Twenty uh, two. Uh, they didn't have twenty two, but I get that. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk in and buy CC up there for. Then I think the bucks. definition of anything or everything. Well, a different store I can get it from all day. <laughs> they do usually carry the Winchester uh, and the uh, the other one. I can't remember what the other one is, but it's getting to the point where it might be worth a trip to Wisconsin to uh, pick up twenty two ammo. Uh, yeah, the, gun show. The, gun, the gun show always has this, don't they? I mean, I've never oh, seen a gun dude, show. Our, doesn't it? Are if it may yeah I mean, it, uh, the gun shows will have them for an hour on opening morning. If you mm -hmm. get there like before they actually open the door, you can find it. But if you get there like I think our gun shows are usually Saturday and Sunday, and they open at ten. If you get there at eleven, all the am all the twenty two ammo is gone. And sure so forget about guys. yeah I mean forget about going to Sunday. If you go Sunday, there's nothing there. Show up and tell those guys, look, country fucker, I want some ammo. <laughs> um, even though I hate yeah. gangster, they I, have I actually, 22 up here. I actually, I, shot, I actually shot 22 ammo this weekend. I got took my son and a friend of his out for an afternoon at the range, and we probably shot about 400 rounds or something of 22, yeah. along with everything find, else. You can still find uh, ammo, uh, 22 ammo, and my gu the, gun sh uh, the gun shows over here. You can find them where the the uh, uh, resellers who are selling uh, a, a box of uh, 550 for 90 dollars, or you can buy the uh, the 100 pack of CCIs for 50. That's insane. Well, they're resellers, and they're gonna keep perpetuating. Oh, I got ammo. Where you, how? What are you willing to pay for it? Remember, they're gonna get banned soon. <laughs> mm. Even though. My, I hate uh, they have the Remington 325 packs for 20 bucks up here. My, uh, I have a gun store here who's still selling their 9 millimeter for 20, 50, 50, um, 50 uh, pack for $26. For 15 That's rounds ridiculous. Sell it in Bellio. And then when I told them I'm just going to go to Walmart, they say, well, Walmart's going to uh, stop selling ammo soon. I don't think so. I think yeah, Walmart. They're, they're no, no, no. no. They were, I, I can tell they're bullshitting. They were bullshitting me. They're trying to convince me that, so I'll buy ammo from them. I mean, it was a that's piece not the same as that's not the same as clowns that you did the transfer with, is it? No, no. The no the the, the ass clowns that I did transfer is selling uh, twenty dollars for uh, twenty dollars for uh, like reloads nine millimeters. <laughs> See, every once in a while, like uh, the Bass Pro Shop here will have CCI mini mags for seven ninety nine for a box of hundred, like like they always were, and. Um, you know, but there again, they only have, you know, they might get a case of 10 in, and if you're lucky enough to be the one customer to get one, but there's no there's no stock, you know, like they used to be. I, I, I got plenty to go down to Academy. We have, we have some of the stores with 22 sitting on the shelf. What, what I did is I kept going down to Academy when they would get their shipments in. They get them three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I just went time and time again and about one out of three times I'd get a brick of 22. It sucked. Um, I'm good with 22s. So. <laughs> I, I, uh, I have uh, like 6,000 plus, uh, well no, not maybe just 5,000 rounds. So. <laughs> I got like maybe 2,500 rounds I think now, maybe 25 or 3,000, but I got a kid that that's what I, I shoot a pistol with 22. I shoot 22 out of my ARs, and then my kid shoots 22 out of his single shot. So you know what? it's a lot cheaper than anything else. I'm, I, in a way, I'm like I'm bored with 22. So there was a time when well, my goal was just to buy all guns 22s, and that's it. Even self-defense carry. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, but, I always thought 22 is just kind of like that's all I'm like, bored or I'm broke, and that's what I shoot. 
And uh -huh. I, I thought it was better than nothing, but I didn't really get a joy out of it unless it's now everybody's all over it. So. Okay. Now, yeah, it, it, it's a good thing I changed my mind because now it's rare. Of course, granted, I probably would have stuck if I uh, if I had a little bit more inkling, I would have probably stocked up a ton of it last year. So. See, I, I view 22 as simply for marksmanship practice. Mm -hmm. I go down, I start out doing marksmanship, and then I put the regular, uh, you know, regular uh, rounds in, switch the barrels out, and then I fire for recoil and speed. But I warm up for marksmanship. Yeah, I want to leave the range with muscle memory. I want to start perfecting my skills. Let me see. That's, I should have a caliber still. You know, I mean... <laughs> I mean, a lot of people are like that. A lot of people are like, I shoot twenty twos for practice, and I shoot real uh, bigger calibers for, you know, practical use, uh, or something. You know, and some people are like they shoot twenty twos for hunting, and then the, to, uh, to practice hunting, and then they'll they'll shoot the big calibers when I actually go hunting. I have to shoot the big cal. You know, I have to actually feel the gun that I'm shooting, and and you know, twenty twos are good for practice, but I. For me, I have to shoot the big calibers to get used to it. So. <laughs> well, that's why I do both. Yeah. Some people do both. Yep. They still got, I got that uh, Palmer upper or the lower today. Oh, did you get another one? Well, the first one, the second, the four lowered, the blem lowered. Uh huh. It's all right. I mean, I didn't see anything, but I saw one nick inside was, the magazine. Well, did you buy the uh, one that was? For ninety nine, that came with all the parts, the lower parts kit, um, and the Magwell grip. Um, the, yeah, the buffer two. It came with everything for ninety nine bucks, wasn't it? It didn't, it didn't come with the two. Just, just the parts kit and the pistol grip. Yeah, uh, that's still a that. hell of a deal, though. It's cool, but I'll tell you that I, when I did inspect it, if I mind you, a little scratch or whatever, no big deal. That didn't bother me. But uh, when I looked at the, the when I got home, I was like, these the mag the magwell looks a little odd. not odd, it just looks uh, shorter than the other one, or not as de uh, as in, in, in depth. And uh, so I went and got home and I checked it against the, the other tactical machine. And I was like, yeah, the other one is the, the other one is a little more finessed, uh, a little more deep. Um, uh, as far as the magwell. Did you try um, to stick a magazine in there? No, it works fine. It works. There's no, there's no issues with it. But when you compare them to the other one, and then the finish on the pack of machine, it actually has a, a better sheen, a, a better a finish altogether on it. The finish on this one's good. Uh, gotcha. It just kind of has that real. Uh, is, is he robotting or is it my computer? He's robotting. No, he's I am. Uh, I might have to come back, jump back in. Um, so. Well, that's cool, yeah. I mean, hell, for like you said, for I mean, if you're planning on doing a budget build for ninety nine bucks, you really can't go wrong with that whole whole kit. I mean, because hell, you could pay sixty. Quick, somebody else jump in. You could pay sixty nine <laughs> or seventy nine dollars for just a parts kit. You know, and this one you're getting the whole, you know, uh, you know, lower receiver parts kit, everything, and pistol grip for ninety nine bucks. Damn. Okay. I don't know if it's any better. Say something. Yeah, well, I appreciate. It. Yeah, keep. I mean, keep sending me those if you. I mean, if you're, if you find them, because I'm. I appreciate. Appreciate sure. the heads up on those because they're they're definitely. Uh, Palmetto State's putting out some fantastic package deals. Yes, sir. You guys are all robots, man. I think it's me. It's my mess up on my connection. Yeah, you, you're hosed right now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you're coming through about every second or third word robots, but. Let me try to work something out. I'll be back. I see that came out good. Yeah, but you guys are roboting to me, too. That's why I, I know I'm, it's, not, it's, you, it's not you guys, it's me. Uh, let me let me kick, jump out and back into it. Out. All right. Again, quick, somebody else jump in. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad there's like a minute and a half delay on before before it gets to the external, huh? Yeah, I know. And then uh, Timmy Guns, because you said something. Absolutely, check out my channel. You can you can all the ammo's there. 
Uh, I'm not making it up. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, he's not. He's from the... Uh... Oh, shit. Someone did jump in. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Thank you, here. <laughs> What's up, Thank Mr. You. Marshall? How that feels. What's up, Mr. Marshall? Mr. Marshall, <laughs> what the hell? It must he's be cold either that or he's playing with people almost. The screen is like showing me only the bottom half of the screen for some reason. Because of the yeah, hat. He's doing he's that too. too. Nice beanie. Because of that crazy hat you're wearing. Huh? Nice just hat. A, just a toboggan. I just got it rolled up. It's just one of these that is rolled up the edges. No, that's nice. that's, that's like good to hear somebody else call that a toboggan. I think he did a video wearing that one time. Yeah, you know, don't, don't let my... Toboggan is a sled. A friend of mine made this. Well, these are sledding caps. So what they're called yeah. is toboggan hats. And they were yeah. designed so that when you're tobogganing or sledding, they don't blow off. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell my wife. Just wife cool. you don't... Unless you want a new hat, Sorry, right? don't tell my wife you'll wear those because she'll make you one. <laughs> oh, I'd wear if she makes yeah. me one. Someone made me this one. Mm. Go ahead. I'll I like this one. This a friend of mine made me, one of my employees made me this one, and I love this one. Mm -hmm. You wore it because it matches your Glock shirt. I wear them because they're warm in the wintertime. <laughs> How cold is it? Up? How it's cold not is bad. It, it was in the, got down in the 40s, but it was still, it was rainy, so... Oh, yeah. Like that wet, cold. The first part is it gets rainy and it gets windy. And then when it gets windy, the ball cap blows off. So these don't blow off. My old, old family friend make me this one. Yeah, see, I like them. Although well, that looks kind of like a mush mouth hat. That looks good. <laughs> also, my friends... Uh, no, no, sorry. The, the hats that I got there are Army Issue. I got I got Army Issue of those. <laughs> yeah, they make, yeah, I've got the one. The black more. ones. All yeah, mine says Packers on them somewhere, so. Thanks for ruining my night, Quirk. Reminding me of the game yesterday. Thank you. I'm reminding you of the game. Aaron Rodgers is out indefinitely with a broken freaking shoulder. I know. I, and thanks for reminding me of that. That's great. <laughs> Want to keep ruining my, my rest of my day? Remember, I thought what? Randall Cobb and James Jones didn't look very well. You should have sat. <laughs> I mean, to keep going? No, I, I'm I'm officially good. Thank you. <laughs> no idea what you guys are talking about. Packers. Pretty sure it's game. Point. Green Bay Packer football. I do have some kind of some kind of Packer stuff. No, G G Web's had it right. Oh, is that a sports? Th okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't even know which end of the racket you're supposed to get in the basket. Exactly. I have so many comments for that, but I won't say any because it is a prime time chat. Now you decide to refrain, Court. Yes, I do. It's not even 10 p.m. yet, so I'm refraining. Oh, we gotta keep it classy. And is it? oh no, I guess where you're not, you're not 10 p.m. yet. Oh, has oh, it been slow? So yeah. my brother just bought a Smith and Wesson. 422. Looks like a fucking Tokarev or something. Crazy looking little pistol. Smith and Wesson 422. Yeah, I think so. Hold on, let me look at my history because I looked it up while we, he called me just now. Yeah, so uh, it's SNW 422. It's like a, an automatic 22 auto. I guess his is a jam machine. He's having a hell of a time with it. It's almost oh, like now you know why it was being oh, sold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen these. The little flat-sided thing kind of looks like someone ran over a gun with a. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. It's a weird looking little thing. Aren't they? I've almost... never shot one of those. <clears throat> they almost like they a they, didn't, they stopped making them because they're pretty much derringers. Like they, this one's right here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they don't, yeah. They're not yep. known for their high reliability. Yeah, but well, he traded a uh, Stevens uh, Stevens 12 gauge pump that he couldn't get to work either. So, you know what? Um, the, the best uh, 20, Smith and Wesson 22 pistol is a 22 A. That's what I have. That thing runs. Is it an auto? It's a, a semi-auto. Let me get it. Yeah, I've never seen one. Those are nice. pretty good. Like the we shot the shot the Bauer this weekend, and you should have seen the 11 year olds trying to shoot it. They couldn't barely hold on to it. <laughs> yeah, 25, man. That's got a little kick for a little gun. 
Doesn't the yeah. uh, 422 come in uh, like a, a longer version, a shorter version, though? Uh, probably. Well, there's a 22 long and then 22 long rifle. We don't know about the gun here, Stone Guy. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, just, for, just for the record, the other day I, I had sort of guessed that part of the problems we were having with some of our connection issues were tied into Obamacare. And it was confirmed to me today that there is several big professional organizations that are having bandwidth issues because of people trying to get on that retarded software. So there's right here. Obamacare. So the internet's getting overtaxed down the internet. Do sign-ups for Obamacare. Okay, oh, for. cool. Yeah, that's much much more appropriate looking for a 22 auto. And they're highly and reliable. The China's the giant optic. The internet, dude. Not <laughs> with optics bigger than the gun. That's yep. awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love that design. That's much yeah. better than that because the barrel's cleaner. That's oh, yeah. Someone claiming that, a, that somehow a splash in one side of the ocean made ripples on the other side. The yeah, they were saying it was, no website yeah, can Chris, slow down the internet. Didn't, at least you didn't get the seven and a half inch barrel. No. Well, then, I don't know yeah, what to tell you, but... Well, okay, let's it flip it the other way. Let's say bandwidth. that the site was messed up, so they hired a bunch of people from Google to go fix it, which leaves us kind of crap out of luck for their current mods. Do you think they're running on, like, a treadmill to keep the bandwidth open or something? Like, <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. To physically I'm, make I'm, the bandwidth happen? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with YouTube today. It says I've got 2,800 views total today so far. Well, part of I think part of their architecture that's sort of screwing everything up is they've got so many different organizations all tying into the same thing, and as they're parsing information in there, they're linking all of those up instead of just gathering information and, and you know, dumping it into their system. I blame Al Gore for designing the Internet. The internet. <laughs> I mean, they, they spent $640 million dollars fucking it up, you don't think that they couldn't have done shit that most people wouldn't do that could be having a negative effect on traffic on the internet? They only spent $640 million messing, or would you say million or billion? Million. Yeah, that's like a drop in the bucket for the government. I mean, that's nothing. Yeah, $64 billion is what they could have spent on a website, I bet. So don't we spend that much on uh, figuring out how uh, flies have sex? You know, or gerbils or hamsters or something? Giving drugs to spiders? Most, most of, most of the you can pay I've me heard, that much and I'll tell you how they do it. Most of the estimates I've heard is if they could talk to the right people, they could have had what they got running right for like well under $30 million. Are you suggesting that the government actually go to some internet professionals that have had success and paid them to do something? Yeah, that, that would make too much sense. Trick, but, no. They have to go with the lowest bidder. Oh, they lowest didn't even bidder go, that meets they affirmative didn't go low, action quotas. No, they didn't go. They didn't go. Lowest low qualified bidder. is where they go. They did a no. They no lowest bidder, bidder. They go the most connected bidder. Hmm. Yeah, that's what they did. Well, one of the There's things no that I'll contract. tell you. I'll tell you this because I work with business clients that have their wives listed as president of their companies, and I'm like, why do you have your wife listed as president? And he goes, oh, because she's a woman and she has some Hispanic in her, so I can get government contracts easier. I'm like, how's that help you get government contracts? He goes, the government oh, yeah. contract, they have, a, they have a level at which they can bid. And if a guy yeah. bids, let's say, 20000 and I bid twenty two, and it's under the government's contract of twenty three, then I win the bid because it qualifies as a female and Hispanic, so it helps uh -huh. them meet their affirmative action quota. Yeah, there is truth to that. By the way, this is my very, very first pistol. This was my home defense gun for a long time. <laughs> You use that for shooting flies off your wall? <laughs> yeah, with Calibri rounds. I'll just yeah. I'll just see them on TV. I'll poof, poof, with <laughs> with a red dot at the time. <laughs> no, no, I felt that. Yeah, I'm uh, oh, sorry, OBM. What? Oh no, today I was in the post office and uh, mailing some stuff to some winners, and there was a 
a girl in there, probably, you know, I'm 31, she's probably 23, 24, and she got her insurance cancellation notice in the uh, her P.O. box today. I felt really bad for her. Yeah, yeah I, was, I know. Millions I, of Americans just, are being uninsured. I'm just being entertained by the way that Obama is trying to backtrack his statement that, oh, you'll be able to keep it if you want it. And so now it's, you can keep, keep it if you want it as long as you're, the people who wrote it don't make any changes and then it's invalid now. Yeah, you can keep it as long as they don't decide to drop your ass. I mean, <laughs> right. you, you yeah. don't have to skip having it. It's just if they decide you can't have it anymore. And watch now you got to go pay for a more expensive plan through us. I don't know. I'm worried about us being taxed. My my wife is a is a high end NICU nurse, and we have, we have a very good insurance package. Um, oh yeah, that's coming. <laughs> I'm worried about getting the Cadillac tax because oh, you'll you get know, it. It's really insurance. They put, they but, put the they put the documentation for that into it last year. But here's here's the problem: is people need to separate. Um, you know this. I hate Obamacare. I'll put that out there, but. You know, this whole insurance will fix stuff is, is not the way to go. We have a health care problem, not an insurance problem. That is how I will frame it. That, that's where they really miss this well, we whole We got an insurance up. problem, too. We got two big problems. We got a medical system that has become solely for third-party profit. It is to generate massive profits. And then we have an insurance company program laid over top of that that also generates another level of massive profits from healthcare. So you've got a healthcare system trying to, prov to provide massive profits for two different levels of industry while no one's getting decent care but a lot of people are getting super, super wealthy off of it. Yeah, that's part of it. And this, and this bill does nothing to deal with any of those problems. It increases profits to the insurance company and it guarantees profits to healthcare providers. Right. So, not doing anything about the problem. All it is is doing is spreading the cost out over more people. It's making more people pay the cost for wait, wait. it's. It's actually but, making it worse because it. only the sick are signing up for it, which is increasing the number of sick in the pool, which is increasing everyone's charges. Yeah, so but it's making healthcare less affordable. Well, if we'd pay the sick, then they'd be able to pay for their own healthcare. So that. So the answer but, to everything. But they worked it in there so that if, if your stuff is covered and it doesn't go on their program, they still get a tax to you at tax time for it too. For having your better than their program care. Well here's here's how I see this. I would say me and Yankee Marshall are on very different political lands, but we agree on a lot. For example, insurance is a gamble. And uh, and we agree on the fact of well for one, insurance shouldn't be mandated because that's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, but two, you know, forcing someone to buy a third party type of thing only helps one person, well, government and insurance companies. Um, but it's, it, it, it just hurts, and Nathan was right there too, it hurts. It hurts people, it makes the problem absolutely worse. And it's just going to build this up to where, I think, I, and personally for me, I think where they make it to where, our insurance has failed, and then we go to single payer, and that's where it ends. I almost wonder if this whole thing is an attempt to destroy people's uh, uh, those sympathies and trust in the current system to where we can go to a single payer system. I would think it's probably well, a master plan. They yeah. want to go there. They're already talking about it openly. They're not hiding it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, they're going to be I'm, like, I'm, this is a I'm massive a failure. We have to go single payer. I am a huge supporter of a single care payer care system. I have lived, been in countries where they have them. Those countries love them. Almost every industrial nation but us has them. And the only reason we don't is because a bunch of people have been brainwashed into thinking free market means guaranteed profit. And that's not what free market means. There's These companies aren't entitled to a profit off health care. If people want to get together and say let's form a community pool that pays for us all to have health care, we've got every right to do so. They don't deserve to make a profit off of it just if we choose not to let them have one. But people well, the thing, is, the thing is, before Obamacare was implemented, people could do it, and they didn't. So that's sort of a moot no, argument. We as a no, government, we as a people Don't coming together like there was a perfect system and then Obamacare happened. That's a community pool. I wasn't saying that we had a perfect system. <laughs> 
Well, I'm just saying help. people weren't doing what Yankee was saying they could do in that other situation when they weren't prohibited from doing it before. I have the same problem with my homeowners association taking itself over. We have been pretty much prohibited by it. Every time yeah, someone, the law is restricted from suggests, doing what Yankee said. Every time someone suggests creating a single-payer system, it gets the insurance companies roll into Washington, hand out they $1,000. They pay everyone bills, off not to do it. Oh, wait, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm talking about the insurance companies weren't able to do what they wanted. Y Yankee's right. The insurance companies have lobbied and paid off politicians to protect themselves. When they started passing this thing and they saw it was going to go through, they decided... Well, since it since we can't stop it, well, let's make it where they can't tell us what to do, and we can start charging more when they add people into they, our. Pools. They were sitting. They were sitting there as they were writing the law with them. They, they yeah. were writing it to benefit themselves. So that's that's the thing. That's where this is not a free market. In a free market, there have already been lots of people that have come to the table and said, "Hey, the best thing to do for everybody is a single payer system." And if they were allowed to present that system to the people, the people would be like, that does sound a lot better. But every time someone comes up with the idea and, and says, look, it works here, it works there, it works here, it works there, and, and there everybody's happy with it, uh, you know, every time they do that, two things happen. The, like I said, the insurance and the, med and the medical lobbies roll into Washington, hand out $100,000 checks to everybody, and everybody ignores the problem. And they go on the offensive and they start publishing all these bullshit ads of like, People in Canada have to come to America for health care, which is bullshit. It's absolute and total bullshit. It's propaganda to scare people yep. because they don't want them thinking for themselves and thinking what would be better. But there, before, before Obamacare, you could have done a co-op where the group of people make an arrangement with the doctors on, let's say, a fixed profit margin for their work, and that was not against the law that I'm aware of. How are you going to get a co-op big enough that? to... A co all a co-op is is agreeing to share each other's medical costs. That's not controlling the costs at all. If that doctor is still is, you know, is, beholden you to the hospital for fees and still beholden to his insurance companies for massive you know premiums on his own personal insurance, that doesn't solve the problem at all. With a, with a co-op, you have a large group of people that are all agreeing to do the it same thing. Doesn't matter how many and people they can, you have. They can approach. They can approach doctors and hospitals and make arrangements with them. Like you're no, talking about. the hospitals aren't going to make a deal with your co-op. The hospitals are beholden to the insurance companies and the holdings companies that own them. They're not going to make deals with you. They're going to still charge the outrageous prices. They're still going to charge you five dollars for an aspirin. No, and Yankee, and again, me and Yankee are absolutely separate. He's absolutely correct. Uh, I have, and I haven't said this. I have carpal tunnel in both my hands. I got, I got diagnosed with that three weeks ago, four weeks ago from working in IT for years. I went and saw the doctor about carpal tunnel in my hands. I just got my bill for $283. Why is my bill $283 for seeing a doctor for 10, 15 minutes? Because that is what the insurance company mandates. And again, just like Yankee said, what we have now is nothing to do with the free market and because it is set, the prices and costs that we pay are, are, are the, company, the insurance company set saying, here's how much X, Y, Z costs. And then, then the hospital gets that, and that's what they base their charges off of. For me, I see it as you need to disconnect the insurance companies from the health care providers. That is the important key. There should be nothing in between my health care provider and me. That is how I see it. No, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not going to disagree. And just take a pile of cash to the healthcare provider every time. I'm not going to disagree with that. I had a, a personal physician that wasn't on a, a PPO or whatever I had, and I went to see him, and he actually charged me about 60 percent of what he charged the insurance companies, partly because they had to do less processing to get their funding, you know, and that's a part of the equation. Is it costs them money to deal with the insurance companies when they're going back and forth on what shit costs. And no, the, way the insurance companies drive up the cost. It's like my brother-in-law. Half of uh -huh. every dollar he pulls in goes to insurance. Malpractice right. insurance. Yeah. yeah. And we need That's reform in that as well. But. My well, father-in-law had to quit setting bones, had to quit delivering babies, had to quit doing tonsillectomies because mm -hmm. he lived in a small town practice where he probably brought in $300,000 a year. The insurances mm -hmm. for those activities went to over half a million dollars a year. When he yeah, he's not going to do it for free. 
Oh, yeah. and, and I think that that's another subject too of how well, I mean, honestly, how well our medicine has advanced. I mean, we are saving people. We are replacing lungs. We are replacing livers. We are replacing hearts. I think that's an absolutely amazing thing. But the more science advances is the more that these companies, or I, mean, I shouldn't say companies, the more doctors and healthcare providers are held responsible. And for me, I see it as they're replacing a heart. If, if that goes bad, I'm sorry, but you can't hold them responsible for replacing a heart. Now, that might be a different subject, but it, for me, I, I just look around for the medicine. I see it's absolutely amazing for what we are doing, and at the same, at the same and, time, and healthcare like providers are held at such a high rate of, okay, if this fails, you're going to get sued by this family. Yeah, uh, yeah, as technology increases for medicine, the risks are also getting increasing. I uh, uh, understand that, too, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, we're replacing, the, the, we're replacing faces. I, I, I can't imagine that. And these companies are, I, mean, I keep saying companies. We're, we're replacing boobs. Well, that too. That, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to complain about that. Let's, 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 let's just agree to achieve that. Here's another, here's another big problem where big money in medicine is causing a problem right now. When we are funding a lot of research, uh, a lot of these companies that are controlling the grants are actually controlling the politicians that issue the grants. It's like with a local mm -hmm. company, with a local place here in Oregon, our, our uh, uh, Oregon State University up or whatever it is up there on the hill that does a lot of research. They were doing uh, AIDS research, and they had their mm -hmm. funding canceled because their research was curative based, and the requirement mm -hmm. for the grant was changed to where it had to be treatment based yep. research, not curative based right. research. Yep. Because there's no money in a cure, there's money in treatment. Right. Yeah, uh, in, uh, heaven forbid we cure a disease instead of making money out of it for, uh, with interest for years. <laughs> well, and, and another thing too, which Yankee got out, I, I believe there's been tremendous advances in uh, not not a cure or a treatment, but the actual like a filtering process for the AIDS that does not meet the, the funding process. Now, personally for me, I don't believe in any sort of government money to private business. None. Absolutely none. Um, but I believe that has been a, there's been huge advances in the actual filtering process when it comes to the AIDS, but it, it's fallen through and been rejected. There's some some young girl, I think it was, that was born with AIDS, and they think that she's in full remission from it, but they're, they're they never have figured out a way to test to make sure that she's gone that way because she's like the first case of it. I believe that was a bone marrow transplant, wasn't it? Some or I know that they've done bone marrow transplants that along with it, but as far as I know, it's the first person they think that they basically cured, if if you will, of AIDS. All right, and that's and and that cure will disappear. <laughs> Let's yeah. turn that into a treatment. Yeah. But, yeah, we. I mean, there's tons of stuff. Whether Obamacare stays or goes, there's tons of stuff that needs to be done <laughs> with our medical program. Ow. Tons of corruption, tons of people getting screwed. Well, I, I believe that's the way all laws work: is people getting screwed. It doesn't matter what side or what you believe or what your principles are. All laws pass mm -hmm. through somebody. I I, I, I believe that's not necessarily true. Well, I, I believe that currently the breakdown in our system is the fact that we've allowed large corporations to pay off our politicians to have them pass laws that block the free market the way it should work mm -hmm. to give them monopolies and more power, and that I think may possibly lead to some type of economic collapse. In 08, it almost did. That was part of it. He's got the radio going in the He's background. Got going. Sorry, like, hold on. I was like, somebody really <laughs> liked what I said. You knew that couldn't be true. But then I was like, no, it's got to be something else. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would, I would count that if you're saying the the large corporations have been paying off politicians, then is how does that converse to voters? Because are you saying that the absolute money dominates everything, or I mean, I'm I'm saying what I'm saying is to people voting. What I'm saying is that, that our economy and the free market, the reason they call it the free market is because 
it has a natural way of leveling itself out. And when you allow large businesses and corporations to pass laws to mess with the natural order of things, then you get top heavy like we were in 08, and it causes adverse um, whiplash reactions in the system. But when you just start having them write laws that make it to where they can be as financially irresponsible as they want to be with limited liability, like they're like, oh, we took our pension funds and gambled them away and lost them, but we still get our millions of dollar paycheck, you know, and nothing you yeah. can do to us legally because we changed the laws like nine years ago to where we're no longer mm. liable when we do criminal acts like that. But what? I ask is, what's the quickest fix for that? And in my opinion, it is term limits. No, term limits won't do that. All term limits do will push the power from the politicians to the people who control the politicians, the people who work the office jobs that stay there all the time, because yeah. that term limits don't do that. What would do that would be limiting your availability to work in the free market after you're a politician. You know, yeah, no one makes you be a politician. No one asks you to be a politician. You choose to be a politician. So the people who serve as a senator, a congressman, a, 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 you know, a, a governor or a president, they already get a pension for the rest of their life, pretty much. That should be that's, what they get. They, they, they need, they need, they need what in, in, in essence, what in essence should be a no, no compete or no participate contract yeah. that once they're out of office, anything they had a hand in while in office is off limits for them to participate in the yeah. private sector. Oh, there should be no benefits for serving office. Uh, serving office is a is is a civil aspect. Well, you but you can't do that. You can't just make it to where you got to do it for free and it's an honor yeah. because then all you'll have serving are multi-billionaires who can afford to take two years off and not work. No, I mean afterwards. I mean well, no, afterwards. because then you would have the only yeah. people that, that are independently wealthy and can afford to go back to their lives with no impact from being off work for two years. You yeah. know, we can't. I can't. You know, the guy who works the cash register at Walmart can't walk away for two years and then come back two years later and expect to come right back into his job. I could, no, I, no, could be doing, I could be doing a reduced salary. No, I'm saying you get paid a salary while you're working, but but after that, you're you're not getting a free ride or some. You're not getting into some pension aspect. Yeah, uh, I'm Why? absolutely fine as being an ultra ultra conservative. In, the so in other words, you want to make it to where, so if you do that, what they do is they say, okay, I'm not getting any pension. I'm not getting anything after I get out of office. i got to fucking make my money now. Who's the highest bidder? Right. So so here, to, to answer Hanga Newby's earlier question, he said, what will it take to get this thing fixed? I say, I don't think that there's Gasoline a chance. and some matches. Well, yeah, I was about yeah. to say, in 2008, our entire financial system nearly crapped the bed. It did crap the bed. We artificially it did, put it back up. We're still yeah, artificially it, uh, Okay, but what I'm trying to say is they went in to pass laws, and every law they passed, the Frank Dodd Act, is a joke. It doesn't do a single thing. All the financial sector is currently back to trading derivatives. They're currently back to doing everything they did in 08 right now, less than five years later, no laws blocked it, and they didn't have the common sense to not do the exact same damn thing. Well, well, no, because the people who did it profited greatly from it. We pretend like no one... Yeah, they made a ton of money from it. Money yeah. were us, the middle class. We're the only ones that right. lost our money. The mom and pop it's money shifted. The rich gained tons there's, of money at that time. There's a, there's they pull a out small, early and we take the loss. you got to remember, a, the middle class was almost destroyed, yet the wealthiest among us had the most massive gains in wealth they've had in 50 years. And that's because they can pull out before we know what's going wrong. Yeah. And they can just yeah. steal our money. And then mm -hmm. no, there's yeah. no ramifications for it. Because they've yeah, written but wanna, if you want to change, If you want to change the narrative, we have to go grassroots from the bottom up and tell these politicians, we don't want more laws. We want you to go through the laws that we have and get rid of the ones that aren't benefiting us or change the ones that are hurting us. But we won't get it because not enough people are willing to take that stand. Right, and and corporations will, even if we got let's say a hundred thousand people and started pushing this thing, the corporations would just shell out more money than we can provide and deafen us. Yeah, and it's got you got to remember it's just like look at the Fox News thing that just came out, where Fox News was paying 
hundreds and hundreds of interns to use hundreds of thousands of fake internet accounts to spam everywhere, to spam Fox News' message everywhere, as if they were individuals. Mm -hmm. So where it made it look like, well, this is a two-sided argument, but it wasn't a two-sided argument. They, they took several websites, and they're like, okay, out of this website, there's 800 uh, comments. 300, uh, like 350 of them are against Fox News, and 500 were four. Out of the 500 that were four, 485 of them were from those spam accounts. Mm -hmm. So that gave the impression that it was a you know a 60-40 argument in the favor of what Fox News was saying, when really it was a 90-10 against them. Yeah, and, and, and that's one thing I've said. That. That's, one thing. that's why I don't. That's why I don't watch That's one watch thing I've Fox said in earlier news. chat. Anytime we expose the truth, the people in power have discovered that the trick to exposing the truth on the internet is to simply bombard the flow of information to override the truth. It's kind of like the whole climate things. change thing. It's like the whole global warming. That is a scientific fact that it is getting warmer. But the only reason you've got a bunch of retards that think it isn't is because they pay attention to this, these organizations that know they don't have to prove it isn't. They just have to establish a little doubt through money and advertising. Yep. And that's all they're doing because it is an established fact that we are getting warmer. There's no question about it. You can't find a single scientific organization anywhere with any type of accreditation that will tell you the Earth isn't warming. Not one. So I'm assuming the Antarctic did not okay. grow an ice then, right? I will, I will add to that. There isn't one of them that can prove that it's based on what we're doing either. No, well, actually, they can show quite a bit of evidence that says we're having an impact. Because you can measure, measure the timelines and the increases over the time frames when we weren't here and measure, and measure the rapid increase since we have been, since the Industrial Revolution. Since the Industrial Revolution, the increases have increased at dramatically exponential rates. So that would indicate very strongly that we are having an impact. How did but the I would, I, would, I, would like, I would like to see that How did report. What? Wait, wait. What's he keep asking? I said I would like to see that report. I don't know what else anybody else was asking. No, he asked. He was saying something. Oh, I said the Antarctic ice grew by 35% this year. No, the Antarctic ice did not grow by 35% yes, this year. It did. No, it did not. That is a misquoted statement. Uh, look up, your, look, up, your, look up your evidence and post it over here, and I'll show you what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I haven't checked Antarctica on Google Earth lately. Do they keep it up to date on a daily basis? Yeah. Yeah, I think they send the car down there to take pictures once a month. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Antarctic car, yeah. It has snow <laughs> tires, I hear. It kind of looks like that Mars car they have. I'm sorry. They it have great it street views. It wasn't 35%, it was 29%. No, that's still not even true either. Not even, actually, it's not you're even basing that on You're basing that on the story by, what's his name, Goslin, who put it no, it's report. actually a NASA picture. Daily Mail, yes. Daily Mail's report on what NASA said. It's so, a picture. Yeah, but you have to understand. Space. What happens? Wait a second. Let me it's explain NASA. this to you. Hold on. They're going over ground mass, and NASA's already trumped this story and said it's a bunch of bullshit. If you take a snowball and sit it on a table, what happens to it as it melts? Does it's it stay... Does it does it stay it's upright? bigger. If you put a tower of snow on a table and let it melt, does it stay upright or does it spread out as it melts? If the snowball gets bigger, does it grow? It spreads out as it melts and covers more surface area. But that doesn't mean there's snow, more volume. The volume of ice actually dropped. The snow you got, you don't measure, got you larger. Don't measure snow pack by how many feet it covers. You measure it by how well, deep it is and how many feet. I'd like to so show us a report. Show us a report that shows the ice depth measurements. Just go to the NASA page and read. They'll tell you. Here's the inadequacies in that story. They are judging by land mass, by size, like how many feet it is covering. That's so not an increase in ice. So That's you're saying the ice that grew is not ice? No, you don't seem to be understanding. If it was 10 feet tall and 10 feet wide, and now it's 5 feet tall and 12 feet wide, is that an increase? Did you look at the picture, though? There is yeah, ice the right there. It I'm was asking you a question. If it used to be 10 feet tall and 10 feet wide, and now it's 5 feet tall and 12 feet wide, is it an increase in mass? I don't know what the depth is, but I'm saying, though. Exactly. So go find the mass, go find the depth, and then argue your case, because you'll That's find out nothing supports yeah. your case. That's why they're always pulling those, they're drilling and pulling out those, those samples of yes, cores.
samples. And yeah, that's what they use to measure God almost anything. To think about your topic here and not just feed you something. So go think about it and look that up. Yeah. Thinking make head out. I don't have enough time to do all this research. Uh, I've, so, we have day jobs. Uh, anybody got a gun question in the chat? <laughs> Here we go. I have like, a good question. May, maybe some in the external. Yeah. I will tell you one that I noticed. Thing I noticed. Crap! Pull that up back in here. I yeah, got, I got in. I, snuck I, in. I got, I got a little bit of a gun question. Just, just, uh, just to get some people's opinions. We'll throw it out there. Let's go. Uh, EAA uh, Windicator oh. revolvers. What are? They, how, how good are they? I don't know. I've heard EAA makes yeah. junky stuff, but I don't have heard some, experience. I've heard some bad stuff about the metals. Uh, these are all just secondhand accounts from other people, though. That they I'll tell you this issues. right now. And there, and I look at the 357 manual. It says not to use plus P rounds in there. Yeah. I've only owned their automatics, but I can say for sure the fit and finish is nicer than most Smith and Wessons and most, uh, you know, HKs and higher end guns. I've never owned any stakes whoa, personally. Whoa, whoa. But You're telling me an EAA is better finished than an H and K? The fit and the tooling and the fit and finish is like pristine. Maybe it was just the higher end one that I own. Mine was uh, valued at about seven hundred bucks. It was a uh, forty uh, automatic, it looked like a uh, CZ seventy five, but it, it was hmm. it, one of the cleanest, smoothest guns I've ever owned in my life. Damn. Compared to my my HK, which I traded it. Well, it doesn't for. EAA is basically that might have been uh, Italian made. They're yeah, well, they're not the, all. The, the revolvers are made in Germany. Oh, are they? I think would be I a good thing. Bombeo. But here's one of the problems with the revolvers. It's just like they took a hacksaw and cut the barrel off for the snubbies. There's no finishing work at all. It's there's, there's sharp no and rough. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. A lot of people that got drawn to them said, well, they're German-made, so they have to be really good. You know, the craftsmanship has to be really superior. Um, you know, and then they saw them, and they checked them out, or, and bought them, and they're like, no, it's dog shit, or, you know, according to some people. And, and uh, like Cork was saying, that you can't put plus P rounds uh, in the 38 Special Plus P, I think. Uh, you can put those You can't put 38 Special Plus P in the 347 Magnum round, uh, 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 revolver. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's kind of counterintuitive, because, I mean, most 357s... <laughs> Are much more powerful than 3D yeah. special plus P's. Yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I'll what find about those? I'll what about those weird course. Lionheart things? Have you guys had a chance to mess around with any of those? The one where you where you can decock you decock it by pulling the trigger. You have you seen this? Mm, I think I've seen that once, but that's that sounds um, so weird. That, that sounds, sounds dangerous. <laughs> well, I don't know if it sounds dangerous, but it sounds unnerving. I think it's yeah. the time I would use. It's a, it's weird. It's it's like so. So you have full the yeah, trigger and then it decocks. Decocks. I, I can yeah. decock. I can. Oh, yeah, well, you can decock any semi-automatic with a trigger. You'll yeah. launch a bullet, but uh, <laughs> you'll launch a round. But okay, wait. I want, I want to address gun newbie here because he's still going in the wrong direction on his thing here. I'm gonna give you a little hint. Land ice is not your round. Sea ice is year-round. So if you've got all your ice melting off your land for temperatures and pouring into cold ocean waters, and you increase the amount of ice in the water, does that still increase the amount of ice you have overall if you don't take your land ice into account? Okay, okay, hold on. That I question went, was a bit confusing I, to me. Hold on, I just no, went to NASA. That wasn't confusing. I just went to NASA's website, typed in Antarctica, went and found an article on how the ice is That's melting, amazing. Feel free to go read it and make your own opinions. Yeah, I'm reading one. I mean, right here. Here's the, I gotta read it now. Here's the here's the key paragraph that will explain to you the difference between what people are trying to represent with that land mass uh, or ice mass is growing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The way I understand it is that uh, some I'll some year there, there are scientific terms here. Well, I know, but some years some years it seems like. They're getting readings of... In glaciology, and particularly with respect to Antarctic ice, not all things are created equal. Let us consider the following difference. Antarctic, ice, Antarctic land ice is the ice which has been accumulated over thousands of years. It does not cycle. It remains in place. This ice has been decreasing rapidly over the past 30 years. That has, crea has created an accumulation of, of sea ice, 
when water flows into the freezing temperature waters and accumulates on top of, land, of ice structures already in the water. That is still a mass reduction of overall ice because land ice is melting at an enormous rate. And, le and the, 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 the accident, what they're basically saying is as it warms, the land warms faster. The ice melts off the land. The ice that's been there for thousands of years is melting off, pouring into the water, creating thick sheets of ice in the water, but there's no land mass ice anymore. Less and less of it every year. It's just what I was trying to tell you. If you have a big lump of snow, big lump of ice, like a, like a piece of ice that's a foot square, and you stick it on a metal plate, and that, it's, it's, that piece of ice starts to melt, the puddle below it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. If that puddle is, if it's cold enough outside for that puddle to freeze, but not to maintain the integrity of that great big block of ice, you'll keep having a little sheet of ice that's wider and wider and wider and wider. But your overall mass of ice is disappearing because your main source of ice is shrinking. And that's what happens when the land ice melts in the Antarctic and it flows into the oceans. You create a, a bigger level of Arctic sea ice, but you have less ice overall. And that people latch onto it with half knowledges. You know, they don't really understand what's going on. And then they try to start promoting that as gospel. And instead of learning why, well, why would it seem like the land, the, that the ice sheet is getting bigger when it's actually warmer and it's measurably warmer, they can actually show you the temperatures have gone up. You have to well, figure on, out why does, how do you make that uh, make sense? How do you on the, on the flip side of that, at this point in our history, even if the United States figures it out and takes steps oh, it's not going to change it to stop uh, to stop the process, there are other countries that are trying to catch up with our technologies, like China, and well, are we they're going to gonna like burn the hell out of water? fossil fuels, no matter what. Are we going to pretend like we're the biggest polluter? We're not even close to the biggest polluter. Have you seen what the air looks like in China? It's yeah, that's what China. I'm saying is even yeah. if we figure it out and stop polluting, China and other countries are just going to burn the hell out of fossil fuels. Yeah, they're they, going to stop. Yeah. They have no regulations whatsoever. You know, governing China's buying all the e-waste that we give them and just, you know, I'm, having fun with that I'm shit. I'm to the point I'm with the people that are pushing back in the external. I'm ready to talk about something other than ice. Yeah, that, I'm just, that was okay. our science lesson for today. So guns. I can talk about ice and guns. The idea to have ice bullets doesn't actually work because the velocity <laughs> of ice yeah. bullets we have causes them this. to disintegrate into. Uh, no, Mythbusters did a charts. thing on that. Would the heat from the gun melt them? Yes, no. that, that affects. Well, it have to be awfully, I don't know if it would create enough flash energy to melt the ice instantly, would it? No, no. Myth, myth, MythBusters already did a thing on that where they got an ice projectile to, to fly out of a barrel. They did one with ice, and then they did it with frozen ground beef and some other item. How did the frozen ground beef do? Because I watched the Bones episode where they flash freezed blood and shot her with a blood bullet. Oh, yeah, I saw that episode. No, I mean, it, it broke up. I mean, it didn't penetrate. I mean, it fired, but it didn't penetrate. So, do, but CSI do, do you know that something. when they, this reminds me, do you know that when they test airplane windows and canopies, they sh fire chickens into them that have a cannon? Frozen chickens yeah. and but, thawed but chickens. They, sometimes they forget to thaw them and they go right through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you don't thaw them, they go right through that windshield. They don't splat. Yep. Well, that, that brings up, I was watching a TV show and it, the classic car driving at somebody, they shoot at the guy, guy slumps down dead, all their shots were halfway up the sh windshield or higher, and anybody that's done any study of deflection of bullets going through windshield glass would tell you that if you aren't skipping them off the freaking hood coming into that windshield, you ain't hitting nobody. <laughs> well, it depends on your round it, and how it penetrates glass, but... Most of them don't do, especially the kind of glass they use in windshields is particularly hard to shoot through. Right. Yeah, I know a guy. But who even, even has... ones that even even ones that'll go through it, they're going to be deflected somewhat just by the angle of the glass. Well, my biggest thing I've noticed travel. in travel. My biggest thing I've noticed in the testing is yeah, deflection occurs, but deflection is not the worst part. It's the bullets breaking up. 
Yeah, it does a pretty nasty number on bullets. And uh, a friend in a, in a self-defense situation fires seven shots through a windshield at a car that was speeding towards him. And mm -hmm. some guys that had just shot a shotgun at him. And uh, he didn't hit one person, and he, he dumped seven into the windshield. Or five into the windshield, and two as it was kind of sideways towards him. So, And he didn't hit any of them. There was no blood and no... They recovered all the bullets. Oh, they have some that bounce out the windshield. It depends on the round. And, yeah. It was a 45 uh, USP compact. Hmm. I've oh. heard about that. Well, I will say... Yankee, well, we'll, we'll disagree and we'll talk about it later. I will say I'm working on a very large uh, a frangible round test and... Frangible rounds through windshields, uh, let's just say they don't work. No, they don't. Frangible? No, I would no. never try to shoot a frangible no, round. No, frangible they're designed yeah, to break, break up. up. They're designed to yeah, break up on the hard regular, surfaces. Regular hollow points break up like freaking crazy. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, frangible was originally designed for people who want to shoot steel I, targets at close range. I, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be my it wouldn't be my first choice, but the Liberty Defense ammo, the base of it is not frangible. So if you put got a couple in there the, to loosen up the glass, it could still be effective. Well and I'm saying it's frangible rounds, you know. It, it's the way to go and I think they're great for home defense, so you don't you know you know, they break up on the walls and stuff. Yeah, if if, if you want something That's what I like about the Liberty at great. my friend. If you want something to carry, I wouldn't carry it. The Liberty is semi-frangible, you know, the front 60% is definitely going to fragment, and then the 40% of the base is still going to maintain its shape and do like a wad cutter would. I'll tell you this. Right, I'm working on a video of shooting frangible rounds, multiple frangible rounds through every imaginable possible scenario of, of objects, and I think eventually when I get it done, you'll be very surprised. I'm now, I'm curious curious what, what, results. what particular, what particular? Uh, are you shooting through like crane of using? vegetables or wild fruit? Are you, are you, are you using, using any Liberty M4? I uh, I have Liberty. I also have DRT. Okay. Uh, let's see. So far, I have shot through car doors, uh, car windows, car windshields. Um, I have shot through uh, drywall. In uh, what three fourths and one inch? I have shot through plywood in half inch, three fourths inch, one inch. I have shot through uh, ballistics gel. I have shot through uh, what else have I shot through? Uh, I've thro shot through uh, turkeys. I have shot through. Oh, hey, um, here's an idea. Uh, you should you could check with like Goodwills for stuff they throw away and find uh, counters and tabletops and stuff that people have in their homes, like dinner tables and shit. That is a good for. idea. That is a good idea. Um, so it's, and there you can I'm, get them for free because they throw away the damaged stuff. That no, that is very good. I'm working on building an absolute. It's actually a uh, hollow point. I have the Hornaday XTP uh, 124 grain uh, nine millimeter versus um, a couple different. Um, XTPs from Hornaday. I like XTPs. There's the one I use. They're cheap too. Ranger. So, so are you doing all handgun rounds, or are you doing handgun and rounds? All handgun rounds. Okay. Yeah, because it's concealed carriers. Because anyone can go to the rifle and get massive penetration out of different rounds. That's easy. So you want to see what yeah, the concealed carry is going to do. That's what I want to know about. Two, two, three. Yeah. If, if I decide somebody's going to hide behind something solid, I'll just go to my gun safe and get out something big. Yeah. Well, I just think so far, I don't, I don't want to say everything because... I think this is going to be my best video ever. Um, I, just, thinks I just think that there will be a, a very big difference. and people. Oh. Will be... I will watch it, you tease. You've got three videos up. It's not hard to have the <laughs> best video. Yeah, that'll be your best video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a spoiler. We, we've got really a, picked up. We've I arguably like... got an audience of 120, maybe 500 with, the, 500 with the rewatch, so it's not like you're going to... Blow your video by talking about it here. I've, I've talked about all, about that all the time. All the time. It, it might even generate bit. more interest to get it watched by more people. <laughs> I have 40 videos, not three quarts. Give me a little credit. Come on. Yeah, he's got 40. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. One, two, yeah, wait a minute. One, now, one, yeah, though, 40. let's talk about Bigfoot. The dead. one I'm uploading right now is my funniest video ever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right. About 40. 
Subtract one for talking about Bigfoot's dick. I'll admit that. I was going to try to tell you earlier, Stone Guy, I was going to tell you, I like the Rock River lower parts kit uh, more than the Palmetto State, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got a Rock River two-stage trigger in one of my ARs. I, I like the Rock River stuff. It just, it was, the some things that you put together were like, it's like, wow, it's just it's not working, it's not going smooth as it did last time. Some things are smoother, things are harder as far as putting them together. But, uh... Mm -hmm. Uh, I do like the Rock River parts get a little better. The finish on them, the, the parts as well. So this other, this other lower you got, what kind of upper are you going to build um, out for the... Um, for this this one I am actually going to just have fun and wait. And uh, it's going to probably be something without a, an A-frame uh, side on it and do a, a rail system on it. And, uh, you know, uh, free-floating. But I'm, I'm going to wait. Uh, I don't have the, <laughs> I have the funds really about the last one, but much less to go fund and, and fully build this one yet. I'm just going to take my time with it and piece it out and put it together everything the way I want it instead of just buying stuff as I see it because it's a deal. Now, nice. now, Edge, you know, I noticed that the newest trend to look good is to have an A-frame front sight and no rear sight. That is the Walking Dead oh, yeah. AR look. Thank you, I, I, I definitely want to look cool. And Accurate do up to 500 yards, too. So I asked my little girl when we were at the range, does, does Daddy look cool? Yes, Daddy, you look cool. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll have Please to don't it. leave me at the range again, Daddy. I'm sorry I answered <laughs> wrong last time. Uh, what do they call this? Uh, at this time, ARs are not in my market. So, maybe one day. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Is, uh, that's the only reason I did that. And, and the only reason I bought that one is because they're, they're so inexpensive right now that if you are thinking about one, just getting a receiver for 59 bucks. Um, I may get like a lower for a, for, you know, a lower soon. So that's that, those, I've seen, Yeah, I can buy one for like 80 bucks now. So. No, you can buy one for 59 bucks. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that too. Uh -huh. yeah, is they, it steel they, or polymer? They, they've, they've over... Uh, steel. They, they've overproduced. Uh, aluminum, I mean, right? People have aluminum. Into it aluminum. Aluminum. Aluminum? Okay. Aluminum. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I got the blend lower 59. I The part they do in uh, was a combo deal parts kit and the lower uh, for 99 bucks. I when can probably get American one. American company is going to get more into building AKs now that the prices remain steadily high on them. My I do. still need a damn, damn uh, buffer tube and all that shit. I need uh, and damn, damn Ralph Ducati put up that he saw in that 22 long rifle upper. I'm like, well, shit, if I got that in my buffer tube, I'd at least have a fireball until I get my... Damn, my, I know. Uh, I was looking at that, too. <laughs> That's a sweet-looking little uh, 22, dedicated 22 upper he's got for sale. Yeah. And you bought a uh, PSA upper, right? Hmm? Yeah, Palmetto State, yeah. But I need another 22 long rifle platform like I need a hole in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you can, we can always use a hole in the head. Maybe yeah. here's a, a gun question for everybody. Uh, so if, if you were going to build an AR no. platform in, in not 223556 five, or three, you know, 308 or you know, 762 by 51 no. uh -huh. would, would you build one? What and what count would that be? For me, I would love to build a, you know, if I if I build an, an AR, it's going to be in 300 blackout. Yeah, you, uh, a, if, it good. could be uh, it could be suppressed, and uh, it could also be um, non. It could be subsonic, or uh, you have be, a lot of. It could be canned and subsonic and cycle. Do you have a lot of uh, uh, three oh eight? Uh, what do you call this? Um, uh, blackout black rounds, three hundred blackout rounds in your ear? Nobody does. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> blackout. I've actually seen one of those suppressed at the range, and they work. You, you'd have to build your own. But I'm no, no, saying... no, 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 no. I'm not talking about the rifle. Right. I'm talking about the rounds. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call you back. You can assemble whatever you want. You build an AK. You assemble an AR. That's what I'm all if, say on if, that. if I were going to go non-223 with an AR build, I would love to do 458 SOCOM. Really? Yeah, I'd love to have a big bore. Just Good for choice. fun. I'd like to do a 357 Magnum. <laughs> there you go. 
close. I was going to say. Uh, Ralph, I, don't also need a, a, I don't need the spring and stuff with that up. But I still need something to put. Seventeen a H R. Talk on. <laughs> there you go. So there you go. That's a, that's a very realistic. Day. There's plenty of seventeen H R out there. Why didn't you Wait, make, make? Hold right on. I'm, I'm recalling my choice. I'm gonna go with <laughs> the bad news A R. The one that shoots three thirty eight in Lapua. <laughs> Five grand, baby. That's why Marine no. Yeah, but can you find the ammunition for it? I can What's load it. it? I was going to tell you, I mean, you have a chance. Uh, check out Palmetto State's uh, website. They usually do some deals with the uh, stock and the uh, and, uh, buffer but, tube and the spring and a buffer for like 40 bucks sometimes uh, on, or 50 for like their base stock. And if you want to get into like a Magpul, you're talking maybe anywhere from 75 to 100. Yeah, that's what I was looking at doing to see if I can get a package deal. For the record, for those of not have looked up the 458 SOCOM, it is badass. Yeah, it's a nice round, especially for for hog hunting and other things. But uh, <laughs> what other things are you talking about? Well, you know, I mean, it's 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 range limited. You're certainly not going to be shooting out to 500 yards with it. No. But it for for close in work, it's a nasty round. Anti-personnel. Yes. <laughs> well, that'd jack you up. If you if you could subsonic that and cam it, oh, it it might be a caliber boner. <laughs> it, it, I'm hoping eventually it has to they be make at least it fifty caliber boner. for my boner to get in it. I'm, I'm hoping eventually they make it so you don't have to pay money to suppress your rifles just because it would be nice, but. Because it's quieter to shoot, not for any other reason. I mean, for me, it's if if I was going to build a a uh, you know an etch it an, an S H E F rifle, it's going to be a 300 blackout suppressed subsonic. For that fact, now can I afford that? No, I I, I can't afford that. But if yeah, I could, even, it, even with the 300 suppressed, it's going to be loud enough they can make your position. Why not get? Take that 300 wind mag and put a better scope on it and hit them from a half mile out before they get close enough to give a rest. That's where you're at. For an <laughs> SHEF scenario, you know, I don't think you're gonna be looking at for a, for an okay for an urban area. Let me let me phrase it that way. You're you're not gonna be in that type of situation. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I got I got into that. Yeah, I remember with my he neighbor. lives in a really, really big area of the state in Dem Country. My, in what the country? Li the liberals all live in that area. I st no, <laughs> I still live in the red area. I'm on the border of the blue area. My my neighbor bought an <laughs> AR fifteen. My neighbor bought an AR fifteen. He had a Burris one by four power, really nice scope for it, and. Uh, He's like, yeah, but I really want to get like a bolt action, you know, long range rifle. And I, I walked him outside. I said, do you see the top of the hill where that house is? And he goes, yeah. And I said, that's 120 yards away. Your AR can reach that with no problem with that scope on it. I said, would you ever think, even in a shit hits a fan situation, that you would have to fire beyond that range? And he goes, well, no. And I said, good. Then don't buy a bolt action rifle for that purpose. <laughs> I am thinking about getting a bolt action rifle. So, <laughs> well, I mean, if you're going to go hunting or you can actually make it for real long range, you know, three, four hundred yards, and do it. But I mean, he, he just he's just new to firearms, and I'm like, look, you already bought an AR. It's perfectly good for what you want it to do. Oh, that was that's, that's part of what I bring up when people are talking about building ARs and stuff. They're like, what's more accurate? What's going to last me till past the zombie apocalypse and all that stuff? For your average user, I mean, yes. It's nice to have a high quality something, but a bone stock, low end one, is not going to be that much significantly different than the other one. Right now, you can build one for about six hundred fifty bucks. See, I would just get a bolt action rifle because I like them and they're fun. Oh, they're cool. I mean, they make them look. That's also, I think a lot of new people. And you can new shooters put a lot of are, accessories on them. And they get turned on to because of the movies. They make. Like the badass shooters have the bolt action, you know, and they oh well, that's what I need to start off with. I'm like, yeah, but I wouldn't get it just you know for that reason. I'd get it just because it's like a second type of cool type thing. I, I think a lot of new shooters will end up buying a gun and then buy 
a second gun that serves almost the same purpose just because they don't know, you know. Mm. But there's no problem with having two guns that serve the same purpose. I, I can count on yeah, one. If you only have two guns, why have two that do the exact same thing? Now here's a, yeah, I, can count on, I can count on one hand the people I know that are are capable of shooting as accurately of any of the firearms in their collection, with the exception of a few small under three inch um, semi-automatic pistols. Now, granted, when I first got into guns last year, my uh, I did do the exact same. Uh, uh, Nathan, I did the exact same thing. I bought a Mini 14, and later on, I bought an uh, an SKS. Two guns that serve the same purpose, just two different calibers. Mm -hmm. The thing is, though, is I've always wanted to get both guns one way or the other. So. <laughs> yeah, because oh, I like the Mini 14s. Mini well, yeah, but I'm, I'm just speaking to to people who are getting new into firearms. Like I've known quite a few that go out and buy the full size size pistol, and you know, before they buy it, I go, you know, you should get something like a Glock 19. What do they do? They go out and they buy the Glock. 17. 21 or something, yeah, or the 17. They buy the full-size one, and then they kick themselves because they're like, oh, I need a compact because I can't carry this. And I'm like, well, shit, I told you. But anyway, but, you know, I mean, you know, I give advice to them, and they completely ignore it. I do the reverse. I do the reverse. I bought compacts and realized they were very inadequate for what I need, so I stuck with fulls. <laughs> now, as much as I'm about getting people into the right right, Nathan, gun, it's because you mentioned the glass. First, well, no, I'm just using that as, as an example. As, as, much, as, I, as say, much as I'm you know, in, in getting people into the right gun first, just think of how hard our, or how little guns would be on the aftermarket if we didn't have people making bad purchases and reselling the guns. That's true. No, I absolutely agree with you, Nathan. And, and I will be, I will absolutely admit that I purchased the wrong gun. So, for example, I want to get into long distance shooting. So, what did I do? What did I, what did I go out and do? I went. Well, I went out and bought a 300 Win Mag. Great. Uh, I went and bought a cheaper version, but let's say it's a really good rifle. I, I do everything right, and my cheap 300 Win Mag can shoot out to a thousand yards. Uh, I did it wrong, and I will go off of. Yeah, it's uh, not cheap. It's inexpensive because that Savage is not well, cheap. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Inexpensive. A uh, uh, Steven Savage Model 200 um, with a Nikon 6320. N not expensive by any means. So, and I will quote, um, not not to plug my own live chat, but I will quote Peter Palma from Top Shot season one and C and All Stars, to where, you know what? If you want to go into shooting long range, and I, I think the same thing applies to handguns. So I should have went out and bought a 308 for the simple fact of if I want to shoot long range. I should shoot a 308 to learn how to adjust to the wind, because let's be honest, at four, we'll say four or five hundred yards and beyond that, it is important, very important, to know how to adjust distance, altitude, wind, and several other factors. Is but, that the MVP? Huh? Is that the MVP that's up on the screen yeah. right now? Yeah. That's pretty. Sorry. Right, but I went ahead and bought. The 300 wind mag that will take that will help me adjust to me being a newer shooter and cover some of those deficiencies that I have as a long range shooter. So I would say the same thing applies to long gun or short gun. To where if you can master the, the shorter uh, type of barrels, to where you actually learn the craft, you will be better off than going from that to the longer barrel. Then if you, instead of going from the longer barrel to the shorter barrel. Uh, I would I say this, though. If you really want to learn how to do the wind and you don't want to have to go back and buy the second 308, shoot 150 grains, and it'll get pushed around enough for you to learn what you want to learn so you're not totally hobbled with what you got. I, I can say this for the long-range shooting and the reloading aspect of it. A lot of people will sit down and look at cartridges and they'll do the equivalent of buying what I would call a hot rod. They look at the cartridges and go, man, that one's fast. Man, that one's powerful. And I did the same damn thing when I started shooting, you know, trying to get into long-range shooting and stuff. I'm, I'm using powder, the Rotumbo, because it's the powerfulest. I couldn't get that crap to, you know, that African big game power stuff to work in my rifle and stuff. When did powerfulest become a word? I was about to say powerfulest? 
Powerful yeah, list? well, anyway. That's a new word. The, the, that Rotumbo oh, crap. List. Yeah, well, anyway, that Rotumbo <laughs> stuff is is not designed for accuracy. It's designed for incredibly high pressure. And the problem is, is it vibrates the stupid rifle so much it throws the bullets everywhere. So great if you're point blank with an elephant, but if you're trying to hit targets, it sucks. But you know, and then then you know, you want to go with the bigger, more powerful cartridges. Well, the fact is, is the 308 is easy to make shoot well. I mean, it's easy to get that round to shoot accurately and well. The more high power you get, the more extreme, the more Remington Ultra Super Mag you go the harder it is to get that accurate. By the way, this is uh, my answer to the AR. So. <laughs> well, I know. I would say you're absolutely correct, too, and it's just... Now, I would say I'll, I'll, I'll regret my 300 Win Mag, even though I absolutely love the rifle, and it's absolutely just fun to shoot. I have the bruise to prove it, <laughs> do you reload? I didn't. I didn't get any video of it, but I had two eleven-year-olds both shoot between five and ten rounds out of mine, no, and walked I, away I, from I, it. I ordered the limb saver, so I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate you saving that, because even today I, I took a shower. My wife was like, "You still have a bruise?" I'm like, "Yeah." And that was like two weeks ago. Yeah, um, yeah the, the ten-year-old had a little bit of you bruise easy. I'm a wimp. But, I mean, the, the kid, the kid literally only weighed like 80 pounds when he was shooting it and, well, and, and I, enjoying it. I think <laughs> I, I actually have the video uploaded to YouTube. I'm not releasing it till later, but I think I shot, I think I shot 20 rounds uh, that day with. I'm talking the the stock rubber, which is. That you thick. did be, you did better than me without a recoil pad. I did eight rounds and I had a bruise for three days. Oh well, I. But I was also shooting a, a hundred and eighty grainers too. I shot one hundred and eighty grainers. Yeah. Handgun newbie, are you going to get into reloading for that? I I actually here's the funny thing is I save all my brass. Mm -hmm. I do not reload yet. I will, but I I save absolutely every single piece of brass that I shoot. Because the benefit is the three hundred the three hundred reload is the you can one download I... your cartridges not to knock the snot out of you. It's an option. Yeah, well, yeah but I I. Save all my 300 breasts, even though I don't reload, because eventually I'll either find somebody who can reload it for me, or I can use it as trading stuff. I I want to reload because I know now again my 300 Win Mag is a base model. Uh, I'm working. I'm I'm trying to find. I, I found. I'm trying to find a a thousand yard plus range. I found so, one uh, oh, where range, I want to shoot yeah. it. I don't know if my gun can do it because again it is a lower. Economic model, let's say, um, but I, I want to look of if if I go long range, I know I need to reload to customize the round to fit my need. I absolutely what, understand. Why? That. Why do you say that? Because like my my gun furs with the Silver X Winchester Silver X 150 grains. It's half MOA, and I don't have to reload or anything. Well, I'm not saying the caliber. I'm, I'm thinking more of my rifle. I don't think it is. I mean, again, I have not shot it at a thousand yards yet, so we'll see when I do my review. Um, I have a I have a Stephen Savage Model 200 uh, caliber 300 Win Mag. We yeah. I I will see again. I've looked on YouTube, um, but again, I I don't I have not done a gun review on my YouTube channel for the fact of I don't have enough experience to review a gun. So that's why I'm waiting to do a 1,000 yard plus review on my rifle for the fact of I I don't feel comfortable enough to do a review on a gun that is less than a thousand yards or a 300 wind mag because I do not have enough experience. So I will I will put that to the to the fact of I don't want to say anything about the gun until I shoot it at a thousand yards that is a 300 wind mag. And that's also why I've not done any handgun reviews because I've not shot enough. I don't feel I don't feel that if I do a gun review, I do not have enough experience to say this gun is good or bad. Now, Yankee Marshall, I, I absolutely watch every single video he puts up and I trust everything he says because he has shot 
a hundred thousand probably more guns than I ever have or ever will, and I trust his advice. But here's the thing, though. If you've only shot one gun, you can still relay your experiences on that one gun. No, I, I agree, but I have not shot, like, you know, 300 win mag, Steven's ball, it's 100. I haven't shot anything comparable to that. Mm. So, sure, could I do a review? Yeah. Well, yeah, but well, I mean, I you should because... I that's crap. You know, I don't want to do anything you, that... Well, like, say, you have a 44 Magnum, and you've never shot anything else, and that's the only gun you've ever shot. Well, you might not be able to say... This gun shoots better than this gun, or this shoots gun easier than that gun, or but you can still say this gun hurt when I tried to hold on to it and fire it, or this gun sure. seemed to jump off target if for a second shot. You know, there are a lot of people that are looking for what does a gun like, and they have no experience with guns. So having an uh, a perspective from someone that until they shot that gun had no experience with it is a lot of times what they're looking for. Yeah, no, I I absolutely agree, and again, not to plug my channel again, and I, I feel like I'm talking too much, so I apologize. Hey, don't uh, even worry about it. <laughs> That's what this shit is all about. I, I, I do videos called gun battles. So my, my first my first real gun battle video was an, uh, an LCR uh, versus Smith & Wesson Shield. I'd never f shot either of them before. So I shoot them, I tell them what I think. Uh, I shot revolvers for the first time. GP100 versus the Smith & Wesson 686. First time I ever shot a revolver. Um, and by the way, and again, I'm not a revolver fan, but I will tell you what, single action is so much fun. And oh, so, yeah. Again, I, I try to cater my channel to where I am an absolute newbie. I will be a newbie forever for the fact of um, I never try to say that I know everything. Uh, and that's and honestly, that's why I love your channel, uh, Yankee Marshall, the fact of you have, you have fun with it. But you know, you try to learn and share information, and again, that's what the, I'll say. Everybody's channel up here too is you try to share information, which I think is the best part about YouTube. What I try to do is, okay, as a new shooter, what do I learn from this gun? What do I learn from this caliber? And I share it with people and let them make the decision. And I, I share what I think. Uh, I picked the the 686 as the winner, uh, shooting the Sum, shooting the same caliber, and I, I say what I can and that's it. And but yeah, but handy well, speak for yourself about sharing information. I keep all the good yeah. stuff to myself. So yeah, handy <laughs> newbie. One thing is you can do if you if you do reviews now, it's a good thing. I mean, everybody's done them where you see where you were then and where you are now. Also to kind of you know check check you know give yourself a checkup on like hey you know that was my opinion then maybe you know or you sounded you know you agreed with yourself or you don't and it's a good you know kind of barometer yeah. to see where you're going and check yourself out. I guess I guess for me it's just I have more of a problem saying for me still I just don't want to do a review on a gun because I don't feel I have enough comparative you know for example no, 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 no. you got you got okay I I do when I first started my channel I did reviews on guns so like one of the first few things I did don't worry about specifics don't worry about uh, like knowledge or stuff like that. Just give your honest to goodness opinion on it. Just like, how does it feel to you? How did it meant? How did it work for you? You don't have to be such an expert. I give out some, you know, when, on my older, especially my older, longer videos. I would just tell people, hey, it shot. I I, I like it. It shot well. How is it? You know, please tell me how it's how it is for you. So that's how it. You know, don't. Um, you know, you don't have to. Uh, you know, like, well, I don't. Ha I don't think I have the knowledge or the 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 expertise of to, to review a gun. Don't worry about that. You speak from the heart. Yeah, tell what it feels like to cut off. You don't have to make night. a two hour video on it. Um, okay, yeah, that's a different said, yeah, Don't be like that fancy. That's a newbie. You need to post some comments in the <laughs> I didn't mention names there, but we could all figure people it out. People are trying hey, to, check out, your, we already said trying to check out your channel but they know where to go to look. Just well, put up a thing that here's my channel because they can click right off your name in the external. Well, and uh, find your channel. Well, try to keep things under ten minutes now. <laughs> well, here's the thing for me is like, for example, I have I have shot like okay, so I bought my first hand gun, and I can't go into the re. I, I want to go to the reason why, but not. But so my 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 second hand, I went out okay okay, and I I think Yankee Marshall has done beautiful reviews on the marketing aspect of handguns. Glock does a fantastic job 
of marketing the handgun. So I went in. I went into the gun shop to buy a Glock, and I walked out with. And I think you would agree with this, to where I walked out with an M and P. <laughs> so um, I went. I've shot a Glock a couple times. Not very. I haven't experienced it. But what for for me, it's. I don't want to go. I don't. I don't want to walk in the gun store or gun shop tomorrow, shoot a Glock, and be like, "Okay, here's my review," because I don't feel that I have enough experience in saying this gun is good, this gun is bad for me. Even though it's for me, I have not shot enough guns to say this gun is good, this gun is bad, and that might go now, for. Now hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a sort of a reality check, okay? So TN Outdoors Nine does really good ballistics re reviews. Right? Absolutely. And he, ha he, hates, he hates my carry. Awesome. He hates my Liberty carry ammo in his review, or at least doesn't speak highly of it. But he didn't look at what I was looking for in the information he gave me within his video that made me love it. So just because you know. You do something some way, people get stuff, something else from it anyhow. So just do what you're going to do. I hate to be yeah, a that's, car that's a good point. A car. A person you can't really please everybody with something. your videos. Exactly. A person can really dislike Unless, you know, something, you're not but if they're objective about it, people can look at it and go, oh, no, but that works for what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Like I, I could say, for instance, I could go out and shoot uh, solid rounds, like you know, full metal jacket, and be like, oh, those suck, blah, blah, blah. That's no good in, like, in my ballistic tank. And somebody can come back and go. I need heavy penetration. That looks like it did so much better than the nine that, you know, that forty-five did or something. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, uh, hang on, you be. Are you worried about credibility also? Not necessarily. It's just if 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 I put a video out, I want it to. I don't. I don't want it to be to where it would be. Okay, let's say. Uh, okay, let's say for example the. The, one of the videos I put out just test shooting my 300 mag. I don't want to come out and say the Stevens Model 200 is the best 300 win mag you can buy. Okay, they don't worry. They you don't, don't, you don't say that. Don't you say that. this is my first. You say this is my first long distance rifle. I'm getting groups of let's say three and a half inches at 200 yards, and I'm really enjoying shooting it. And well, people that, that's want the it. Thing is, These are my I, first impressions of that gun mm -hmm. and that round, and and, my, and what I'm taking from it. Well, that, that that that's kind of what well, it's kind of what I did in my video. Other than it's more of just watch this soda can explode. Um, <laughs> but I'm just saying, I don't want to come out and put out. I don't. I I don't want to put out a video. Don't be afraid of your own shadow, dude. <laughs> that's all no, I got to say. No, no. I'm just saying. Hey, look at look at look at what Yankee does. I mean, you don't have to worry about credibility yeah. in this world. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. put out what you want, dude. What were you about to say? Well, here, let me let me frame it this way, and maybe this will give a, a better explanation for everything. So, I was born and raised in Idaho. I was born and raised around guns, obviously in Idaho. Pheasant hunt, duck hunt, killed several pheasants and ducks. I went deer hunting for from 12 when I when I first could hunt till 16. I never got a deer, an elk, or a bear. Um, I pretty much dropped out of guns. Uh, that happens when you know you you learn about alcohol and bars and women. Um, so I will tell you, it happened in this the March 2013. Um, and, and I think and I can't, I hate quoting Yankee, and not that I hate it, but we have a real connection, and he doesn't know this, but. I um, he adopted kids and, you know, whatever else. has worked in social services. I, me and my wife, we do foster care. And uh, I love kids dearly. That's a real passion for me and my wife. And Why am I hearing romantic care. music now happening between Nubie and Yankee? <laughs> I will make, I will make love to Yankee. Uh, oh, my God. Not, that's one, one of the we need. Nobody... <laughs> all right, all right, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Look, is it after 10 o'clock where you're at? Noob, hey, a noob, okay. What, okay. So just to sum it up, what's your, what is your, what, what's really keeping you from being friends? <laughs> oh, I was I'm getting to the here, sorry. And, 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 and do car salesmen hate you when you go a lot? Just, just fuck yes. you. Just, that uh, makes you fucking mind. But here's what happened is, so we've done foster care for now four years this month, and... We, we have several children we want to adopt. We have three kids of our own. We, have, we want to adopt several kids. And the county goes, hey, 
uh, this kid of yours, the mom wants a gentleman who has drug, alcohol, and weapons charges all together. We're going to approve him to come to your house and pick up that child. I was like, what? Wait a second. All right, wait. You're saying a person with alcohol, drugs, and weapon charges is okay to come pick up this kid from my house. That is not okay with me because I feel that puts my family, my own personal three kids, plus all the kids we take care of, in danger. So the next day, the next day, I went to Gander Mountain in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and bought a handgun because I felt I need to protect my family. I have... There's no way I can put the responsibility of the safety of my family in that person's hands or the government's hands or the county's hands. Bought a handgun. And then it absolutely lit a fire under me of saying, you know what? I need to readjust how I look at protecting my family, protecting myself, protecting my home, protecting – and then it just, Second Amendment you know, goes from there. So that is how everything really exploded. So, but what I'm saying is, I only have, we'll say, from March of 2013 to whenever I end my YouTube channel, whatever that is, is that is that is where I want to base my my firearms experience from. So I don't want to come out and say this handgun, this caliber, whatever it is, it is a recommended buy because I personally do not view my experience or my handling of this firearm as a recommendation for someone. That was an absolutely long explanation of everything. Uh, I'll, I'll just say that. Just say, buy a SIG. Buy a SIG. <laughs> but for me, it's like, you know, I look at it as this is an absolute core of my foundation of my family and protecting my family. You know, I have kids in my home that are not mine, that won't be mine, but I will die to protect them. And I don't want to come out and do a video saying you should buy this handgun for those that might be in a similar situation to where they will recommend or they will, they will live and die on the recommendation that I put out. You're thinking a little... Yeah, you're overthinking it. But, but and it's up to the it's up to the buyer to do their due diligence. Well, yeah. okay. Any, anybody that's looking to YouTube to check this out, if they haven't looked at twenty or thirty videos to get everybody's opinion, then you can't blame yourself if but end no, up with something that I, I doesn't work for them. Not fancy your uh, Hickok forty five recommended. I buy it. Yeah, because yeah, no, nobody's gonna video. nobody's yeah. gonna listen to a new guy on the channel and your your whole name and everything. They're gonna be like, so just give your 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 experience with it. And just say this but, is what I liked about it or whatever. Don't okay. don't say this is not <laughs> the best gun in the world. You know how many you know how many people tell me to buy a Glock. You, you know how you know many people tell yeah, me to buy a Glock. Was... And you know and I instead I got this. To buy a Glock. So I so basic is you know it, it's um. I watch things on YouTube. Okay, great, that's fine. And then I would recommend, and I would. That's what judges, you know, like would form a little bit of my opinion. It gives it gives me reinforcement. But usually, I go by experience on on, on what to get. And but, I also look at the meat and potatoes on um uh you know on the meat and potatoes of of what the gun does by my experience. The you're, same you're is what someone should do. Duty. It should feel good for them. It should be good for, you know, you know useful to them. Don't worry about other, pe other people. But if I tell somebody to do this and it sucked, what people are, you know, people are going to get mad at me. Don't worry about that. No, no, no. But here's the thing. For example, here is my Smith & Wesson. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm getting a beat right now. Here is my Smith & Wesson Sigma SW40C. This gun was manufactured in 1998. Police issue. This gun is not recommended or has any reliable data behind this gun. This gun right here has fired 500 to 1,000 rounds flawlessly for me. Absolutely. I If I was going to make a video on this gun, which I'm not going to, I would say this gun is fantastic. It is awesome. Why are you not going to go to? Why are you not going to do a video for that gun? Because if you Google this gun, if you look at videos, this is not a reliable gun. Absolutely not. But so, is it reliable for you? 
For me, it is. Then but tell people that. Then tell people that. But here's the oh. thing. Would any of you say this gun is reliable to depend your life on? Yes. If I had it and I fired 5,000 rounds or however many rounds through it and it didn't fail or only had one fail in 1,000 rounds, then yeah, I would. Yes, I would. You know why? Because it wouldn't be in the market and a lot of people won't have it if at least a few... Look, I'm in the cell phone industry, okay? And I, I have people... This is the thing. I, I'm in the cell phone industry. I'm a tech support, okay? So let's just shift a little... You know, I want to do a comparison. Um... I have people who call in saying this is the worst, uh, you know, they call in saying they've had three replacements of a certain phone. This is the worst phone I've ever had. My friends tell me this is the worst phone they've, they've told me. I went on right, YouTube, they told me this is the worst phone. And, uh, and then the internet reviews so say it's so bad. Then I get a call afterwards from a customer just, you know, with basic questions with the same phone and says, oh, how do you, and I, I ask, well, how do you like your phone? Is everything okay? It's like, man, this is the best phone I've ever had. My, all my friends who have this phone, it says it's the best phone. I have, uh, you know, I went on the internet and actually found great reviews on this phone. Same model phone. So don't, you know, you know, people with this, when, when it comes to the Sigma, some people say it's the worst, it is the worst gun. I, I, you know, I've, 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 um, some people, uh, you know, I've seen people on YouTube, damn the Sigma. Then I've heard Iraq veteran 8088's Barry say, Sigmas are fairly cool. It's like, you, you're never going to get a, a straight up, and then that's the thing about us here in the gun community. We have too many opinions, and that's a little bit, you know, and some people trying to influence you and trying to, uh, or, or, you know, telling you, you know, otherwise, and then people who, and then there are people who are support you. Don't worry about those opinions. You, you know, we get too many assholes in here, which is our opinions, basically. <laughs> assholes are like opinions. Everybody has them. Don't Everybody worry knows. about. Yeah, and don't worry about saying the Sigma is a great gun for you. Tell them, tell them that, and then well. Well, but the internet says it sucks. Well, does do they do they own a Sigma to experience that for themselves? Everybody knows the Sigma blows, so we're all on the same page here. Shut up. <laughs> well, but here's well, the well, well, we're all on the same page here. Know that the Ranko 45 is the best gun. However, apparently people can't get it up, uh, you know, down there in the states. So I mean, it's kind of not an option for you guys. Although you can get a Colt that's kind of like it. They're pretty close if you get the Army model, you know. The good ones. Yeah, we're, we're we're stuck on these uh you know thirty round mags, yeah, forty round mags. Double, we're just yeah, double stack with. mags for forty five. Yeah, forty four forty round mags that we're just stuck yeah, handling. John Browning time. would not like it. I mean, we got, we got a second for me to do a, a short rant. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I did it. I did it. Yeah, in the I already did it in the external, but I'm gonna put it out here for posterity. We gather a group of people here to discuss thoughts and ideas and topics of our whim. I am tired of people whining and bitching if they don't like what's currently going on in the external. It's going to be my policy if you whine and bitch to just block your ass and send you on your way. I mean, we're, we're here on our own time, enjoying ourselves. If you don't like it, get the fuck out. Yeah, this go is my out. garage. Go home. Go away. <laughs> like, seriously. Right. And that's it. So I'm sure there's another live chat over quilting or something on. Yeah, I think they're doing like an arts and crafts one. So far, I have noticed that only the gun community has such organized chats. Uh, mm. I have tried to get involved in chats with the comic book community, the mm. science fiction community on YouTube. All yeah. of them will occasionally have chats, but they're very scattered. It's usually one or two people basically just speaking to the group, just like they're filming a regular video. They're not that involved. They don't last very long. They're just not that frequent. It's just like the gun community has done a better job of pulling together a bunch of people who talk regularly mm -hmm. and involve pretty much anybody who wants to be involved. Yeah, we get yeah, off a lot of sometimes. Here. We get off topic, but it's just you know just to keep the conversation going sometimes. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, it's gen generally the 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 prime timers are about guns, but if something else comes up and you don't like it, tune out for a little bit and come back and check to see if we've gone back to guns or something. Yeah, because we do tend to... Uh, we we, 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 we tend to stray from the path reason, every now and then. The reason I said, said something is I mean, Quark is hosting tonight. Thank you, Quark, for doing that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thanks, Quark. And I actually do but live by the exact same standard as uh, one band. I've already done it. I've blocked people for... We, we don't get... We, topic or bitching about a panelist. We don't make it any money to speak of doing this or whatever. It's a bunch of people having a good time together. I hope you enjoy what we're doing, and that's why you come to watch. 
But if you don't like one particular thing, oh Wait well. Wait five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shove yeah, off. Yeah, we're we're uh, yeah. These chats are kind of like the weather in Saskatchewan. If you don't like it, just give it a minute. It'll change. <laughs> <laughs> what? It, it gets cold to colder. Yeah. <laughs> Eight, and it snows harder. That yeah. That well, snows right now, it's thicker. Really nice. I think it's only like you know about I guess your temperature about thirty. So it's kind of balmy. Yeah, I was gonna say no. It's nobody, snowed, no, it's no, snowed no. all day here, Matt. Yeah, nobody it's snowed all day here. But I, mean, I, I never hear anybody terrible. complain when there's a there's a really heated argument, and it doesn't have anything with guns, but it's just a good old you know two people going at it, and it oh, gets yeah. all. Oh man, did you hear about that one? Yeah, they went at it, man. And everybody's excited about that, but it has nothing to do with guns sometimes either, and everybody gets loves that shit. <laughs> well, I would yeah, say, and I can understand. I mean, if you came someplace and, like, let's say we titled this, you know, "Guns All Night," and you came in and all we talked about was the polar ice cap for four hours, yeah, then you got a reason to bitch. But you know, we're a group of people. Midget, the, midget pony porn or the something. The conversation goes where where we feel led to go and just shit or whatever, and. It's going to be a journey. Either enjoy it or don't bitch <laughs> about it. One or the other. I would say as no one's forcing you to stay. As a person who watched chats for a long time, didn't really say anything, and then now kind of get involved in the YouTube channel, and me and Yankee might disagree on global warning, and you know, me and other people might disagree on stuff. The the discussion is what makes these chats. Is you can have differing opinions, you know, whatever, but. I'd say we're all talking civil, you know, civilly. Or civ that's not even the right word. That's right. You're right. Uh, yeah. Literally, uh, screw but you. Learn to talk. I. <laughs> I'm <from the> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> well, he said we're all talking civilly, so I had to say it. I gotta hide you. Fine. I'm gonna quit chat, and you know what? My dad pees farther than you, and screw you. But no. Hey, Dad, uh, you're all bigger blocked. than your dad. Who kicked really, your dad's really, ass? <laughs> real quickly, hey, uh, Hank and Newbie, did you already take the spring out of that thing? My dad bigger shits than your dad's. Yeah. Hank and Newbie, did you take the spring out? This is what makes you? YouTube great, is we can, mm -hmm. all, we can think, all, and all of us think different stuff about different opinions. We can uh -huh. talk, we can share, we can discuss. This is what makes it fun. This is why I got involved with YouTube. Be like, hey, I can make stupid videos too. That's what I originally thought getting on YouTube was... Hey, I like. I'm starting to get the guns. I'll make. Well, I'm in a oh, oh, you can so make stupid videos. videos. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're saying. That. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to say. I was going to say. Uh, and then, new, you're a pet. I mean, outburst. I'm going to say this. I encourage people to start your own groups and doing hangouts. I was before we came on tonight. I was there was another person in our community that was doing a chat. They only had three people on the panel. I went and hung out in the external window and supported them as much as I could. You know. But, uh, you know, just have a good time with it. We don't need to hear people whining and bitching about shit. Yeah. Just, yeah, we hear enough uh, about that from our it, wives. It, it, it makes it not fun for me, and I guess that's what my biggest bitch is. I, I come here to have a good time. I travel on the road. I, I will admit this is, you know, my only interaction with people other than people that are subject to my, you know, duties of my work. Supervision. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I could think... I could, yeah, I could sit and watch TV all night and be a fucking couch potato, but I get to hang out with a bunch of guys talking about guns and life and politics and whatever the hell else we feel like, and I want to have fun doing it, and it ain't fun having people bitching all the time, you know? Hey, uh, really quickly, hey, um, uh, Hank and Newbie, did you already take the spring out of that thing? Out of the... I replaced the spring in the... In the, the okay, so it's a lighter trigger now? Huh? So you said a lighter trigger now? Oh no, I replaced the recoil spring. That's it. Oh, but, but you still have the uh, original trigger spring? Yep. All right. Hey, is, is the trigger working for you? The this handgun was made in 1998. Uh, everything is original, other than the recoil spring. Other than I was cleaning the gun one time, and the recoil spring. I had taken it out. I set it down. I was cleaning the gun, and the recoil spring cap just shot off, and shit went everywhere, and I couldn't find it. And so I bought a new recoil spring. That's okay. The, that's the only reason I replaced it, and I'm keeping it original. Let me tell you. Okay, so the, is, so the trigger is good for you then. Uh, the good <laughs> for me, or it works. Okay. If you, if you cut the pigtail spring out of those, they tend though. They tend Bob, to loosen up a little bit. Here's the thing: is if I if, if I pull the trigger all the way back, 
for my wife. Ah, lock in on Hook. Works. Okay, so because I did not take the spring out of that this thing either, and it still works. So yeah, I'm just checking. I'm locked yeah. in. I can't see anything. Me either. But if anybody's interested in the original Sigma series, I'll sell it to you for six hundred dollars. You just said that you would make a review on it, but you're trying to sell it to us? No, the the, the original Sigma, the very first one they came out, they said that one had, had, had a sweet trigger. Yeah, had a sweet trigger, the very first one they made. That's All right, now lock it on, Huck. It's a collector's item now. They don't make them anymore. Should be worth oh. oh, that's going to be a wicked-looking blade, man. <laughs> oh, that is. Wow. That's a... Uh, yeah, that's oh. going to be a fighting knife. I want to say that is a World of Warcraft uh, dagger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's going to be a combat Wells Fairbanks. It's a Fairbanks. Well, I'm not, Fairbanks. I'm not, I'm not looking to be trying to. Just in case he's messing around with my knife and just not telling him. It's telling me it's a Wells knife. Fargo knife. I heard no, 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 no. This is not. I, well, I wouldn't show you yours. You said you didn't want to. It is right here, though. I guess I could kind of. I'm not watching. Go, go ahead. You can show them all. I'm on the. Now, the reason TV I've been, time. the reason Bob that I have been waiting so long is I've been waiting for this piece of steel to arrive, and it is a particularly pretty piece of ladder, Damascus. It's an awesome, awesome. Yeah. Right, but I, I know I'm gonna get ahead oh, of myself. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's not, oh, that's yeah. a nice, nice pattern right there. It's a ladder. There's a, oh, the folder I'm working on here is uh, oh, just a yeah, regular twist. twist oh, okay. pattern. That's still good. That's still good pattern. Oh, yeah, and I'm looking. Good. I'm looking at the in, the internal. I've been trying to get some guy in Sandy out. He was working on getting his camera set straight now. Did he actually show up in a hangout last night? Yes, or was he, he did. Just, yeah, he was in yeah. a hangout. A couple, I think either a couple nights ago. Damn it! And I missed his debut. Shit. He was uh it was a short when he stayed for like thirty minutes. Right on. Just want just wanted to see how it worked basically. Yeah, he well, just wants, guess, for us guess, to, to, wants us to know that he lost his seventeen dollar pair of gloves. Oh wow. So uh Everything gloves? <laughs> yeah, so for those for those that don't Love gloves. For those that don't know or you wouldn't know anyways, is uh that uh, some guy in Sandy made a killer like channel intro for our YouTube channel for the Every Second Matters, and we haven't really done any videos specifically for the channel, mm -hmm. but he did a really awesome job. He did, put, did a bunch of editing into it. He just sent me the master disc with the final version to my house, and uh, you know I just want to say thank you to him for doing that because it's pretty badass, and hopefully we'll be able to use it on a channel video, at least like oh, an intro cool. video here pretty soon. That'd be kind of neat. Hey, one bad. Read the read my comment. What? You're uh, going full. You're going full gay. No. No. <laughs> what? Never going full retard. <laughs> you know, you're lucky. Uh, G Web's in here. He would have, he would have problems with you saying uh, that word. So. Right. We're we're not going to rush yeah. him out, but Nathan's armory said he's going to be taking off here in a little bit. So, Sunday and Sandy, we'll we'll no. send you a link. He whenever he, leave. whenever he, whenever he leaves, you'll have a, a link to get in. Newbie, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. You see this right here? That's a bowl of ice cream. That means I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's not good for you. That's not good for you. I thought yeah. sugar cheese. Yeah. You know, eat ice cream right before you go to bed, man. That's gonna give you nightmares. Well, so it makes me sleep. It's sleep just your well. body doesn't burn it, it, off all that, all it, that thing. It it makes me sleep like a baby. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Is there, is there gonna, somebody going to be doing the average yet? Well, we got like hour and forty five minutes left, so yeah, you're kind of getting ahead of yourself. Yeah, just no, 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I might not be on it because uh, I got. I, I'm going to get busy tonight. You're so. <laughs> going to get. You're gonna get busy tonight. Oh, oh dang! What's busy with the left hand. I thought right? maybe you finally got a girlfriend you. or a boyfriend. Get them sure. find those he ordered something from Russia. I don't know if it arrived today. Uh, he found it's those red boxes in that barn. 
<laughs> Call of Duty just came out, so. <laughs> oh, there you go. Call of Duty. Is that the 4 or whatever? The Ghost. Ghost. Yeah, I've been playing that Modern Warfare one, and it's kind of short for all the shit you, you know. I thought it would be better than that. Well, oh, you mean the the story? Yeah, the story's gonna be short. It's meant for it's 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 all multiplayer. That's what it's meant for. <laughs> well, so oh, cool! That's, that's, so all some guy in Sandy just, are, that's the way that the play is like multiplayer. Some guy in Sandy put up the link if you want to go see that intro thing in its final guys. Awesome! I'll go look at it. Copy and paste it after cool. the YouTube, you know, www.youtube.com forward slash script. Oh, by the way, uh, what's this? Um, thin blue line. Um, yeah, this the SE9 V. This is the gun that's keeping me from buying a Glock. <laughs> that's just as good. Exactly. Oh, I just, oh, I just, I just pissed off now. Oh, hey, hey, you know what? Bring it. A lot of people have already done it. Come on. I don't give a shit. <laughs> How many people keep bugging, begging you because I, I, I it's not even that the I hate Glocks. A decade I just of don't service. have one. I just don't, I don't have hate Glocks, one. I just don't want one. See, I would like to get a Glock 1B. I just don't have one right now, and I got other guns in mind right now. So one thing at a time. That's maybe a, a better statement than they're just as good. Because I mean, the, you, the, the, there's a decade of service behind one of them. You should really be saving your money so that you can afford to buy a Norinco, uh 45 because they're yeah, the but they don't sell the wrinkles. Over yeah, there's here. like four decades of service behind those. <laughs> and um, what do you call this? Um, Zimbabwe. And th that, and you know, I don't, I can't afford 45s, 45 rounds. Well, I will tell you, I have my first experience with no wrinkle ammo. It is way better than Wolf. If if you have to decide between no wrinkle and Wolf ammo, no wrinkle is way better. Oh yeah. No, no, and too bad they banned Norinko from here. That's probably why. It's so good. And then uh, I will. I'm, I'm working actually on a YouTube video of it. But uh, I was told by if, if this shows up here, uh, this gunsmith right here helped me out in an absolute jam. And he said the absolute best AK-47s are by Norinko right here. This guy right here saved my They're ass. They're definitely my favorite. I've always mm -hmm. liked them. He saved my ass in a crimp for doing a bunch of gunsmith work. Uh, this guy right here says... A, a all right, right you owe me five bucks for advertising for him. <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy is in Idaho. He doesn't have a web page, doesn't have email, doesn't have any... He has a store that doesn't even have a name on it. This guy right here saved my ass in a crimp. He, he did my Sega conversion... Uh, on an absolute whim for 40 bucks, and this guy does a ton of custom work. I I actually held in my hands an MP40 because of this guy, which is an absolute relic. Uh, this guy saved my ass right here. So if you're in Idaho or you want true gun gun work smith smith smithing, if I can say that word done right. Gun. This is the guy Gun that's smutting. Porno uh, yeah. engravings. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's name is Tony. Uh, All right. uh, yeah, I'm going to plug him. 208 793 3251. This guy saved my ass. And now I have you, 10 bucks. It, it saves. <laughs> right yeah, it, sa it, it sounds stupid, Go but. On. I had to get yeah, my. No, it's good to know. It's good to know when there's gunsmiths around that'll hook, hook your guy up. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'll, I'll so my gunsmith, what? my gunsmith, it would have just put in that in if I asked him to do it. He just said, "Well, you'll see it in three or four weeks." Yeah, yeah, mine too. It's like, oh, no, it's no kind shit. of busy season. Yeah, you need it right away, and I'll be like, no, not right away. Three months later, is it done yet? Oh, I was just gonna start on it. <laughs> Well, here's the thing: is I was out in Idaho, I I was doing my Sega conversion by myself, and I'm I'm doing a whole review on it. But Carolina Shooter Supply fucked me. That's that's the way it is. I took it to him; he did everything right. Because for me, it was I saw my brother Greg for the first time in like three or four years, my family for the same time, and we go out shooting. So guess what? Having my Sega done was very important. 
He did it the same day that I called him. Everything in front of me, he saved He saved uh, everything for me. So it's absolutely important what he did. And those bullet buttons are important because I did my magazine test at the range, and I did have one magazine that fed flawlessly without putting that bullet button in, but the other two, both stuffed rounds, they're set back the bullets on the second shot. Well, basically it didn't load it. It just nosedived and I had two grounds I didn't even shoot because I didn't want to shoot them with the higher chamber pressure yep. with the setback. But yeah, anyhow, guy, uh, he had—I mean, he has so many. He had so many amazing guns in the shop he's working on. He custom makes all of his own uh, muscle brakes. Uh, he does all the work for the Idaho Museum. So he had two MP40s in there that he's like, oh, "I'll help you, but you have to help me." So he actually custom made, or uh, I should say, redo. The folding stocks in the MP40s. Uh, so I had to help him hold it and hammer uh, because they, uh, whatever it is in the pins, they fold them out, whatever that's called. Uh, helped him flare them. Yeah. flare them. Yeah, they flare the pins in the MP40s. Uh, so I helped him do that for the uh, for the MP40s that were going to the uh, Idaho Museum for History or whatever it's called. Uh, the guy had so many guns in there. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, but, again, he helped me the same. I called him that day. He helped me the same day. He walked me through every single step he did, and he, he charged me 40 bucks. I, that, I paid that's him. That's pretty classy. I paid him way more than that, um, but the guy was absolutely fantastic, did everything, showed me everything, it was one of those guys to where you meet him, and it's like, this guy knows his shit. This guy cares about people. I, I paid yeah. him as much money as I had my wallet. Some guys yeah. tiny. How you right. doing? So we got, we got his, his positive You're reinforcement. you got to unmute yourself. Right. Right. Some guy. Some guy and yeah, Sandy's here. Yeah, I'm here, but, yeah, I'm here, but my camera's acting up. It's, uh, it's kind of dark. Sorry about that. I'll see yeah, if I can no get worries. it. Oh, I'm yellow some I'm, I'm running on my background right now. Yellow every night, Bob. Uh, uh, my camera turned me into Biker like Bob. Like Bob. I mean, that's how bad cameras are. <laughs> yeah, the thing about this one, though, it's a it's a pretty nice camera. It worked yeah. great the other night. I don't know why it's so dark. Anyway. It's really, really I clear saw, for I saw, a dark I, room. I checked out that lead-in. That is very nice. That uh, that's cla I like it. Yeah, that's good. Well, I appreciate it. I uh, spent a little bit of time on it for you guys. Yeah. Oh, that looks great, man. Yeah, did you, awesome. uh, one bad, did you happen to read the copyright statement I put in there? <laughs> I did not. I have, I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't opened the package up. I didn't want to get it out, and I've got oh, a wow. puppy running around right now that might destroy it. <laughs> so. Well, I didn't put a label on it because I, I didn't want my fingerprints on the disc, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Be, all the you're going to get some really on right weird now. porn, one bad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not from me, but anyway. Yeah, if it had been no. from Yankee, I'd be a little nervous. So I'd want to make sure nobody was around when I opened it. Oh, is Cork sending out links again? That oh, wasn't me. Know. That was missed. Oh, okay. I keep oh. thinking it was you for some reason. I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What happened? But I finally finally get a chance to meet you. I wasn't here for your, your Hangout debut. debut. But... Oh, no. You were working, I think. Yeah. Well, well, I actually, if it was just in the last couple of days, I got a long trip home, and I made it out for the Sunday night, uh, an, an American warning thing, but that was about the only time I got on from uh, Thursday on. Yeah. I saw a little bit of that the other day. It it can go either direction. I go there that direction. The voice. I, I try and be the voice of reason for the most part. But. I saw that. Everybody, everybody brings a little something there, and it's not for everybody. Not everybody wants to listen to a pure, purely political gloom and doom. We know how well that worked tonight. Nights. <laughs> <laughs> Some nights, it's, yeah, it's pretty pretty depressing. <laughs> yeah. Other nights, it's, you know, there's a more brighter view of things, you know. Yeah. Always the hope of an alien invasion to unite the people of the world. What is that? Some some rumor about the fourteenth or fifteenth of this month? Uh, there's going to be an alien invasion, or <laughs> no. a blackout, or some, some you know some zombie apocalypse yeah. or something. 
know there's always going to be one of those out. Part of it. Well, the part ten of, of us it, will I live. think, was that I don't know if it's those days, but there's a pretty big ass comet that's getting ready to make a trip around the sun, and at some point in the near future, we're going to be in its catching shit coming out of the tail of it. Oh uh, yeah, it's already passed yeah. through our planetary plane, so in yeah, a month or so or something like that, we're actually going to oh, yeah. go through the tail, but then it's going to actually pass our planetary plane coming back, and it's going to be close to us relatively, not on our plane, so it'll be like above us or below us. Yeah, they were saying that's going to be right around but Thanksgiving, actually. there's spaceships actually. hiding in its tail, yeah. apparently. Yeah, there's so. enemy, like, alien spaceships <laughs> that are riding along with it. So when they get close to us, they're going to drop out of the comet and come and invade us. That's theory. Some guy from San Diego's a lizard guy, I can tell. Yeah, those Canadians will believe anything. Uh, hey, I no, I, the, I saw it on I TV. Would say it must be true. Actually, I would no, it was on YouTube. The, Never mind. I would, I would say with the general instability of everything going on right now, if you don't have at least three months' worth of prep, <laughs> You're behind the fucking eight ball. If you don't have, yep. I would, I would recommend a year's worth, but at least three months worth, just to cover your ass. And I'm not saying that the world's gonna end tomorrow. It, you know, we we could make it ten years before the rest of the world tells us to go screw ourselves for all the shit we're doing with our economy. But at some point, they're gonna tell us to go pound sand, and there'll be an adjustment period as everybody's getting their money traded out and whatever else. He's a lizard person, I tell you. Or it could be a, a solar flare, or it could be the comet, or it could be alien invasion. I mean, you, but anybody, or it could be a, a fucking really bad storm. But anybody could, be, could have minimum three months prep to put away. It could be a, a local area EMP in your area. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just imagine, like if 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 a you know even even <clears> a small EMP <throat> takes out like huge natural. areas of air of ground yeah. and. Uh, you know, if you've got everything's just shut off, how long does it take to get anything in you? <laughs> well, yeah, that, I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you changed with your camera, but you have light now. Oh yeah, no, I just uh, it's a little Logitech uh, HD camera I got a while okay. back. I've actually never used it, and mm. uh, so it's here we are. Okay. Yeah, good it now. doesn't save its settings apparently. So there you are. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, nice. this is great. I can show you uh, my new toy, Mr. One Bad. Uh, all right. You can call me Luke if you want. Luke Mr. Luke? Bad, Not even Supreme, Mr. Luke. He, he likes Supreme Overlord. Supreme Overlord. <laughs> Supreme Overlord. Oh, Overlord. Works for oh, yeah, you showed that video in the compact. Nice. Compact. Yeah. Oh, sweet, man. Nice. Have you oh, shot yeah, it yet? Right. Hold it right there, yeah. Did you shoot it? Uh, I, wanted... I have not. Uh, I wanted to fall in love with that. I wanted to fall, fall right in love with one of those, and I picked it up at the gun shop, and it just did not feel right in my hand. It just didn't work for me. Man grips you guys. Maybe the next time I pick it up, it'll feel different. <laughs> yeah, I walked into a gun store to buy an M&P, and I walked out with one. There you go. Yeah, see? You never like have any gun. That, that's in my list. Well, I'll tell you what. I took that uh, advice directly from from these chats. I mean, I, I put up questions about compact, uh, compact, you know, firearms and and whatnot. I don't carry. Mm -hmm. I uh, I intend to get my license and all of that. And so I was looking for something that would work. Mm -hmm. And I uh, did some research and and I heard a lot of good things here. A couple mm -hmm. of videos by you guys that I respect a lot and uh, went ahead and pulled the trigger, so to speak. Okay, if you start going on about Yankees, yeah, you're in, I'm going to get really upset. You're in, you're in the communist <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Only no, no, so many no, no, no. people can I love Yankee Clack that much. You're in I live in Clackamas Clack County. <laughs> That's barely better than... than well, no, no, but, yeah. Did you get a bunch of arrows behind you there? Me? Yeah. Uh, that's my model airplane bench. It's, it's a disaster. It's mm. probably just <laughs> materials and stuff. Oh, God, you sound as bad as me. My, uh, my bow is right up there, though, ah. hanging in the rafters. Mm -hmm. Right on. Anyway. Talk yeah. to you. So say, oh. you're, uh, are you into radio-controlled cars and helicopters, too? I do helicopters and planes. Uh, that's, you know, stuff that flies. I had pounders. Some people I, like them. I don't know. I, I got tired of kids, eh, because I, I got tired of fixing the airplanes. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you can tie up a lot of money in those cars. Uh, I've got, I know oh, yeah. guys that are into it, and I mean, they get just downright expensive. Oh yeah, I never oh, yeah. got that crazy. I, I, you know, some couple thousand into them, but nothing 
not so. I had a helicopter my cousin had set up, and it had still had the training gear on it, if you will. You know, the big uh, aluminum X pong, with the like, yeah, wiffle balls on, it. on the end of sticks. And it was a good thing it was set up with the rotors that were designed for training because I crashed that thing more times than I could remember. I, I, I eventually yeah. sold it. It was just too hard to fly. Yeah. Well, I bought I a really small one, one to start one with. And and ones, but the problem was is my cousin had put a piezo gyro on it, and, and it really needed to be taken to somebody who knew how to dial it in, and I didn't have enough experience to do that. Piezo well, there's, there's guys in my uh, in my radio club that, that fly, I mean, really, really nice helicopters. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, they've got five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 in these things. It's just oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Well, they, they yeah. make them with real turbines now. Uh, yeah, I don't know anybody who owns one of those, but I've seen yeah. videos. Have you seen uh, the SR-71 that dude has? A full the thing that gets me it. with the RC helicopters is it seems like the big thing you get to do is to fly them upside down. Oh, Which, yeah. I mean, it is sort of cool that they'll fly upside down, but it's like all they do. I mean, I saw a competition where they're flying it through an obstacle course upside down. Not to like, plug my videos or anything. I'm yeah. not monetized, but if you go to yeah. my channel page, there's a link there in the, in the, uh, the title bar. It's Portland Sky Nights. If you follow that right. link, there's a bunch of videos I made of, of our RC group, and uh -huh. there's a video in there called Ryan Flies His... Uh, T-Rex or whatever it is, the, the, the name of that video. And this kid, I'm not kidding you, man, he is a stunt pilot. He is uh -huh. really good. Hey, they I, say flying, those, flying, flying one of those RC helicopters is more difficult than flying a 747. I believe oh, it. Actually, flying a radio-controlled airplane is more difficult than flying a... Uh, yeah, airplane. they are, because you don't have the yeah. same aspect, right? Well, yeah, when taking you turn, off a 747 When you turn to start anymore. coming back towards yourself, everything reverses. And if you can't get your head around that, you're going to be ooped. Don't you watch Indiana Jones? I'm taking off. It's hard as landing. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just build, like, foam ones and, and this and that. I've got a couple of really nice balsa planes that I'm working on for the springtime. Mm -hmm. And it's just a, it's just, it's a hobby. Yeah, it's, it's a peaceful hobby because you sit there and assemble little tiny fucking parts. It's an old man hobby. You can see yeah. the gray, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, my dad, you know, my dad nope. loved doing the, the Monaco. I got it. Oh, yeah. On the planes. We gotta do I it. hate it. We gotta I do love it. building. I'm going to have to show my camera for a minute because we're going to do the beard check-in. I Damn. saw that in your video earlier. Yeah, man. Oh. Here, we're getting hairier. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask you about it. There's a, there's a Yeti on the loose. Yeah, I'm thinking it's yeah. We're, we're have, Bob and I are having a beard off. Of course, mine's all white, so it doesn't show up very well. So now you have to well, look up you, a little bit there. You try having a beard Quark. off. I'm just trying to play along. <laughs> <laughs> Quark, have you actually been growing your beard? It doesn't look like it at all. I <laughs> know China. exactly. Yeah, it's been eight days. <laughs> that's like a hairy that's eight days. <laughs> yeah, that's eight days. It ain't good. My, the rest too. Of my beard is just about what you got in your goatee there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Last time I saw you, Luke, it was like, holy shit, is he hairy. I don't even know. <laughs> well, he has to shave mean, three times it, a day. It, isn't yeah. it a pain in the ass when you find it at a garage to, to get to get, you can get it down to where you can shave yourself decently? <laughs> yeah, I actually use, I have a pair of wall hair trimmers that if I let my hair go for a while, I rough it in with the, the wall trimmers oh, yeah. and then I shave. <laughs> yeah, I always do that too. Cause I mean, you can't shave once it's like it's so long. It it's just horrible. It's like ripping it so, out. I bet, I bet I love those those motels and hotels. You said love that shit and only clog up your drain. <laughs> I have a customer. I was at a site I, today I and uh, down and put it on the shirt and then shake it outside. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Oh, you what your customer? Oh, I was saying I have a I have a customer and uh, this guy he he gets in beard contests. Uh, he he just got oh, back yeah. from Germany. I guess they they have a world final beard contest. <laughs> and uh, th I'm not kidding you. This guy's beard is like two feet long. Remind me of ZZ Top. Have any of you guys seen that one guy who has a gun channel on Gun Tourette's? He's a gunsmith. Um, he's about about doing. He's talking about expanding recently. And that dude has a beard that goes like halfway down his waist, and I was like, Jesus Christ, how can you let that thing grow? Oh yeah, man? yeah, and he, yeah. And he braids it sometimes, even. Uh, I've never seen that, but he always That's has it. It's a, yeah, no, but he has it. Yeah. You know, he's a long beard. Uh, I think you're talking about a uh, gun uh, gun blast. Is the guy you're talking about? Uh, New Year's Day, oh like, yeah, uh, maybe yeah. Gun blast. That's another guy. He's a, he's in his like probably about early 40s. Gunsmith guy. It's called Gun Tourette's. He's a good channel. 
Tourette's uh, like the, the syndrome? Yeah, it's called the gun Tourette's. Um, nice. Yeah, see, that's my winter beard. So, I mean, if I let it go for a couple of years, it'd be pretty long. But gun I, gun I tr- No, no, you know what? I'm sorry. It's not gun Tourette's. It's gun torture test. There you go. I'm fucking gun up the channel name. Okay. Gun torture yeah, test. Com. Yes. Yeah. All right, we got to get the lighting right here. I don't know. That ain't, but, uh, it probably showed up better in that video I had. Do a pro, I can't even do a propo without telling where You definitely I were more Yeti like in that yeah. one. I could see a piece of McRib. <laughs> <laughs> you got some McRib in your, in your beard there you haven't eaten yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it used to be I had. You would have stuff had, in your beard. Oh, it used to be I had. That's growing good, Luke. It used to be I had some gray in my beard. Now I have some not gray in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. Isn't that always the case? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that beard picture is only two years ago, and my beard comes in now, and it's almost all white. Yeah, yeah. But, but neither of those are tactical beards, man. you got to get a tactical beard. That is a tactical well, Mine's kind of high speed. a lot more tactical than that. Yeah, yeah I can't grow man, a beard. Man, I could catch bees. When I had a beard like that and rode my motorcycle... I would get places and be able to pluck live bees out of my beard that didn't get to sting me because they hit my beard. <laughs> it, it literally would. It was face protection. You know, gravel wouldn't hurt as much when it came up and whacked you in the face because it's kind of like those the uh, black things you put in the front of your car. What are they? To catch the bugs? Oh, bug screens. Bug screens? Yeah, bug basically. deflectors. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the mustache worked the same too, eh? And you could strain like your coffee if there's coffee grounds. You could strain oh. through your mustache and <laughs> then just you know brush the coffee grounds out. It was great. Huh? Sometimes you could yeah. find. He had one too many beers tonight. Expecting apparently. them. No, you just yeah. get started. <laughs> you just get warmed up. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> well, I just say it, it, we know that if it really wouldn't be fair if we allowed Yankee to to comb his uh, neck and hair up onto his beard to count because yeah. I mean you know he's already got enough neck hair for like most yetis yeah, I've seen <laughs> I, I am I am actually going to shave my neck hair here pretty soon because otherwise I do look totally totally uh, yeti like squashy <laughs> yeti like yeah squash is how squashy I, I can't when, even when I was, what young, when like. I was younger I, I went on a Halloween for Halloween one year I just went and added a little bit of hair under my uh Eyes and uh, painted my nose black. <laughs> put some go, fake long go, black claws on and went as a as a as a, a wolf <laughs> man. I, I got third prize in the contest in the bar yeah, contest in the bar, man. <laughs> it was mom, great. So, somebody wants to know if that's your uh, picture, your mugshot from the last DUI. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't had a DUI in like 20 years, man. I learned my lesson a while ago. Yeah, don't get caught um, drinking. If dry. I'm drinking, I ain't caught. <laughs> no hell, That's you're always gonna get caught. That's the thing is, you're always gonna get caught. It doesn't matter how long you'll get away with it, you will get caught. And of course, if the worst <laughs> happens, got you caught. can actually kill somebody. Never so, got caught. Well, and you probably don't do it much anymore, do you? No, I haven't done it since 19. No, 2000. Yeah, 2000. Yeah. See, when I was 18 and riding a motorcycle and crazy and spending all my time in the bar, I did it every night. Well, see, I, I can give him my spiel on that, but I don't think a lot of people would appreciate it. It's just, yeah. Well, it's, oh, no, I, I've only ever, I, mean, I, only, I wrecked a lot I've, of motorcycles. I've only ever driven with being truly impaired once, and it was, was literally eight blocks from the bar to my house. And I oh, didn't go yeah, over yeah. 20, yeah, I 25, 30 mile an hour zone, and I think I was safe. <laughs> Dude, a, 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 a cop will tell you most I'd big accidents happen with down a twisty uh, highway <laughs> to get home, eh? <laughs> so... And yeah, well, no, you know, no, drive no, no, but no most accidents happen within two miles of your home because your attention is on other shit. Yeah, 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 but but uh, no, I mean, I mean, my thing is also uh, my father, man, he's driving hammered all the fucking time, you know, four in the morning, bringing us home from God knows where. Well, it used you know? to be legal. And, well, no, well, no, it wasn't legal. It wasn't always legal. No. It just, no, it was, it just wasn't. It just. I knew, I knew a guy that didn't go anywhere without a a beer in his center console. Yeah, but, yeah, but he no, probably, but, he finally got busted the third time and. Straightened his ass up. Well, yeah, but but the, but the thing, my point was, was going back to you know my dad growing up is you know and maybe you guys, my, I'm 37. People had you know their dads, you know that would do some similar things too. Is that the thing was is everybody drove shit face, so they always practiced. Yeah. You know, there was just a normal thing like hey, dad's driving us home again. Oh, it's be a rocky ride, <laughs> you know, and that's the way it was. Uh, well, back in those days, it wasn't that uncommon for a 
an unlicensed teenage kid to be allowed to drive you home. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah, you'd have your 12-year-old son drive you home because you were too drunk to see. It was safe. Yeah, and it most, was safer. most pickups had beer cans in the back of them, too, back when I was growing yep. up. Oh, yeah, you're uh, taking them to recycling. <laughs> oh, well, but, or using it <laughs> instead of littering. My, my point was before, before I get completely hammered on this is that is that you haven't seen the the rate of DUIs decrease or the rate of people dying and and accidents related decrease whatsoever because people just don't learn until they make that decision. It is still uh, personally. We, personally, we I think they should throw the fucking book at the people that drive drunk. Yep. Because there's well, hold on there's, It is it is what? still not a crime in Wisconsin. To get your first DUI and be a crime, it is only a fine in Wisconsin. Your first DUI does not require you to go to court. It is not a crime. It only requires you to pay a fine in Wisconsin. Well, you got fucked up laws. I don't we, care. There, I know, should no, be, there, shouldn't, there shouldn't even be that. I I absolutely agree. I'm just saying it is the only state in the United States to where. It is not a crime for your first DUI. I'm saying that's how bad it is here. I mean, you know saying, why that is, Republican, don't you? Republicans and Democrats have have uh, have proposed laws to make it different, and it has not passed. You know why yeah. it hasn't passed? It's because of all the all the, the, tavern, the tavern league. All the bur- yeah, all the exactly. Bur- it's all the money the tavern league sends them. Yep. Well, not only that, but it's been a proven fact that if you just eat a big block of cheese, you're completely sober right away. Yeah, but then you constipate over four <laughs> days. <Then> burger. <laughs> well, you might vomit for an hour or so before you're sober, but yeah, you'll you'll be able to drive after that. Do you want to see Cork roll down a hill chasing a roll of cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Roll, uh, no, it's a yes. wheel of cheese. Yes. Yeah, I'm not money for that. Like even when I was like a, a teenager, eighteen, nineteen, I like I understood drinking and driving was wrong. I justified it by saying I'm on a motorcycle. I'm the only one who's going to. Oh, how old was the kid? Yeah, right. You know, uh, course, one month. You know? One month. Uh, he's a bruiser. He's just not as intimidating on your uh, tricycle uh, bike. Uh, that's <laughs> not kidding. That's not kidding. That's I've not got two kidding. more. Two oh, more. You're a rascal. So, that's not a kid. That's a lab experiment. Zero what, zero. Is don't basis. be mocking. I'm the rascal. I want me a rascal. They look fun. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, yeah I, gotta, I gotta say, I almost come away every time I go to the freaking pet shop, walking, and coming home with a new cat. They're they're freaking high, high pressure salesmen there. Yeah, I got a doubt. Da- I got adopted they show, by. They show you a kitten. That's not high pressure. <laughs> yeah. I got adopted by a cat last February, and uh, right. I, I I didn't get her fixed in time. Oh. So, oh. Yeah. So she's she's going under the knife here uh, in a couple of weeks when she's and, done nursing. And now you've got like right. several cats. Oh yeah. What, my why do you spend money on that? Just watch a, There's a YouTube video you can do it yourself. No, my, I, my I, had, I had a whole litter of cats when I was younger, and the, we kept the whole family. It was the greatest thing ever. They were so entertaining. It was better than TV. So well, these guys <laughs> are running around here like crazy right now. That's, that's mm-hmm. the beauty of YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Right, your cats. My, my in-laws live in a manufactured home park, and they've been doing a feral cat program, they take the feral cats and get them fixed so that they don't reproduce. And now the park the park is trying to take legal action against them because they think that they're part of the problem, not part of the solution, when the park wouldn't do anything about the problem in the first place. Yeah, so bullshit. they started getting the cats neutered, and somehow that's mm-hmm. a problem. You want that's to neuter insane. your dog? Yeah. Just YouTube it, man. I mean, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Well, I think but females yeah, I are a little it. harder to do than males. Oh yeah, hey, it's close to you, probably, you probably, I, I had you three probably saw the video. I probably guy, can't but, uh, use this on her. No, you know I, I, I got a, I got adopted by a chihuahua the other day. <laughs> my dad used to do our dogs and our cattle and anything mm-hmm. else that needed to get neutered on the farm. Eh? It was just like his dad used to do it that way. That's the way he did it. Had a little, <laughs> uh, a little like the paracord and a couple of knots, right? Pretty much, yep. Yeah, you can yeah. just whack them little suckers right off. Yeah, and the funny part you. is the dog will, will have a great time while you're doing the cows or the steers. The bulls, you're, you're cutting theirs off and throwing them. The dog eats them, right? It's hilarious because it's crunch, crunch, crunch. And the dog loves them. <laughs> and, uh, but when you do the dog, he doesn't want to even see them. 
after you do it, I, I can see that high. as like a cool tool, like you know, like when you know the daughter, the daughter's boyfriend's going up and he's doing it. And at the same time, like, yeah, this is what happens. You mess around my daughter. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can see, son. I know how to do this without killing you. <laughs> <laughs> I might get a few. No, years. I'm just gonna go on the cast iron steers. Yeah, just keep him away from his daughter. No, I'm gonna Google it. Get it right. Hey, I have to step out for just a sec. I'll be right back. Yeah, no worries. No problem. We, we stare at Yankees chair for hours. Hey, you know what? In fact, uh, do you have uh, – if you want to let Kentucky Bob in here, I'll sit I'll sit out. It's cool with me. We got room. Oh, we got room. Good to talk to you. We can talk to all right. Bob well, all the time. We got give, me, uh, give me two minutes. Cool. I'll be right back. Yeah, right. You don't even have to log off. Just leave. Yeah, usually we just put a be right back in the internal and go. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you – Hardly have time to put that B right back before you got to run if you're older. Don't leave, him. Don't leave him <laughs> Michael and me to take a shit because that doesn't work out. Ballistic expansion is trolling. He says he can run a feral cat program just pay for my ammo. Yeah, my in-laws would shoot you just for saying that. But uh, I'm, Just so you know, Ballistic, you just got made the blacklist, so... Oh, <laughs> what Ballistic, Ballistic do? He was trolling. Oh... Yeah. Oh god! I'm, I'm, oh, not yeah, gonna, don't I'm not gonna blast blacklist him, but work, it, it's not—it's not, it's not yeah. near as funny as what he thought it was. No, it's well, exactly. Yeah. No, I mean, and I had neighbors growing up that you know they you, would. You can text you know, me and apologize if you want. They would have too many farm yeah. cats, and you know they just give the oldest son a box of twenty-two rounds and go oh, get rid of some of the cats. Mm -hmm. But these yeah. weren't cuddly cats; these were barn cats, and yeah, yeah. generally. I had, they, I had a buddy yeah. hit. He had a cat lady next door and she had well over 80 cats yeah. and he would put cats down but only because it was the humane thing to do because she wasn't taking good care of them yeah yeah, yeah. well and that would happen with the barn cats too right because what happened mm -hmm. is people would keep dropping them off on the road and, and the barn would get so overpopulated with cats that I mean number one the farmer can't really afford to keep feeding hundreds of cats and uh, normally you want to keep cats around to take care of the mice population but you know, these cats were starting to range out into the, into the, you know, neighbors' chicken coops and stuff. It, it's, you know, neighborly relations. It's a lot easier to keep if your cats aren't slaughtering all their chickens. And a cat is an apex predator. I mean, make no mistake. Cuddly and cute as they might be. Oh, absolutely. They're little killing machines. Yep. Yeah, it's like I mean I got I got uh, corn snakes and it's like people go oh what if they got loose and it's like the cats would kill them or the dog would I mean they're snakes they're only six feet long <laughs> mm -hmm. you know the cats as as it is the cats sit and watch them when they move in their tanks just going come on poke your head out come on poke your head out <laughs> well I'm gonna start a chicken experiment in the spring oh you're gonna try to raise chickens we've well we're not gonna try we're gonna do it gonna do it but. Uh, <laughs> It yeah, ought to be interesting. I've got yeah. the coop all built, and uh, I built it so it's portable. If we decide to move, I just unscrew the panels and take it with me. The whole thing oh, will fit cool. in a uh, pickup truck. That's yeah, you'll neat. find out whether or not your neighbor thinks it's as cool as you do. After well, so far, I got buy-in from one neighbor. The other one I don't really mm -hmm. care about. Yeah. There you go. Well, that's cool. We're, we're, we're urban enough that, I mean, we we could probably do it, but my neighbors probably it. We used to be able to, but enough people complained about 20 years ago, and now they can't do it anymore. But I, yeah, some people are trying to bring it back because they say, you know, if you've only got two or three chickens, it's not a, it's not a big problem with mm -hmm. smell and stuff like that. I don't that. even yeah. care so much about the chickens. It's the damn roosters. Yeah. yeah, you can't have a rooster here for sure, and you can only have, I think, up to six. But we're going to do three because we just, yeah. it's just the two of us. We can't eat that many eggs. Yep. Well, I was thinking of doing quails because they won't allow chickens, but I'm, I don't think there's a law against quails. Now, the problem with quails is you got to have more of them because, I mean, there's four of us in the family. I was thinking, damn, that's like 25 quail if I want enough eggs for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> speaking of chickens, somebody about, had, had some about, and they got loose, yeah. and now they're all over the place. And... Yeah, it takes about three quail eggs, I think, yeah. to make a chicken egg, something like that, three yeah, or they, four. So. They don't talk about it a lot, but Hawaii has, has a wild chicken program yes. problem. Yes, because it's oh, so so does Miami. No predators. Along with yeah. the pigs, huh? Yeah, yeah. Miami yeah. too is a big problem. <sighs> wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quail is delicious. 
<laughs> okay. I like quail eggs. Are and delicious. newbies <laughs> trying to keep up with us on beer. Right. Quail <laughs> eggs are delicious. Oh, I'm, quail I'm is delicious. Quail, quail is delicious. delicious. He said. <laughs> you can't spell potato though. Oh yes, I can. I'm from Idaho. I learned from. Uh, no, quail can't spell potato. Yeah, no, quail can't. Yeah. No. Oh, that quail. Ha, ha, ha. Or was that tomato? <laughs> quail. All right. So, so, Bob, I don't know if you're, you're showing your age, or I don't know if you're up to the challenge, but Tennessee whiskey doesn't believe you have pet snakes. I do? Yeah. Oh, God, no, I've got a video Go of them. watch his video. He's got pet yeah. snakes that hit his fingers. I have pictures of them. No, I don't, I'm not going to go get one out because damn I things are a sneaky I snake. I got a pet uh, snake. Uh, yeah. Hold on. No, no. Quail spelled... Potato correctly, it just depends where you're from, depends on how you spell it. No, there's only no. one dictionary, dude. No, no, uh, there's not. Look at the dictionary, no. he didn't spell it no. right. No, there are two spellings potato. of potato. Potato, potato. Exactly. Thank you. I was just I, mean, I guess if you're in England, it's spelled that way because, but oh. then it would be potato e. No, it depends where you're from. Yeah, they always pronounce every vowel. Like so. They don't say potato e in England. They yes, well, they're, they're, no, they don't. They're they're screwed up <laughs> over there anyway. They got aluminium, and there's not enough or solder aluminium to spell that. Aluminium. <laughs> yeah, well, they they pronounce. I hang around with Americans too much. I can hardly speak English anymore. And they don't know how to describe duct tape either. They call it gaffer tape. <laughs> well, no, gaff, gaff, well, no, they call it gaff, uh, That's the music uh, industry. Ga, ga, gaffer, gaffer tape, tape gaffer yeah. tape is something different. Gaffer tape is a little different than uh, it's no, it's like medical tape. tape. Didn't, didn't you ever watch Junkyard Wars? They call it gaffer tape. <laughs> no, but no, but they, they, I, I, I worked at a shop where they plaster. sold it. That's what gets me. They have, they have duct tape. Plaster. You can buy duct tape, electrical tape, but then they have uh, gaffer tape, which is that shit that doesn't rip. Uh, it's it's. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit tougher than uh, duct tape. So it's like gorilla tape. Well, it doesn't mm. matter. Quail is delicious. If you don't like it. <laughs> quail is good, just like grass. You're really into bile, aren't you? I'm into good food. Look at me, I'm fat. I'm, I'm good at well, do you. you don't have to be into good food to be fat. Food. Do you like? Uh, you do you heard like? Mexico has now surpassed America. Um, in Wisconsin, no. He, he says he's fat. In Wisconsin, that's called just slightly chubby. Okay, I'm I'm normal in Wisconsin. Yeah. Yes. Well, you kind of need it for the insulation. I know. Well, yeah, but it's it's why our Inu are kind of short and stocky. It's because yeah. they <laughs> ate all that whale blubber and because they need yeah, insulation. In Wisconsin, I'm just pleasantly plump. <laughs> well, that's because you eat you eat the Wisconsin version of whale blubber, which is called cheese. That's what I'm tell you. Uh, <laughs> hang a newbie. I, I can't stand portly men. They get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, being the spelt example of manhood that that uh, 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 edges. I think I'm not. I haven't hit a skill recently, but I think I'm within about 25 pounds of my target weight. I am all dead as man. And if you're shamed, no, you'd no, be no, 20 no. pounds within your target weight. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, H, no, you, that's not how you say it. You say, I am old and as man. That's, that's right. how you say it. Night, thin, blue line. Night, and blue one. Night, thin, blue. Bye. Thanks for the sub. So I don't worry about it. If you just cover the little background noise. If you just cover the little window up on the scale, it doesn't really matter. Is somebody the chat? I hear. I'm hearing well, I, think, I know it's not, the, I know it's not Wendover here because I already muted him for messing around with his microphone and moving around. <laughs> All I know is. Uh, Sorry. Small oh, you're right. uh, That's Ryan. Uh, quail, grouse, breasts are fantastic. Uh, duck with a apricot marmalade is fantastic. And you're saying you love all breasts. Yes. I love do this every man. I mean, if you've seen one, you want to see them all. What's that new guy's handle? No. I'm saying if you've tasted one, they're fantastic. <laughs> you've tasted one, you want to taste them all. Yeah. With that. All right, here it is. Who's watching television? <laughs> Who's watching TV? Who's, who has background noise? 
And who's talking about boobs? I thought what's you were. New, what, what's the new I guy's am. handle? Oh, you see, he was talking about breasts. I thought we were talking yeah, about. Right. I thought we were talking about bird breasts. No, <laughs> uh, Wendell, something or other. Oh, I wasn't. What's Ryan's handle? I always forget. Yeah, what? Uh, Wendell Burger. He doesn't know. Just because he knows. doesn't he know his name? He's in a Wendell Burger. Are you just making people's names up again? Yeah. Uh, his name will be uh, Humper Dinker uh, uh, Bumper from Cheese. From now on, your Delta kind name is Flounder. Yeah. Well, he does have a disco style here, so we have to come up. We'll just call you Disco Stu. No. <laughs> just call him Disco, man. I like disco that. Disco Stu. Yeah. That's your new channel, <laughs> Disco. Your new Google name. <laughs> your name now put is it up fat. on your toolbar. <laughs> your new name is Bedazzler. Bedazzler? <laughs> oh, well, it's better oh, than Bedazzler. Oh, jeez. And good newbie, you are going to pass it on a camera. Oh, wait, that makes you one of the select few. No, I can Elite. handle my beer. It's something. Some, oh, 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 oh. The last, the last person. Son, you, you, son, you, you couldn't right, drink me a microbiome. I was, I was going to tell him it was something to aim for, like but yeah, now he's just yeah. like. No, we he handle our beer very well. He, he, yeah. I was going to say, you didn't hang here. Girk. Girk screwed us because he was the last person to pass out and to hang out, but he put up his screen share before he did it. Well, I know. I'm going to tell you, Gun Hunga Nibi, you hang on me and Biker Bob, it'd be a long night. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you live in Wisconsin, there's one. I am drinking, uh, let's see here. For one, uh, let's see here. This is, River West Stein is what, 5 6%? Do you have beer, oh, so beer, like beer gills? Beer. Dead Guy beer. White, White. is more. Uh, I will drink a six pack of this, six pack of this, whatever else I got left. And then there's Bob with his Labatt Blue, which I have two. four. Yeah, but Bob's knocking forty a night back. Come on, you give him a chance. Uh, it's a two no. four a night. Come on. No, the most I've ever drank in a chat was like twenty. Bob. Yeah, yeah. we do. Everybody's seen the picture. I'm famous. The most of there, polished off of one day was like 30. That's you're my in, 15 in, minutes of fame. You're an internet man. meme, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> one, <laughs> one of these days I'll be at home and I'll actually drink a beer in a, in a hangout. And I'll catch shit forever from then on for drinking Miller Dinner and Dress. Oh, <laughs> <good> beer. Okay. <laughs> there, there I drink the Rolling Rock, so there's nothing wrong there. Oh, Rolling Rock? God, wow. You are a disservice to Wisconsin. MGD. Uh, well, I drink beer. it because it's one of the lower carb beers. Uh, so he's got a water. Every, 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 like, every once in a while, I like. Oh, like, geez, man. Sometimes uh, I'll drink Heineken ale, but. No. <laughs> no. You know what? You know why you can drink so much beer in Wisconsin? Because the cheese no, keeps you regular. No. Because right? it kind of counteract each other, right? It has knife porn, I think. I do. It's a uh, it's a leak, but they have these stupid locks. Oh, well, you know how you fix that? Yeah, I got a Torx wrench right here. I'm going to take oh, it so off. You don't even have to do that much. You, you the way I fixed mine is I took, I took another knife and just trimmed the little plastic tab out of there. Oh. And left the other part in. Yeah, I thought about <laughs> it. Yeah, that'll work. I yeah, it trims right out of there. Here's you how you know if you're from Wisconsin is if even if you have a tap beer, you pour it into a stein. Disco stew. He did put up Disco stew. <laughs> no, no, no. Disco stew is with a U, though. <laughs> yeah, not not spelled like the food, yeah. but S T U. Yeah. Well, not for him. He's disco stew. Yeah, then again, yeah, he can be unique a little bit. So. Hey, you know, you gotta have your own individuality. Yeah. Hey, hey Wendell Burger, you need to. By the way, since we're on the out. Simpsons subject, uh, you, did you guys hear about uh, the voice of uh, Krabappel? Yeah, dead. That, yeah, yeah that, dead. Yeah. So no more Krabappel. Nope. Okay, our you, just gotta get you, need to post, you need to post a comment in the external for those that want to subscribe to your channel. Who? They're, everybody's asking who you are. I haven't even heard who he is. He's not talking. Well, I muted him earlier. He can unmute himself. I just he was moving. He's not muted anymore. No, he's not muted anymore. He's just, yeah. Hey, Disco Stu, who are you? <laughs> hey, uh, one bad that worked out perfect. That was quick yeah. and easy. Do you know the disco duck? Yeah, mine. I left mine on for a little bit, and then it pissed me off. And I was like, 
Well, at least one thing that Nut and Fancy told me really played out because those tip locks. Oh yeah, and then just tightening it up a little bit just to to lock it in place. That works great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, I will say. Grand Marshal at the Gay Parade. I I will say sub to uh, Sandy, uh, some guy in Sandy here. Uh, He was on the chat the other night and knows his shit. I will absolutely say I I will probably say he knows more than me. Oh God, he's gonna go. Well, you can tell the difference yeah. between deer turds hey, and goat I, turds. I, 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 I will accept that shout out, but you just went on a freaking <laughs> tyrant uh, rant that you say you don't know nothing. Tyrant, <laughs> <laughs> tyrant. <laughs> yeah, you just said you don't know nothing. <laughs> you went over and over in detail about how you know nothing. I, I'm having <laughs> and, a Hogan Heroes flashback. I, 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 I know, know nothing. nothing. I not, know nothing. Not really knows his shit. <laughs> not to not to say we were Sandy because I believe you did. He does. He knows the stuff. But just you went a, a whole little deal there for like almost forty minutes about how you know nothing. Me? And you won't make a video about because you know nothing. Oh, and they're going to shout to him. I won't make anything about gun review. I won't review a gun. <laughs> I'm quoting you. Wow. <laughs> so much hate. I I it's just. A, it's a rough crowd really tonight. Like, no, well, you it's haven't even heard. You hate yet. Have you? You weren't it's talking about that. Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not hate. No. Just, no. I'm just pointing out something you just said. No, just hate me. That's fine. It's because I'm white, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Not hey, hate. Uh, I, I no, got to go, but I got to go, guys. Uh, thanks for the chat. But here's the thing, too. Hang on, newbie. One day, please have the courage to review a video. Please. Don't have let. Don't, don't. Don't. Huh? Do the review. Uh, yeah, the do a, to review do a, a, do a gun review video. The first, I just, I, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just encouraging you to do it. The first gun I do a review on will be an Asian gun. For you. An Asian gun? They make Asian guns? With Asian clips? Asian clips. You made something Stores. that's made in the an Philippines. Asian, so like, like, what the, like what some guy that says. Is, is oh, like he's the guy over there. The, uh, you have, you uh, better look at doing a review on an Asian hooker. I think I need Asian. Uh, what do you call this? I need Asian clips for my yeah. Asian gun. This is yeah, an Asian clip right here. Asian midget porn or Asian Asian midget review already. So you need a good guy to this. All right. See you guys later. Yeah. yeah see you right, guys later. Bye, Chris. Oh, I forgot to mail it. Damn it. Uh, you still gotta send that thing to Matt. <laughs> hey, yeah, I only. Well, I got them all. They're all. Yeah, they're all. Everything's wrapped. I forgot to throw out the truck today when I went to work. I did not spend 40 minutes on saying I'm a newbie. I spent 35 minutes on saying I'm a newbie. Oh, I apologize. I'm Good just hearing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you're going to that that <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. I was just pointing out because you, you, made, you made it. You know, you went out of your way to no. make that. <laughs> yeah. no, I, it's my name. I That's just. Be <laughs> right back. <laughs> I don't want to say something. See, you're going to you're gonna run in. You're going to run to the same problem as. Uh, uh, what was that other newbie we had? Tactical noob. He's not noob anymore, but he's still stuck with tactical noob because that's what he started his channel name up with. <laughs> I, I will never say that I. That, that, guy, that guy knows some that. serious video editing too. He's really good at that shit too. Well, uh, he's he he dropped a pile of money into his cameras and stuff. Yeah. As long as he's enjoying himself. Well, seriously though, you guys really uh, gave him some good advice. Uh, some of that I, I actually took to heart because I take what I do sometimes a little too seriously. Uh-huh. So I'm going to do one to show that I uh, I learned my lesson tonight. I'll, I'll yeah, just go watch, go watch any of my standalone videos, and you'll know exactly how not um, to do any yeah. genre video related to guns. I will tell you, they're not, any they're, not, and they're not professionally that. produced. <laughs> they're, 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 there's some personalities like, like Pete uh, from the Army Channel. He sort of tells you, you know what, I'm not this, I'm not this gun expert. I'm, this is me telling you the way it is. But his attitude, his persuasion, you know, the way he comes off, you know, that's well, what people like about him. They, yeah, they like, they like, I would they like, say, they like I would say with as many, as many guns as he shoots, and now he works at a gun store, and he mm-hmm. does lots of shooting. He's not, mm-hmm. maybe not operator level expert, but he's definitely past the... Just a guy in his garage. Program. Sure, sure. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's, you know, he, he's, he's been around long enough, and you, God knows how many guns right. he's owned. Good lord, but uh, you know, gone, you know, been, been there, done that. As far as all the guns he's been through, um, yeah, but you know, he, that's what he, that's what it's about. People don't, people don't go and look to him because he's like this, you know, this is a new tactical gun I got today. Blah blah. blah. They just want to hear his opinion, the way he carries himself in the videos, and mm-hmm. that that's his mm-hmm. shtick. I like Pete. I've been sort of bad. I haven't been watching much of his videos lately because I just haven't had time. 
He and I still right. talk Who is this guy? Well. My special release tonight Pete. video. Pete from his channel is The Armory Channel. Oh, I, I yeah, okay, I'm subscribed to him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's one of, guys, my, uh, one of my... One of my... You know, Rick TNT Outdoors yeah. Dying is, is more kind of a literal person, but then they're not have fun with the video too. Where he'll make ones where he's shooting stuff up and you know, you know, shooting through his little kids' playhouse and then all kinds of cool stuff that he'll he'll throw it up with. Who are you talking about? Teen uh, Teen Outdoors Dying. He has the best ballist. If you're looking for ballistic reviews, his are the best. Yeah, I had a total pumpkin failure. I, I took a, uh, a some tannerite and a pumpkin and put it all together. I, I waterproofed the tannerite container and put it inside the pumpkin, filled it with water, and shot at the thing, had it on camera and everything, and uh, clipped the edge of the container, apparently, which uh, uh, shattered it. Yeah, and so all the tannerite basically uh, uh, got wet. It got wet. It, it it flowed out into the bottom of the pumpkin. I shot it a whole bunch of times, and nothing happened. So that was a total fail. <laughs> yeah, that kind of was good. Well, who, who's that? Who's that other channel that used to do um, not ballistic reviews, but they would just show with a slow slow motion shoots and the uh, and or, or was it where they showed the ammo? You know, they're using the gun they shot with, and then the gun the ammo after the mainly hollow points for the most part. I need your reviews on. It was There's so many channels out there. That but that that one was kind of big. I'm, that one was kind of big. They did they did quite a bit of videos for. for Every once in a while, I come across a, a channel that a new YouTube or not. I shouldn't say new. A channel that I haven't seen before. I'm like this channel's got freaking a hundred thousand subscribers, and I've never seen their shit before. <laughs> I dude, I never heard a rated <laughs> RR till the uh, till G was brought them up, and I was like, you know, wow. You know, and that about dude. July sixth, are you? Uh, no, uh, it's, 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 it's and or something that I'm thinking of. I forget the name. Well, those guys' video productions are, are just so good. Um, you know, I try to get there, but I think it's just my equipment Dude. holding me back. So you, you I know, do what you know, I can making, with what I have. You know you're making money or you you got some hookups when you can afford to shoot the latest iPad thin uh, <laughs> yeah. and blow it up with the 50 cal. Yeah, exactly. There we go. There's Freddy. And have a uh, you know hundred thousand dollar high speed camera you know there to catch all the action, or however much those things cost. I know they're oh, not yeah. cheap. Just, no, no, just no, five. I've been looking. I've been looking for a new tripod. My, 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 current, my current tripod is too short. Snake oh, like fluid head tripods. There are, is. They're not. That's cheap. Freddy. He's my little guy. What yep. is that, Bob? That's a corn snake. Is this an albino one though? Mm -hmm. He's got those beady red eyes. My buddy had the albino Burmese pythons. Oh yeah. And the let's see, the male was 11 foot long, and the female was like 14 foot yeah, long. Yeah, that's the nice thing. Fr deep. Fred won't go get more than six feet to the maximum. Their their Freddy, babies were about bite his nose. Bite his nose. So their babies were weren't quite as long, but about the same gauge as the snake you got there. Yeah. And we were we were there shortly after a bunch of them hatched, and he's like. Oh, you can pick them up and handle them. If they bite you, it'll bleed a little bit, but it doesn't hurt. Yeah. And he wasn't kidding. I mean, they were strike happy, and uh, I I passed on it. I was like, I don't want to be bleeding all over the place, even if it doesn't hurt. <laughs> so, so where are those things native from, Bob? Um, actually, Northern America. Um, uh, oh, I don't know. Anything they they got the name corn snakes uh, in the uh, further south. They like to live in the corn bins and stuff because they they just basically hunt mice. Hmm. So. They're that was actually, my next um, question. What do you feed it? But there you go. Yeah, well, we get frozen mice, frozen baby mice. He's just on the fuzzies, so they're just barely got any fur on them. But mm -hmm. his uh, his companion Ginger, well, she actually stays in my. You can't put the two of them together because they're they're two just similar sizes. She's full grown, so she's like five and a half feet. She eats like baby rats or uh, or actually not eat adolescent rats or full grown mice. So what does their food bill run a month? Uh, it's cheap because they only eat uh, the big one. He only eats every two weeks, and the, this guy only eats once a week. And he has one baby mouse that costs a dollar. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they're bad. really good pets because they you only have to clean the tanks uh, every couple of months, and mm -hmm. uh, you know you can take them out, play with them, and stuff. They'll go up your sleeve and go around your neck yeah. and, and all kinds of neat stuff. Bob's only by catching mm -hmm. mice in the house. So. 
You know what? Yeah, I would ballistic. not go to do that except that the cats would eat them. <laughs> like, yeah, ballistic. Yeah, I'm not surprised I don't have two or three cats sitting around me right now going, come on, drop them. Come on, drop them. <laughs> huh. Now, see, I had pet rats, and the cats knew that they were pets. They would, knew not to screw with the rats. Oh, yeah, see, my, yeah. my, my son's got a gerbil that's got one ear all shredded because he got loose one time. Mm-hmm. And he spent a week, when we were camping, he got loose, and he spent a well, week living ger- under the bed. Gerbils and, and and hamsters aren't even pets, if you ask me. They're little biters. Yeah, they're, they're not much for pets. This one, I really, I mean, after a week living outside, when we did get him back in the tank, he t- kept mm-hmm. the other one, the other, his companion from eating until the other one starved, and then he ate him. <laughs> he's oh, become nice. a real survivor, gerbil, but unfortunately, he's not sociable. <laughs> we had yeah. this hamster as a kid, as under uh, dad uh, got away, he slipped, you know, somebody's handling him once he fucked off, ran away, and we couldn't find him, but, uh, and then uh, everybody, everybody here now, they would say, hey, I saw him at night, I saw him, he was in, he was in here, he was in there. Because he'd go to drink water, and he'd like go to the bathtubs and, and find water and shit. And it wasn't until we finally yeah. moved out of the house, that stairwell under the closet, that classic uh, closet in the stairwell, we moved all mm-hmm. the shit out of there, and got everything out that would never moved, nobody had ever moved before. And the back end, the dude had like at least probably like, five piles of dog food that he just like saved up and stole from the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had just like saved up. And the only time he'd ever leave there was to go get some water. He'd go hit like hit one of the showers and you know get some sips, and then. Run back in that damn closet. Well, I'm gonna go put Fred back in his tank because uh, otherwise he's gonna get away from me here. Fred, that is a Canadian name. Fred the Snake. Yep. <laughs> so uh, no, my buddy. Oh, go ahead. Good. No, you're fine. No, I was gonna say my buddy with the Burmese one. He got tagged one time because he was in a hurry and he didn't put on his leather glove to hold the dead rabbit he was feeding. And once they smell the scent of that food, they'll, they know it's food time. And he, that female hit him and wouldn't let go for like two hours. <laughs> so has anybody here made a Kydex hard. holster themselves? No. I'm thinking about doing in the future um, and getting into a little uh, bit kind of fun. We need to get uh, need to get Ghost Town in here. He's been ex- starting mm-hmm. on it. Has he? I'm thinking about trying I don't have it. enough tinker time yeah. You might as well. It's not super it complex. You just got to get, you gotta get it there. hot. You got to get it hot and have a decent press that'll allow it to, you know, press form against whatever it is. But right, it's it that that hard, the hard the hard foam rubber. So yeah, I don't know. I have uh, I have uh, Henry Holsters, which actually uses a ball saran, which is similar to Kydex. And uh, I love their holsters. What's it called? Uh, it's called Baltaran. Uh, I, don't, I have a review on it on my channel. I actually did a review. Calm down, everyone. Calm down. Uh, I did a review on Henry holsters. It's Baltaran. Uh, no, that's not. Uh, B O L T O R A N. I think it's it's a. It's similar to Kydex, but it works slightly differently. The guy that makes them uh, does it differently, uh, but the holster is absolutely fantastic. Huh. I'm getting ready to convert to Kydex, but I just haven't taken the time to go hunting out the holster. Hey, it's a cat that would eat Bob if Bob was uh, dead. Yeah, I figured I'd try my hand at it. To see if I was ready to eat yet. Yeah. I'm I'm getting close to the point where I'm gonna try and get some swag holsters, but I gotta ask people for them first. I guess. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. The way I, the way I understand it, so on if there's the any holster manufacturers who want me to pimp your product, yeah, I'm your bitch. Oh, the way I understand but. it, Kydex, it, it, you know, if you form it and you don't like what it, you know, what it turns out to, you can always heat it back up and reform it. Yeah. I haven't tried that at all, but that's what I hear. You can also do that with leather, though. You just have to wet it. And then, of course, you got the problem is to form it to a gun, you have to put the gun in it. And you know, I was looking at, at some blue guns to yeah. do just that, but I don't yeah. know if they're exactly the same size or not. Can, I don't want to spend 50 put, bucks to find out. Yeah, You can put a couple of layers of, of basically, uh, not necessarily saran wrap, but that type of product. Oh, yeah, yeah, I never there. thought of that. Oh, that's a good idea. 
Yeah, because I, I know I've formed leather with on knives, and uh, yeah, I had exactly that problem. Is after I'd formed it, it was like, oh shit, the knife's starting to show some rust. <laughs> so you just soak it down and press it. Is that it? Yep. Between kind of soft material, like kind of a, a hard foam. Okay. I found that uh, they look easy to do, but uh, they're kind of hard with the lighting and such. So bear with me here. But what you have in front of you is uh, Henry Holster's products. You have an inside the waistband hybrid. You got an inside the waistband hybrid. And something happened. You realized he wasn't muted. <laughs> what? <laughs> you realized he wasn't about Kydex. <laughs> You're talking about Kydex with the. Hey, you showed a magazine. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to find my video and I was playing, and I was like, oh, crap, I'm not muted. Oh, so you were talking and, and you he talking? was holding up the thing. Yeah, I, uh, that was my video playing in the background when I was trying yeah. to find the tab of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you actually watch your videos while you're watching? See, that's kind of, like, weird. No, I was I was finding my video and it automatically. Oh, I thought you were just saying you were watching your videos while you were in the chat. Uh, no, I only usually watch those. Uh, most of us like to actually watch the chat, man. But I mean, hey, it's whatever you know floats your boat. No. I'll, I'll Work, I, I, just I got a just... question for you in the internal. That obviously you have. Is that is that cheating to watch your own videos for views? No, uh, I don't think so. As long as you only watch it like once. Yeah. I only watch my boner videos with my wife, so it's all right. <laughs> and I, I, I check in on I check in on the comments by going to the questions. page, but I don't think it that big of a deal. Has everyone, anyone ever tried to shave with a straight razor? Because if you have, don't. Or if you haven't, don't. Because it's just a waste of time. You're only going to cut yourself, and it doesn't work nearly as good as a real razor. I'll tell you the best shave I ever uh, had was at a barber shop with a straight razor. Yeah, but that's because they're doing it and they know what they're doing. It took, me, yeah. it took me two years of working on my barber to finally get him to do hot shaves, and and he he was a sort of a newer guy that my barber had been going at going to for 22 years. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, him and the other guy break loose and have their own shop. So now I got to decide if I'm going to leave my shop to keep the hot shaves. Yeah. <laughs> to keep the shop or not. Yeah, that's but luxury. Dammit. I've had it done a few times, and it's it, it is nice. You get it's a really not, nice not, shave. Well, and they last. Cheap, but yeah, they last for three days. Yeah, if you uh, don't like I only get about a day and a. Well, it does some. I, I can't half, go so. three days without shaving, no matter what. I can uh, I get about like a day eight on my face. And and after th yeah, at three days, I'd still have to shave again. I could use a no-no. I actually have a friend of mine that wanted to get laser treatment on his face so he wouldn't have to shave. All right. Well, Cork seems to be AFK. I'm sending a link to VFR Street Fighter. That's like a – Bob, that's kind of like a tattoo. It's oh, something you I'm regret not later. I'm, just, I'm here, oh, yeah. but I'm eating, so I'm – Well, I kept, I kept telling him, and we live in Saskatoon, right? So I said, like, what happens if shit falls apart? you got to grow the beard to stay warm in the winter because you're out there trying to kill deer with your bare hands. You're not going to have a beard? Are you crazy? You'll die. I was I was sending him a link anyways, but then he also put up that there's a place local that has Kydex holsters. So I want to find out what those up with that. Get a twofer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was really funny when I when I went to get uh, Fred out of his tank. He was underneath the bedding, and because he's got big rocks in there. He'll get wound around it, mm -hmm. so you can't just yank him out because you feel like you're pulling his spine apart because he really holds right. on. So instead, I just poked under the bedding until I poked his ass or his back end, and then he got all pissed off. And he's, uh, corn snakes do this; they'll rattle their tail. Now, what they're doing is they're not—they don't have a rattle, but they're they're rattling debris. So they would do this in the wild. Uh -huh. they would shake their tail, and it and it, on leaves and stuff, it sounds like a rattlesnake. Uh -huh. I could hear him doing this, so he was pissed right off. But <laughs> <laughs> Once I got hold of him, he's fine, eh? He's just like, oh, you just want to take me out and hold me in your hands while I try slither away for the next ten minutes. Yeah. Because that's what he does. 
It only shit on me once, though. There you go. The, yeah, the the big one, my my daughter's corn snake, Ginger. She's shit on me a couple times, and she shits. <laughs> it's like, man, you you always think a snake's just gonna drop out this little egg shaped thing that's you know got some feathers and bones in it, but no. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Hey. hey, good. You came in for a TMI moment with Bob about. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> Just talking about snake poop. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know they had snakes in Canada. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got rattlesnakes where I live. Do they wear little parkas? They're you know, plastic. They just go underground. <laughs> plastic. And they only come out for about four months of the year. Little flannel snakes. More like vests, right? I'm yeah, a snake they got little feathered vests they wear, <laughs> but without the armholes because they don't need them. <laughs> Yeah, we get rattlesnakes up here, but I don't see them that much. You you got to go looking for them most of the time. Oh yeah, same we even have me. some of the areas I work in. We have scorpions. But oh, the only I time like I see the scorpions, me. the only time I see the scorpions is when it's their mating time. I was Every gonna ask year, you if you've ever seen one out there in Eastern Oregon anywhere. I have, but you only see them one or two days a year, and it's when they're mating because they're all looking for each other for the mating thing. Other than that, they're generally, you know, hiding in places, and unless you happen to stumble across one, you're not going to see them. I think Hang on Newbies is about ready to, like, fade out on us. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... You're not going to make the after-after chat? <laughs> was, was I up till, uh, 2 or 3 a.m. last night with the, with the, with the chat? Two or three a.m. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I got uh, two hours of sleep last night. Yeah, uh, it's pretty That's much brutal. Me too. Well, you gotta be you up do your baby, up. baby diapers. <laughs> hey, uh, Marina. That's a woman's the, job. You should know that by now. I saw that. Marina, put the. Well, that's the problem is we adopt too many kids. Yeah. <laughs> now if I can just get them, get them to give me some as. Uh, they're not expensive. They're only about fifty bucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I got yeah. enough kids to sell. So if anyone's interested, <laughs> you shouldn't even joke about that, especially online. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on air. Somebody will be calling for your foster parents card. <laughs> That's fine. Take it away. Got enough kids. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they're, they're located up by where it. I was working last it's last a winter. Wife that likes kids. He just likes the wife. I just bought uh, two of them at the last Portland gun show, and they're, re <laughs> re they're really impressive. Yeah. Right on. I'll but put did you hear about the in. people in, in I, New York? I'm about, I'm about ready to uh, try and get some people to do, see if I can get them to do some advertising with me, so they'll, maybe they'll be one of my first attempts at it. I, yeah. just, uh, I just made cool. the leap from leather to kydex, and I, I, it is so much better. It's ridiculous how much easier it is to carry. Yeah, yeah. I, I I keep hearing that, but I just to me it's I, anything plastic to me is just it's. The, the big driving factor for me is is I like to carry outside the waistband, and the leathers generally are set up to carry the gun lower than I want to carry it, and the kydex yeah. tend to run a little bit higher. Yeah, I'm just barely your, accepting of bake light, so I mean, you know. <laughs> Luckily, it has a bamboo computer, you know? And, and, yeah, and indoor bamboo plumbing. wood case. Indoor plumbing. No, I didn't mind What's indoor that? plumbing. I grew up with that, so that was fine. <laughs> I had neighbors that didn't have it, but... I didn't well, like the fact when they... Well, the only reason I liked getting rid of the old crank telephones oh, was Lord. they let us keep them, and I could take and wire that up to my sister's doorknob, <laughs> and every time she tried to come out of her room, I'd crank the handle. <laughs> So for the price of these things, you almost can't afford to make them yourself. But by the time you buy all the hardware and everything, right? Bring it, yeah. Bringing that up, Bob, we have an old antique phone, more like the kind where you pick up and ask the operator to patch you yep. through. Yeah. And you can't dial from it, but you could take calls from it. Yep. But my, I've been having a fight with my wife because she doesn't think that I'm capable of wiring it up to be able to answer phone calls on it. And I it's tell two her, wires. I wire it up. Yeah. It's only two uh, wires. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Well, I'm just imagining at some point and sometime somebody's going to end up electrocuting their balls with one of those. 
<laughs> it's been done. I used to use them to torture people with it that way. Way back, way back when I picked up, they had at the store they had a little LED flashlight, but it had one of those toy buzzer things to it where if you oh, tried yeah, to yeah. operate a switch, it it, it zapped you. I had so yeah. much fun with that thing because <laughs> you actually turn you turned the head of the flashlight to turn it on, but there was a little old like you remember, the old lever switches where you just roll it forward. When you do that, yeah. it zaps you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like, be check fun. out my new flashlight. Invariably, the <laughs> thing went to the floor. It was pretty robust. <laughs> <to it. laughs> that would well, be fun. Guys, uh, I think I'm going to sign out because I have to be up in four hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you don't mind, though, uh, I run a... Uh, Live chat every Wednesday night from 7 p.m. Central to 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, right before uh, Never Enough Ammo. So if you like everyone you see here, you can catch my chat, and then you can catch them uh, live right after mine. Uh, this week uh, is a little bit up in the air because we had somebody cancel, but uh, the, let's just say this week you may catch someone from Top Shot. Uh, next week... You will see Advanced Armament Corp uh, on our live chat. The week after that, uh, you will catch someone. And then the week after that, you will catch Dustin Ellerman, uh, Season 3, Top Shot winner, on our live chat. We have a bunch of right awesome, awesome people on our live chat coming up every one Wednesday of these night. Days, Central. One of these days I'll be cool enough to get an invite to that. Uh, it may be coming up very, very soon. So uh, we we run our chat. I'm not I'm not lo I'm not looking for special guest status, just background. Yeah. Yep, yep. We, oh, we'll, we should all just ask, and then you know we'll all go in there and make him feel really guilty that he has to have us on, and they won't have any room for his special guest stars. Yeah, we <laughs> have you on our chest, but you won't yeah. have us Ooh, on yours. Oh, you won't have us on yours. No. We you <laughs> and I are a little different. I'm sorry. You mean you mean you don't want to for school? Yeah. You don't want them to talk about shocking their nuts with an old telephone for an hour? Yeah. By the way, if anybody oh, out there wants to send me a we can talk about snake concealed carry or maybe, license you know. here in Wisconsin. Hey, I sent my CCW uh, in or CCL uh, into the uh, Department of. Uh, Whatever. Homeland Security, that was the wrong question. Department place. of Justice. Yeah. So that'll be a waiting game now. So where, where yeah, are you at? is we... nothing. You could actually you're West probably Wisconsin. close enough. You could actually just drop am, it off there. It's I'm I am in the same state as a uh, Quark, so all it does is take uh, two two pages and uh, a copy of your license driver's license and uh, send it in. It was 50 bucks in April, and then in May they changed it to 40, those bastards. Yeah. Or Look at that. Them, the but... government's actually charging you less money for something? What the hell is wrong with them? Yeah. I thought they were broke. Yeah, really. They make it up in Obamacare. So. Or they're yeah. making it up in volume. Yeah, again, if anybody yeah. wants to send me a stun gun, I'll film myself, or I might even do it live on chat. You actually see, you see myself uh, stun myself. You just had to send me a stun gun. You know what? I that have my cool. license. I'll gladly show it to you. Because if you die and your cats start uh. to eat you on live chat, I'm pretty sure that's going to get the highest ratings, and everyone who's in that chat will become super popular. Obviously, well, of you've course. never been tased before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send me a stun gun. I'll tase myself live on air. <laughs> Is that a promise? Okay. That's a promise. Okay. Really, everybody's got to get together and get a stun gun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll chip in twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, you know, twenty bucks for that. Yeah, for sure. There you go. But I'll tell you what, my chat has run a little bit differently than this chat, but these chats were absolutely awesome. These are the chats that uh, I uh, started watching on YouTube, and they're fantastic and. You do yours it's like that. Bro knows and already we let you we let you pick your chat. Yours is so organized it could be like a, a cable TV show. Yeah, 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 whatever. But these are the chats that you learn. You learn a bunch of stuff. They're you know yeah, some of it's really good chats, but you know. You know I'm actually willing to, to stun myself for a stun gun. 
Yep. Now, you know, serious? I, I'm putting in a caveat. You have to be dressed when you do it. <laughs> well, and you have to, uh, and you have yeah, to return sure. it or sell yeah. it for charity when you're done. Yeah. You yeah. really, yeah, you really do have to be dressed when you. Uh... Oh, you see, there's one for sale already. Disco Stew's found one. Yeah, they sell them at the uh, at the Quickie Mart down the street, pretty cheap. You really hey. can't. You really can't yeah, tase no. yourself. You gotta have somebody else tase you. If you want to see an older Canadian bacon guy fall asleep in a live chat, these are it. <laughs> Canadian bacon. You, can also you haven't see booted him yet, Court. <laughs> oh, come on, you can also see a Mexican fall asleep or Puerto Rican as he does it. Yeah, for some reason he was going to go to sleep an hour ago. Yeah. Hey, all Court has to do is drive uh, about two and a half hours down and get all the ammo he wants. Yeah, that means I actually have, to have money to buy it. Well, you drive yeah, down here, I'll, I'll maybe hook you up. So, <laughs> yeah, hey, that we, we should do so poor. we should do a shooting video together, and I'll supply all the ammo. How about that? Holy crap, Quark! How can you pass that up? Yeah, two hours drive. I mean, in, in your uh, smart car, that cost you what, like fifty cents in gas? Smart car? I've got a Toyota Camry. That's Oh, well, okay, it'll cost you a dollar in gas, huh? Right, three quarters of a tank. I'll tell you what, Cork, you drive down, we'll make a video, all the ammo and guns are on me. All right, I'll have to, think, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do that. Oh, and you get to take guns home afterwards? What a great deal. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Not that. Bob, you've drank too much. Oh, me? <laughs> Bob's I... always... Too drunk, so don't don't yeah. even worry about that. <laughs> Just ignore Bob. Just ignore Bob. Yeah, that's pretty much what we tell Yeah, we'll have to actually do that. No, we have to do a video together. That's yeah. Not that's what you're thinking, Bob. You're a sick person. Ah! <laughs> you know what? I hadn't even thought of that until you said no. it. And all of a sudden, I went, no. "Oh man, Yank!" I said be. it, and you thought about it. <laughs> Think faster. Oh, if Yankee was here, man. <laughs> no, just to you, we'll do it. That'd be, a, that'd be a meme and a half. All right. Hey, G-Webs is here. Maybe he can save us from ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. All he's going to talk about uh, is the right, and AK-47s. Hey, yeah, man. take care. Thank you guys very much for being on chat. I appreciate it. Hey, doesn't matter what people say. You guys do an awesome chat. It's awesome information. What do people say? Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about <laughs> what they say. Wait a Stop right there. They don't worry about what they say. It's, it's a good chat. Yeah. yeah. It's all fun and games until Bob comes. This is a completely <laughs> adequate chat. Don't worry about what people say, Bob. <laughs> You're doing a medium job at this. <laughs> You're just barely making it. Hey, thank you guys very much. Uh, tune in tomorrow to my live chat bef an hour before Never Enough Ammo because maybe uh, Peter Palma from Top Shop might tune in. Yeah, just I'll, be, I'll be too late for it. i got to work tomorrow night. But, hey, I'll watch it. You're lazy. Because you're a lazy Canadian. You are lazy no, I gotta work. Canadian corn snake <laughs> kisser. Working. You I'm are a, lazy. No, that's it. Stop talking. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, the reason I don't order a, 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 a sponsor is most places won't send it. Most places won't send it to a sponsor. <laughs> that, that you would log into a sponsor? You would have a field carry license to be able to own one. Oh, because of that, they won't even send one. Well, do you think that was because of the, like, or do you think that policy is because of the old rules? Yeah, so it's illegal up, before I mean. 2011. That's apparently, I mean. no, I thought it was because apparently, you know, slightly overweight, unhealthy, white, pasty white guys were shocking themselves on YouTube and dying. That's why <laughs> they made those stun guns illegal. Wasn't it? Hey, Sorry. at least I'll die in a live chat and it'll make me lots of money, uh, It'll go viral, right? It'll go viral for your estate. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You know, the cat's got to go on afterwards, right? <laughs> they need somebody to look after them. You could just, you know, have that a person true. like designated to look after the cats. I'm sending them off to you, Bob, so you know. Oh, I wouldn't care. I I got lots of room for more cats. Make my kids happy. I don't really want more, but hell. <laughs> really, you want three now? I got three now. I mean, a couple more wouldn't really matter. I've had eight at one time. <laughs> you got three more? I'll put them in a box and mail them to you. I mean, you, with what you guys put in the mail, it shouldn't be a problem. Well, I, can, yeah, be okay. I don't know. 
I thought you guys had a pretty good postal system. Huh. Well, they might they might get there by the time they 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 get hungry again. I I I would hope. Well, you put some oh, like dried food. You, get, every you like layer the bottom minutes. in dried food, and then you know they've got somewhere to poop and something to eat. Put three it's in a box, awesome. and you get one oh. fat one out and a couple. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, so is that your snake that you're playing with, Bob, or is that your kid's snake? No, that was my snake. Uh, Fred's mine. My daughter got a snake, and when she was in the hospital, I had to look after her snake. And I kind of got to like it. You know, it, it was kind of a cool pet. And so when I turned 30 or 53... Um, <laughs> that was 20 years ago. That was my birthday present, yeah, was was a snake. 20? Yeah. 53. 20 decades yeah. ago. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, yeah, and, and like little Fred. Apparently, that's a th one of the reasons is uh, Fred will live to be uh, twenty some years old. Snakes live a long time. <laughs> Didn't realize that. That's one of the, that's one of the things I'm 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 sort of coming to grips with with uh, adopting BB. Yeah. Is most of the time we get labs and they're sort of an eight to thirteen yeah. year model, if you will. And yep. I think that this little one's probably going to be more like a 15 plus year model. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll go up to 20, 25 years, some of them. Yeah. Yeah, which is really makes is it, it's counterintuitive almost that a little dog lives that much longer than a big dog. You, you think that the bigger animal. Until they're teenagers, and then you don't want to live with them. Well, yep. no, that's children. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when when they when they're in grade eleven, you're going. Thank God, they're going to go to university in another year, because otherwise, I'd have to kill them. <laughs> yeah, Chloe's three, and she's sort of mid adolescent, I'd say. No. Yeah. Well, I so said her and her, yeah, her and, after being home with them for a couple of days, they spend a couple hours a day play fighting. BB and <laughs> really, Chloe. oh, that's great, yeah. man. I'd be really worried with my dog and this smaller dog because he just he's so he's so used to playing with dogs his size he's really yeah. rough eh like he doesn't think yeah. if you're, if you're allowing killed. your dogs to fight for hours a day I'm surprised somebody hasn't called dog protective services <laughs> on there already yeah really every once in a while we get a whelp out of BB because Chloe will accidentally step her paw on the little dog's paw but she's not getting yeah. hurt, hurt. it's like son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> But you'll come we right back at it. We had a whole gun <laughs> chat for like an hour. Did you guys even talk about guns in that time? <laughs> no. Yeah. It was I brought it exclusively was. about guns for an hour. It was snake shit and freaking electrocuting your balls for about two hours. Yeah. Well, we well and there was something about bowel enough, movements and incontinuity, but I don't remember that part. Because I'm old. I guess G Webs didn't think I was serious when I was saying I hope he saves us from ourselves. <laughs> He's gone down hell in a hurry. It is <laughs> after midnight. Well, we could always talk about how bad Glocks were for people's uh, learning ability to be good at guns. How many but, people you know, are watching or what? Because it's pretty close to the end. But, uh, 72, 74. Are we ever going to do another Every Second Matters anything anymore? I yeah, thought we, we need to do one. We could do that next. We can do it next week on mine unless somebody wants to do it sooner. Yeah. I, just, I, I don't just think there's much urgency. Off. It's pretty much done. But, you know, before the next second, I would think we should do something. Yeah, maybe one yeah we definitely need to. So, so are you guys planning to produce any literature or anything? I don't think so. Well, that's kind know. of stuff yeah. we have to get over. Yeah. But I, I would, yeah, I personally don't think so. But we have to figure that out. Right. I think it'd be cool yeah. if everybody did a video of it, you know. I think, I think I would at least like to put together like a PDF file of the state's, you know, Second Amendments, individual state Second Amendments. We can do that. That yeah. would be interesting. That would be kind of cool. And, and that would be use the title page. I just have to turn it into a PDF. Right. Um, uh, G-Webs, you see Because a lot of people really uh, don't know what their own, own states. Second yeah, Amendment and there's a few states that don't even have one. Right. Have you seen the... Uh, um, Titles or the start thing that uh, some guy in Sandy did. Oh, you mean the promo things? Yeah. Or like the what do they call? Well, it? I don't know. The intro? I, the promo. intros? Yeah. The intro, intros. Yeah. That's pretty. I cool. Think so. Yeah. Are we talking well, about things where they fall over or, or they make a noise? Uh, a little bit. Oh, it's cool music. I mean, yeah. there are different ones. I saw three, I think. 
Oh, uh, one so bad. Like one, and then another one with a noise, and then a third one with a noise or something. Yeah, Luke decided on on one, and that's the one we ended up burning. That that was the uh, the final. I called it that with the uh, verbiage yeah. that scrolls. Why don't you put the um, link in the internal so we can watch it? It's yeah. up on up on his channel. Okay. Oh, you're one guy in Sandy. Yeah, that makes sense. You know all about it, then. <laughs> I sure exactly. hope so. Well, and if if you guys want anything else like that or along those lines, I'd be happy to do it. Just let me know. Oh, gee, I've been you thinking about a two and a half hour <laughs> animation that uses that technology. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know how long and the that would take. Start rolling in. Well, we have till next Tuesday, so we have plenty of time. <laughs> I might get, uh, you know, maybe maybe a minute or two rendered by then. Yeah, Sounds like we need to get a whole bunch of Pakistanis working on this. <laughs> we need a whole bunch of computers all tied together. That works yeah. really well. Let me get yeah, they're, they're actually, that's one of the ways you can still do uh, on the cheap supercomputers. You can buy a bunch of low-end computers and tie them all together, and they actually become something that can do teraflops and shit. Uh -huh. Pretty amazing. A supercomputer in Canada. Just a whole bunch of old Macintoshes tied together. Oh, for <laughs> God's <laughs> sake, man. No, we no, if you run them off, I live in a, I live in a university counts. province that has like a super collider. So well, as long as you one, but as long as you run them on all, all on Linux, you could probably actually pull it off pretty decent. As long as you get the mare to smoke crack, you can get every, anything done. Apparently, yeah. I mean, it was like, and you know what the best part is? Now he's saying, but I didn't lie about smoking crack. I just said I wasn't an addict. Because they were asking him for years. They've been asking him, do you smoke crack? And he's like, no, I'm not an addict. He would answer, no, I'm not an addict. But he never actually physically said, no, I don't smoke crack. Who are you talking he's like, about? He's like one of those guys that only smokes. The mayor of Toronto. Yeah. He I know it's smokes sad, crack when he right? drinks. I don't think, he, I really don't think he's an addict me, because he's like 400 pounds, failing. right? So I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're a crack addict, you can't weigh 400 pounds. Well, there's always Marion Barry, right? Alcohol, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, he looks oh like... no, he does drink a lot too. Yeah, he's been. He's been, This guy has been caught doing so many things like well, he doesn't driving smoke along, the texting, crack. He, he takes, texting he, on his phone, driving down the 401 brownies. freeway, um, talking on his phone, driving down the freeway. I mean, oh, that's drunk criminal, driving. Canada. I mean, oh, it's just like a joke. <laughs> Call the Mounties. Well, no, they don't have Mounties in Toronto. They have city police, so they don't <laughs> like actually go. Fuck you. I don't care if you're the mayor. They're you're on going those to jail. horses in front of the stores, but they don't go anywhere. They just rock back and forth. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, they, and they stomp on, on people protesting, you know. So they put G a Canadian quarter in the, in like the little that. machine and rock back and forth. Is that right, G-Webs? Exactly. That, they shake their fist. <laughs> well, hey, up until the, what was the, the 70s, they still carried uh, 38 revolvers and 45s up north. It's Smith & Weston 45s for the guys up in the Arctic, because <laughs> 38 wasn't going to cut it. Yeah. It's more for just getting through all the heavy parkas and stuff, but, you know. Yeah, ah, polar bears. The bears wear parkas? Well, the thing? polar bears, yeah. I mean, polar bears are always a problem, but, I mean, once you, you know, realize you're living in an area with polar bears, it's... You just deal with it. Well, you're pretty much carrying a rifle on a sling at that point. Yeah, 12 gauge shotguns are real popular. Yeah, yeah, they'll stop a polar bear. Slugs are slugs are good for damn near anything. This is this Ryan guy get... talking. I can't. I'm not hearing. I see his lips moving, but I don't hear him. Stu. Yeah, Disco Stu. We haven't heard a peep from him all night. Not yeah. a word. His mouth's moving, but there's no sound. And make sure there's a little red. Hey, something we can hear. There's a little microphone thing up at the top. Make it not be red. <laughs> <laughs> That's harder now because it isn't there until you hover over it. So you have to know right. to hover over the center of the top of your right, screen. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I heard. Yeah. That's true. I think I heard a laugh come out of him. I think. I thought I did. Right one point two, yeah. Whoever runs the chat can't unmute someone. Negative. See, that would Not when easier. they come in. No, yeah, but I'm saying if the person gonna, who runs the chat draw could do it. With rope to show us what he's Ribs. saying. <laughs> if you're really talented, you can whip it in the air and it'll make spell words. Oh my! I God. haven't found it again, but at one point, 
I found an options menu where you could actually tell the Hangout direct directive of whether or not people come in muted or not muted. Really? Oh, yeah, I saw that somewhere, yeah. too. Yeah. Hey, you took that off, though. I don't know. Every time, I, yeah. every time I've come in, all two of them, I've come in muted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think Anytime that's the, the only choice people, now, but it used to be you could set it where people came in unmuted, but I tried it once, and then everybody was coming in adjusting all their gear, thinking they were muted and making noise, so I just turned it off. Uh, that worked out good. <laughs> yeah. Well, i got to go grab more beer, and I think I need to take a pee just to share that all with you all. Uh, be right back. All right, well, we'll be off air by the time we got Bob gets back. <laughs> that is very true. We'll wait for you. Yeah, I'm still pissed at you, G Webs. Why? Because you're not uh, black armor. Working on stay on, stay on, stay on, so I can get the link to the after chat. I don't have to work. <laughs> goes to Bob. What are you upset about? Yeah, you you and Hawk were talking about those, you know, those electronic cigarettes and all the different flavors. Right. And they have stuff with no uh, no nicotine in them. Right. And so I was actually out doing some stuff today. I, dry, I drove by one of the places and they had samples with the no nicotine. Uh-huh. It's like, How did they you do know, the you samples? You chocolate. It's like freaking eating a chocolate bar. Yeah, except that you just have all the taste, but nothing. But yeah. So anyway, how, well, how do they do the samples? Taste, not the, none of the bad stuff, you know? Do you think those are a viable option? For... Or did you just... Just gonna take a drag up of one and they cleaned it up with the alcohol wipe. No, actually, what they do is they have like a little slip thing, a little like rubber thing that slips over. A little, a little cigarette condom. Yeah. <laughs> and then what? How many of them did you taste? I think it was at five or six before I'm like, I better get out of here before I go spend money I don't have today, but I'll have tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I'll so I'm going to go pick one up tomorrow. i got to figure out where mine are at. I think they're in the bottom of a box somewhere in my rig. Did you pick a kind to buy? No, it's not much. It's like 40 bucks for the unit and then like 5 bucks or 6 bucks for the the juice. Right. I bought the the FIN model pin. All right, so can I got you hear two, me now? Two cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All two right. cigarettes. Two cigarettes with the charging thing and a sampler pack of the. They were all regular cigarette flavored, but different nicotine doses. It was about forty-five bucks, I think. There's so, a, are they a viable option to actually help quit? I quit with them. I really? I have several so. friends that. that yeah, quitting's they, for quitters. As long as, you, as long as you commit to them for like a month or so, you get past all the other chemicals you're getting the regular cigarettes, and then they say that. The, the nicotine itself isn't near as addictive as the other chemicals, and it's yeah. a lot easier to do. Yeah, my body might miss the formaldehyde. Yeah. Avatar. Yeah, but most people say that it works. See, and I travel a lot, and so, like, I got tired of going outside, like, one bed and mm-hmm. uh, airports, rental cars, hotel rooms. So, yeah. and I, it was pretty What gets me, that gets me is there's... Good. So do they smell when you exhale them? Can people really smell no, there's it? no smell at all. There's no I'd, smell at all. I'd smell there it. Actually, there is just a teeny tiny bit of smell, but it's like the smell of the, the flavor you're actually... Right, but uh, you uh, only uh, smell that. The, somebody right. standing next to you wouldn't. No. It's nothing on left on your clothes, nothing left on your hands. Nice. It's like water vapor, so it's really clean. I would say, I, I would say this, though, as, as in a... You know, un, 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 how would you say that? As... Offensive as they are to other people for smell or anything like that, some places get just as worked up as if you were smoking a regular cigarette if you whip one out. They definitely, well, you've seen yeah, them, right? They here. look like yeah. a cigarette. You look like you got smoke yeah. pouring all out of your mouth. Yeah, like if I, if I was in the airport, like I wouldn't sit there and act like I was smoking the cigarette out with everyone else. I'd just like uh-huh. cup it in my hand and uh-huh. exhale out through my nose kind of slow. And I'd do that on a plane too. Well, right. Uh, nobody freaks out because nobody can tell. I was watching you right. guys smoking those things, or those guys smoking those things, and it almost looks like you're smoking pot. I mean, it now, doesn't... Do you smoke cigarettes now? <laughs> well, that was something else I was going to bring up. It is like a freaking... Yeah, he does. Too. 
I think he you can't the bathroom. Yeah, I don't it, know. It's like your freaking head shop in these places that I went to too. Yeah, there's places that sell them so funny stuff for them. <laughs> I haven't been in a head shop in thir- 40, 40 years. I haven't heard of any. What do you mean, funny stuff for them? <clears throat> there's drugs. Marijuana I never yeah, heard of that. Yeah, just say 420. You got to move to Washington. It's not, it's, not, it's not commercially available, but people are making them up that have marijuana in them. Oh well. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if you're if you smoke cigarettes, you can get tobacco in or nicotine in them, mm-hmm. and then you can make uh-huh. them taste like tobacco. And the first one I got, or the first juice I got, at least, it was just like smoking a cigarette. But yeah. uh, you're not restricted to that. Mm-hmm. You just kind of branch out and. Eventually I didn't get like away the, from the it nicotine. at all. If, if well, look, I'm not there, trying to stop there, smoking, there. so I bought some that had nicotine in it, and then the second oh. stuff I bought was just cherry flavor with hardly any nicotine because I didn't even want nicotine. And I right. tried one that had no nicotine, so that's when I went to him. It appealed to Cork because he's not trying to sm- quit smoking. He's just curious about the... No, I, I used to smoke that a, was a while ago. That place in the internal that I put that I put in here, they have over 500 flavors, and they'll custom make whatever you want. If you're like, oh, I'd like to try a certain this and that, and they'll because they make them custom for you anyway, and like they're best sellers. Yeah, I ran into, customer creations. Yeah, I I ran into some people from Canada, and they're like, oh, you got to do this blend of these flavors, and it's awesome. And I'm like, I barely have enough time to get to the store to buy the replaceable cartridges. <laughs> I was gonna say. I mean, they're like, oh, you got to take a little bit of this this mix and a little bit of that mix, and it's awesome, you know. They were they were excited about it. <laughs> but. Yeah, Dude, I thought the jury was out on those things as far as you know safety is concerned. But I guess well, if it's just water vapor. What could it do to you? The only person well, I know that got chemical by one with oh. the dumbass propylene glycol. Yeah. Yeah. But some but dumbass smoking with, cigarettes, so I guess the, the yeah. balance is, you know, are you still smoking cigarettes? No. The lesser of 4,000 evils. Right, right. right. And then, right. But the, we were talking about it the other day that I, you, the first time I tried one, I was buying cigarettes. So when I tried it, I was you know, in the mindset of just replacing a cigarette or emulating a cigarette. So you inhale it and everything, and you get it, you know, a cigarette type of hit with uh, tobacco flavor and everything. But when you go without the tobacco flavor, then it's it's like more of a candy or something. Mm-hmm. It's like having yeah, a marshmallow exactly. in your mouth without the marshmallow. Yeah. yeah and for somebody who's a diabetic, it's like... Yeah. I'll tell you awesome. what, I can add stuff I haven't had without taking a whole bunch of insulin. It's oh, that's a great food. point. If oh, I never thought about it like that, yeah. And I'm thinking that I come surprised like uh, chicks ain't using these as a re- like gum or like a replacement for eating. Like a diet thing. Right. The uh, one thing it was like the first cigarette in the morning, you know, that's usually if you're trying to quit, it's either the first one in the morning or the one you have after you eat are the hardest ones to do without, you know. Or and, when you first get in the car. <laughs> yeah, or driving. If you're driving for long periods of time, yeah. it's you know definitely rougher. But um, I got a coffee flavored one that's called uh, Wake and Vape, I think is what it was called, and it's like it's caramel coffee. It's on that site on there, and it was like perfect for. Yeah. First one in the morning, you know. So, yeah. I don't know. so then, what yeah. do you do? You've got the kind where there's the, where it's like as big as a big sharpie. I've and had then them you've all. You've got the part where you squirt the juice in. So do you have a different container for each flavor, or do yeah. you just have a whole different robot cigarette for each flavor? No, I've had them it, just like in guns and everything else. Like I went through the cheap ones, the expensive ones, and you know all that stuff. And generally, I'm only well. Doing, what's I the Glock of e-cigarettes then? I only have like three. The, uh, the there's like the not really like the ego brand. Ego brand is kind of the you know, the most widely used and most accessorized and all that stuff. Um, but the the ones that they have see because the thing is like the ones that are shaped like a regular cigarette, like the ones that I'm holding now. Like this is one I can keep in my hand if I'm at an airport or something like that. Like I can't do that. With the huge ones, you know. So if uh, I the, the kind I got that was disposable looked like that. Right. Is that a rechargeable or re- yep. re- disposable? No, it's rechargeable, and then um, it recharges there, and then you pop this uh, rubber cap off right here, and then you drip the juice down 
into the wick, there's like a filter inside here, and you drip that in, and you can refill this about seven to ten times before this cartridge. It's kind of it's like a sponge. You know how a sponge won't. You know there comes a point in which it won't really hold, you know, water that well anymore. It's kind of that same thing too. So now the problem with the disposables, like this is where you save your money, is by refilling these things or getting one of the bigger ones that are like the size of a cigar, you know, and just refilling. That's the kind them. I have, yeah, and I can squirt like a bunch of squirts into here, and it'll last for two or three days. Right, and then you can just get different tops for those for your different flavors. And I normally only ran like two or three flavors or something like that at any oh, given time. So, so I, I, I'm just getting used to these things. How important is it to put the little plug back in the end hole for storage? Um, it's not... That's, I mean, I would... Oh, you mean like the actual... It's not that bad. Like I've got some that have been... I have one sitting in my rig that I haven't tried to smoke on for like two weeks. Is it going to be dried out and I'm going to have to use a different cartridge now? Eh, maybe. It depends on... And that's why I always like made these... You can buy these bottles separately... And you just carry around like your own juice. And the uh, other thing is, I was a menthol smoker, so I got a separate thing of me menthol, and I could make like. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm sorry to break in here. Five minute warning. Anybody want to run the uh, after chat? And some guy in Sandy is that the mama kitty? It is. She couldn't oh, help herself. She's a sweetie. Aww. Uh, yeah. She's a, it's a lot nicer kid. than my cats. Uh, this one adopted me. Oh yeah, we got one like that one I was actually holding earlier, Storm, the one who was checking me out to see if I was ready to eat yet. Um, he uh, he actually just started living under our deck right about the time our last of our litter of cats was dying. Yeah, this one started that, hanging out 16. on the on the wood pile on the patio. Oh February. yeah. February. Uh, so, so that's that's a cat pick you. So is there gonna be an after chat or what? I don't know. I could try do one. I haven't done one before, but I think I looked at it the other day. I'm pretty sure I can remember how to do one. Oh, Blake and Bob's going to run an after so. chat. Hey, I can try, like I say. Oh, that means I might have to subscribe to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not saying it's going to work. I'm saying I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, Blake and Bob's going to try to run an after chat. <laughs> okay. well, well, we'll try and talk you through the high speed transfer yeah well I'll just have to uh, uh, hang on I'm just going to go bring up my Google Plus wait is I do I have Google Plus on this computer yeah I do yeah. I must have because I'm doing this but yeah so yeah. anyway, Mar check out that holster company uh, Marine it's, yeah I got a favorite saved I'll definitely check them out they're uh Better than anything else I've seen lately, and they're all and it's local, so that's a plus. Yeah, yeah. I mean, earlier you were mentioning cost. To me, I, I I don't look at cost on holsters. I see guys all the time. They're like, "Oh, I this is uh, like the other one, and I saved ten or fifteen dollars." But then in a week later, they hate the thing, and I'm like, "Look for something that's gonna work." More yeah, than no, I have I have expensive, cost. you know, I have expensive mm -hmm. Kydex holsters that I waited, you know, three months to get and paid eighty dollars for, and I like my uh -huh. this one better, way better. Right up. One They're thing that I find so hard with uh, take very long. one thing I find hard with holsters is anytime you want to go uh, hiking or camping or anything, you know, when you're like have a backpacking ba uh, pack on, yeah. your waist is cut off. I always find it difficult to find something to do there. Yeah, that's really when a lot of guys will put on molly gear and pin it to your chest or something. Yeah. Just don't wear a waist strap. Or one of those well, quick access fanny packs or something. Or yeah. go to a drop lake. Yeah, well, drop lake is about the only real way to get a, totally away from it. Then you get a, you got that's the what I've been doing for a while, and I would just... And <laughs> and then I would just not do the uh, the leg strap that it has, so mm -hmm. it just kind of hang freely, because that right. leg strap, after a while of hiking, it's just <laughs> very uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, well, when I'm hiking, I usually have a Glock 20. Ch mm -hmm. There's like a, they have like drop holsters. It's not like it doesn't drop down your thigh. It just drops it down below your your waistline, like it's like a police style holster, and you can so still wear. A 
Yeah, it just drops it down a couple inches. Like Blackhawk makes one. There's a bunch of companies. Safari Land makes one. Well, so I like it, the one they have here for the uh, 629 revolver. That's pretty badass. I know somebody yeah. who'd really like that. Is that well, the is I've that been, K round? Yeah, that K rounds. I'm looking at their uh, at the image gallery. I'm in test and making. If some... you uh, if you go to the local gun show around here, uh, Marine. Um, <laughs> Never been in the, guy, the guy sold me like three of them for like 110 bucks. So. Oh, if you get to the gun show and they have their their thing set up, he'll he he will make you a deal right there on the spot. Right. Well, the area that you're in, are you part of the? I'm in Portland. Are you part of the? Oh, you're in Portland. Yeah. Are you talking yeah. to Expo That's Center? Cool. Yeah, the one at the Expo. Yeah, the last time I went to the Expo Center, it was what was it? It was it was eight or ten bucks to park and another ten bucks to get in, and then yeah. the assholes yeah. don't even have a clearing area. Clear your guns because they make you safety them for going inside, which I think yeah, is retarded. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying it's a great. They're a great gun show, but like I said, uh -huh. last couple times that company's had a booth at that show, and they do. They do real good deals there.